Well, we are back, huh? We're back at the Nine Club, We're everybody. Back. Today, we have a very special, special, special guest. Mr. Tom Curran is with us. How are you, Tom? I'm awesome. Man, thank, thank you, you so much for cruising by and uh, kicking it with us. Can't wait to hear your life story. Dude, how long? And, yeah, how long? And, uh, how long have you been surfing for? <laughs> There it is. Right out, see? Right yeah, out the gate. Had a, he had you a, knew it was coming. Jay, Jay you know, he had to do that. Yeah, you knew, you knew it was coming. I, I mean, that's why you make him sit over there. <laughs> exactly. I, under, I understand Trust the situation. You know, uh, he used to have a button to be able to talk. Now we got yeah, rid of that. Oh, yeah. Thank God. He used to have a button. He I graduated. am free from that. And... We're actually going to reinstate that. Oh, so God, next dude. episode, I mean, button time. <laughs> button time. I mean, I can go over and you know, give him a little... You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, come on, dude. Yeah. But hey, do you, you probably get... How, do you get that a lot? Uh, I used to. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's not. Well, because, yeah, I mean, I've been around for a long time. So it's like back in the day, like Tom Curran, the surfer, was very relevant. Yeah. Right. When I was trying to like skate. He was I, hot. Yeah. No, it was like, I mean, it was a crazy, like, I don't know, two, three time world champion, yeah. like that style. Right. He was like, from what I understand, I met the dude once. Like, oh, you met him? Yeah. 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 And I know, I mean, because I'm in, in like surf stuff, skate stuff crosses over these days. Like, I know people that know him. Right? Uh -huh. Like, yeah. Uh, and it's kind of funny. Like, you get that every once in a while. Like, of oh, course. Tompkins surfer. Right. And, right. Like, right. And I mean, I'm older, so I, you know, it's funny and then jest like kind of things. But like, when you're younger, it's a little. Yeah. Well, I didn't understand. Like, I was like, what? what I am this? Tom Curran. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yo, Surfer. Like, who, is this, Come on. who is this other dude? And he's Did, messing wait. up my stuff. He's yes. messing up my my chances. Did you talk to him about having the same name with him? No, I met like I literally I met him oh. like hey. You know, Tom, Tom, you whatever, right? It was like <laughs> Tom Kurt, Tom Kurt. Yeah, yeah, okay. it was, yeah. Tom, sit down. I need yeah. to talk to you. Listen, yeah, growing up, I have was, the same name as you. Yeah. Nah, okay. yeah, was, Skating contests, all yeah. this stuff. It was very hard to try to get a sponsor what, and everything. I think, like, yeah, like when I met him, it was later on. Like, I and I, I didn't even know it was actually like him. I don't think, right? Mm. I was like, oh, and then they were like, oh, that was something. I was like, oh, okay, cool, right. Like and that was the dude. That's the guy. Yeah, yeah. that's the mother. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That yeah. guy ruined my career, <laughs> right? Like, not that I ever had one, but whatever. <laughs> well, we'll so get anyway, into it because so yeah. I think because I mean, like, you skated for Scarecrow for a while, but then you moved, yes. and and we'll go back, obviously, but yeah. you moved into the. Um, uh, industry side of things sure. which i'm very i'm always interested in the industry side of I'm stuff good. uh as far as like you know to work for dwindle world industries to girl to red bull and now you're on yeah. an, another venture right now yeah. and um i i think it's awesome because i loved i love the behind the scenes i love i don't think people really know and appreciate kind of what actually goes into making the skateboard industry tick for you sure know? And there's a lot to it. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot that, like, you know, you just think, oh, I go skateboarding. It's right. like, yeah, cool, but there's a lot of people that are behind you. You know, and I, I'm not saying, oh, I did that, right? But, like, yeah, there's people working behind the scenes, like, from the dude packing the boxes mm -hmm. in the warehouse, like, making sure, like, you skaters get your boxes and all that, you know, like, mm -hmm. all that stuff to, totally. like, you know, the accounting lady that, like, has no idea about skating. We're actually just, having like, an accountant on tomorrow. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <You should. laughs> <Imagine. Yeah. laughs> If they're good, let me know. I need one. No, yeah. I don't know. Um, I got a good one. No, but um, you're, so like, you're, you're, you're totally right, though. It's like yeah, photographers, yeah. filmers, yeah, it, team managers. Yeah, I mean, it I goes think, art, art, art directors, mm -hmm. like uh, brand managers. Like it's there's yeah. a lot behind the scenes. There is, yes, yeah. for sure. And yeah, we can talk about all that stuff for sure. For sure, we'll get into it and answer all Kelly's questions. <laughs> <There's a laughs> lot. So many questions. You told me you have a lot of questions. So. Uh, I mean, we'll see if they come out. You know what I mean? Just sometimes. He told he told me he was barely going to talk this. He said, "Nah." I don't, really well, I, have, I don't really have anything to ask this dude. I, had, I the only question I wanted to ask about Tom Curran is that that was yeah, the nobody cares. Nobody, <laughs> nobody cares. Yeah, that dude, that dude is not relevant anymore. Uh, that's me. That's yeah, yeah. It's my dad. It's always been my, you. It's, it's always, always been you. you. It's always been you. But his is his is C U R R E N. Mine C U R R A N. Oh, so. it's totally different. Okay. different. Totally, totally different. different. Yeah, totally different, different vowel. It's good. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Some <laughs> A E I O U sometimes Y. Sometimes the Y. No, but it's why interesting I... because like you were you yeah. were talking about uh, you know early career uh, growing up skating Ohio sure. I believe right for the, yes. for a little so, bit and yeah. then. So yeah, I was I was born in Ohio, mm -hmm. right? And then um, yeah, it started barely skating there a little bit. 
got the same as everybody, right? Like I hear these stories like, oh, I got that chance and I'll go to California, right? And, you know, it happened through my dad's uncle and he was living out here. So he was like, came one summer to Ohio and, you know, saw I was skating a little bit. And like, I mean, it was just nothing, right? Like I was tic-tacking on the porch, right? (laughs) Yeah. And then um, it was, you know, my dad was like, hey, we're moving to California. And I was like, like brain exploded and it was cool and and it was like yep we're doing that because you're this is the 80s right yeah, yeah. so you're on, so, so sorry to <laughs> date can sorry you, raj can you put up my birthday on my <laughs> old april 4th right yep that's it oh yeah, yeah. See, that's why raj is here raj like, sends out christmas uh, birthday cards every year he's got you on the calendar Sick. now i get one I yeah got number. i didn't get mine this year oh sure, sure. so anyways so yeah just you know not super exciting move to california mm-hmm. Or on the way, like I was saying, um, yeah, I, I rode the Greyhound bus to California when I was like 12 or 13. <laughs> Parents and, just put you on a bus. Yeah, no, it was like, go. I mean, my, I don't know. It was just different, right? Like, it was different times, right? Like, I don't know. But, I mean, people were probably kidnapping kids and stuff back then, too. But, Gee, whatever, yeah. you know, yeah. whatever. But I made it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, right? You're a tough kid, huh? Nah, I, I mean, made it. You know, look at me. I don't, <laughs> No, I'm a teddy bear, but um, <laughs> like yeah, so that came out because it was a dream. You know, you dream of it, like when you feel it, like you realize, like this is what I, this is all I want to do: is skateboard mm-hmm. every day. And it's like, oh, you get the opportunity to come to California from Ohio. That you know, it's uh, Ohio's great, right? But it's where I'm from. My family's still there for the most part, but it, it too many opportunities for being a skater, right? Like you would, like I don't even think I saw a skateboard magazine or a video mm-hmm. ever mm-hmm. before I came to California. So. But how did you know that California was the place to be if you if you weren't well, you in tune? Hear, with... You know, you see, like you talk, you know, you hear the things mm. a little bit here and there, and then yeah, like I saw like probably something, you okay. know, like yeah, I probably saw a Thrasher, yeah, magazine, you know, for magazine. Sure. I'm, I mean, yeah. I remember driving to the skate shop, but it was a bicycle shop, and um, you know, they had all the skateboards, you know, so you kind of get the info, right, you know, Got, but it's just yeah. not coming on a regular, you know, you're, yeah. you're like. Every once in a while, but, and so, and there was kids skating, they were mm-hmm. older than me that, you know, got me kind of into it. So, um, so yeah, so we were like, yep, out California, boom. And then, um, yeah, you do the whole hustle, right? Like skate the contest, meet the homies, you know, like we, we, I grew up in, the, in Hesperia and went to high school up there. So mm-hmm. high desert. And then, um, you know, we would come down to like, you know, come down the hill. It was like a big thing, right? <laughs> yeah. you know, go, go going to the city. Going to the city. We're going to the yeah, city. no, I mean, dude, I didn't even see the beach. Hesperia Maybe, maybe out once, there too. once when I was in high school, okay. like I went to Huntington Beach and I was like, whoa. Oh, wow. You know, and like the homies drove us down there. Like, we're going to the beach. I was like, okay, cool. And we went and, you know, but, you know, my dad would bring us, you know, my dad was just like all these other, you know, parents that are supportive or whatever. Um you know, he would drive me down the hill and we would go like, I remember when we found out about like Pioneer oh, or like, yeah. or Sha- Chafee and stuff like that, oh, you know, wow. and it was like, I remember we showed, the, uh, quick story, but, um, so we, I remember we came to Pioneer and I found out where it was at and I'm like 14, right? And I don't know anything about skateboarding or this or that, right? I just knew that there was a skate spot and my dad knew Legendary how to get spot. there. Yeah, dude, it's crazy, right? It's a spot with banks and everything it was yeah. in the blind video days mm-hmm. and uh, it's still skated to this day. I just yeah. saw, I just Jeremy saw... Ray kick flipped over a car or something. I've seen that. Back heel. Back heel. Back Homer. Yeah. Or like, did I see, like, Somebody. Maybe Kirby Taylor. Dan Plunkett. Dan Plunkett. Dan Plunkett, yes. Somebody yeah. was just skating there. I was like, still there yeah yeah i mean you know so he took us and i remember we pulled up in the parking lot and it's like me and i have a i have a half brother and he was kind of little skating and so we pulled up and get out of the car all like we're gonna go skate right like just and there was all these kids sitting on the curb and there was a cop and i remember like oh whoa crazy you know and i was just like i'm gonna go skate and the cop was like what are you doing you know and and I was like, oh, let's go skate. Like, you know, because you don't know. Like, you don't know. Mm. Oh, you get busted for doing this, right? Yeah. And these kids are like, yo. Look, I remember, like, kind of vaguely they're looking at me like, what are you doing, bro? Like, <laughs> messing us up. Yeah. And uh, But my dad was, um, my dad's a big dude, or was a big dude. So, yeah, um, you know, he's like 6'2", 350. He's a biker dude. Okay. He looks like he will mess you up, right? But <laughs> nicest dude you ever met in your life, right? Mm-hmm. Which is, you know, but he was a scary dude. And so I remember my dad was like, walked up to the cop. I was like, what do you think you're doing? You know, like one of those. And, mm. and the cop was like, you look, just get the F out of here, dude. And like, I remember he's like, the kids on the str- the curb were just like, what, the f- what about me, dude? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, anyway, quick story. Chafee, like, that's all so that you didn't stuff. get a skate pioneer that day? No, obviously. but I, I did later on. Like, yeah, yeah. I figured it out. Like, oh, you can't go there. Like when it's 
whatever. So the anyway, so there, yeah. yeah, but you would come down the hill and you go to the skate park, you skate the castle contest, mm-hmm. you skate the other contests going on, and, you know, so. How would you do in the contest? I'd do okay. Like it was back then, like you would have like the, like the, what do you call it? Like it was like the under 12 and the 13 to 15, mm-hmm. and then you would have the advance, and then you'd have the sponsor. It was like all these, like, you know, one yeah. of those. And I skated like the the middle one you know like mm. i never was like sponsored that point but i would do good like we okay. like i got a couple I got a couple, got a couple little places. trophies okay yeah you know Perfect. like probably a lot of last places but you yeah. know, i think i squeaked in a couple times you know that's all that counts yeah and um yeah so that was good and you know just not much happened from it just skating those and then you know high school blah 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 and my dad bailed after like i graduated and so he was just like i gotta go back to ohio I was like, nope, stay in here. I'm going to be a skater. I'm going to be a pro skater, right? And I'd met some people, but, you know, like, you'd call them up, like, hey. And Darren's like, nah, dude, I can't help you out. You know, like, no. you know, you meet him at skate park, and they're like, yeah, 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 nah, come stay at my house. One of those. And <laughs> yeah. Didn't happen. Trade show <laughs> talk. 100%. Right? <laughs> and, um, dude, we got like, to hook up, man. Well, wait, dude, man, yeah, next gotcha. weekend. And then yeah. two yeah. years well, go by. Well, you realize, like, those dudes are... They don't even have a career, right? Or the skate. They were just kind of like on flow too or some whatever. Sure, that was, sure. You know? Anyways, I didn't make it much farther than that, like a couple months. And I was like, I'm broke. I got to go back to Ohio. You know? And so I went back there, posted up and, and started skating Cleveland and like around there, mentor. And, and there was a shop, Ohio Surf and Skate. And mm. homie Tim or homie now, but didn't know him then. I just, I remember I just like went over there. I was like, hey, see what's going on. Like who's, who's skating? Yeah, like, you got to find the crew, right? Like, sure. And I met like such great people there, and and he was welcoming, and you know, and like I said, they were, it was a cool shop. Mm-hmm. Like that was the one, right, up in that zone, and and they would have demos, and that was when it started kind of clicking too, when people would come through town. Like I remember deluxe dudes and all that stuff would come through town, and you like, you know, and I think back now, and it was like, and and a lot of these guys are my age now, but back then it was, you know, these were like, well, these guys are gonna. Be they looked like, a lot. Mm-hmm. They seemed a lot older. And better, that's for yeah. sure. Like, dude, they were like, dude. I remember like Huff. There was a manual box, and like Huff was young, and like he was. It was like the bleach blonde out oh, bowl cut, and like you know, wow. I, I even had one of those. I think at one point I was like, gonna be like that, dude. Yeah, yeah. And uh, dude, like switch manual in the box, right? Just straight, like you know, you're dude. Oh it was, yeah, it was you, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, and um, and it was just like. Phew. You know, because we were like, wait, did he just manual the box? Like, what was switch manual? Like, what? Like, you know, dude, you know, whatever. Sure. Um, you know, but then there was, yeah, there was a good scene happening there. And um, one summer, um, I had a homie, Scott, who uh, came to California and mm-hmm. got a job at Vans. And then, um, you know, I talked to him and stuff, and he would come back every once in a while. But he came back for a Vans Warp Tour because mm. he was like the snowboard team manager, but he lived there. So he was coming, he was bringing some skaters to meet up with the tour or whatever and there was gonna be a contest and he was like hey we're coming to town and you know and then like uh he was like hey jason adams is gonna come with me for like a week before Sick. right hang out right and so me and jason hit it off he hung out with, came stayed at my house a little apartment i had and then um you know we did a contest and you know whatever it was cool like but i met like him and josh beagle and i was thinking about this last night before i came Thing about stories like mike frazier was there wow. and i remember because this leads into all these things we'll talk about today like mm-hmm. remember him telling me he was like hey my buddy in Flo because he's from florida he was like my buddy's got this vert ramp in a warehouse okay fast forward skate park tampa wow. <laughs> right like this wow. is yeah 94 what year did skate park at tampa i think this is open? gonna be 29 years coming up right here or something to infinity 23 93 yeah. okay is it 93 so yeah he was just like hey my buddy's got this i, I don't know if it was skate park of tampa yet it I was think a it was buddy like, that had a brand yeah a I, I, mean, I think the story now is like zitzer gave him the ramp and they put it in the warehouse but then it turned into yes. right and he was like yeah he's got this vert ramp like you should come down there i was like see all right cool i'll, I'll look you up did I'll you skate vert no <laughs> 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 like no I'm mini ramps but like you know I could, I, could, I could drop in like do a fakey rock and like maybe touch the coping you know yeah, whatever yeah, but like yeah. burp ramps back then were scary as sh- totally big, still are big ass coping like what yeah. are you doing yeah. um so anyways like started meeting like people you know that were like pros or like doing it right mm-hmm. and then I remember Jason's like oh you gotta come out and like hang out um you know try to try to do something mm. right and so my buddy Scott you know, he was like, hey, you can come stay with me in Huntington Beach, my house, my apartment, whatever. 
And I was like, dude, I'm down, right? Like, sold the car for, I had like a little Honda Civic. I was like, found some dude. He's like, I'll give you 500 bucks. I was like, sold right <laughs> the other thing had like two hundred thousand miles on oh it my like gosh you know, you know in, the, in the east coast like rusted out like bottoms all bucked. car has a quarter of a million miles on it like, think about that <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't put, I, a lot I mean, of mileage yeah i mean i maybe put five thousand on it like i didn't someone but but you, you know. weren't moving out there or were you moving what like to la i mean to your buddy's house yeah yeah no oh, that I was, was it like yo i'm out of ohio because oh, okay, i was like because okay. everybody was like hey like why don't you come try to do something Got right, you. you know, because I was like, I guess I was like good at skating, mm-hmm. but like, you know, I'm. You were still, but you were trying to do it. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So he was like, "Hey, come stay with me," and you know, his wife at the time, whatever. Um, and he had a little apartment. He was snowboard team manager. He's still at bands, I think. Hmm. Um, but at the time, he was a snowboard team manager. You know, but he was like involved in the skating stuff, and so like he would have all these dudes come to the house. Like, you know, Jason obviously would come. You know, and that that crew, um, it was during like uh, they had a shoe called it was like the Pro Series, and it was like Jason Adams, Ray Barbie, mm. Julian Stranger, Ethan Fowler. Okay, mm, um, okay. It was like their like it was trying to they were trying to do this like little side team, right? Because then they had like Cab and like all these other Vert dudes, right? sure. kind of deal. And so they would come around, not Ray, but like the dudes from Jason, and some people would come to the town, like to his house, and we'd all hang out, and like mm-hmm. or like. And then like Cardiel show up, right? And he'd be like, I was like, oh, dude, like, you're hanging out with Cardiel. And yeah, it's like, wow. I mean, I've been here for like two weeks, right? You know, and I, but I'd lived in California, so it wasn't like, oh, I'm just like some strange world. Mm-hmm. But I was in Huntington Beach. That's different than the high desert. Like, yeah. By, by yeah. leaps and bounds, right? It's far and, away from Hesperia. Yeah, <laughs> huge difference. <laughs> um, but so, you know, like people would come and I remember like Cardiel would be like, the one night he was like, hey, you want to go get some beer? And I was like, yes. Like, <laughs> yeah. Drink beers with Cardiel. It's like, you know, and we sat over at the 7-Eleven on the curb and like drank beer for like a couple hours and just talked shit. And like, wow. I think we like, you know, just like ollie to the curb, just fucking around or something on the sidewalk. You know, and we weren't like skating. But sure. We just, you know, just having a fucking great time. It's Cardiel. Yeah. Like, what do you, yeah, it's the, the best dude. Like that guy, right? He's awesome. Um, but things like that, you know, would start happening. Uh-huh. And then I was just like, I remember Scott was like, hey, you got to get a job. Like, you got to do something, right? And so. You're freeloading up until this point. Yeah. I'm, selling I'm products? Totally, yeah. Just yeah. like, yeah, selling whatever I could. Like, mm. I didn't, I wasn't even, I didn't, I don't even, like, I really didn't have, like, sponsors. Really. Like, Sca- Scarecrow was like, Russ Pope owned Scarecrow at that time. He would give me boards. Okay. But then, like, when I came out, I didn't know, like, and Jason knew this when he was in Ohio, but, like, he quit. Mm. And so I was like, oh, like he went and rode for Sonic. Sonic was starting like him and okay, Simon Wood okay. stuff. Oh, and yeah, stuff. That's right, yeah, yeah. And so like so when I came out and I was like, hey, and I was just like, well, I don't ride for them anymore, but like whatever. And so but Russ would give me some boards and like whatever. So you had you a know? little something going on. Yeah. A little was, flow program. I had enough to go skating. Perfect. That's all I needed, right? right. Like, I didn't whatever my buddy Scott was let me see. so yeah, he was like, Hey, you need a good job. And he's like, I'm gonna hook you up and like try to get you in advance. Like, like assistant team manager for Vance, mm-hmm. right? Wow. Under this other dude, Beetle, that was a team manager. And, um, yeah, they did, you know, he got me the job. And, um, were you nervous going in there? Yeah, no, because I, outside of like manual labor jobs or like working like McDonald's for like a week or something like that, <laughs> yeah. but like, you know, but I always had jobs. I grew up blue collar. So you like, okay. I worked all the time, right? Like doing stuff. And, um, but yeah, it was like different. Right, it wasn't like oh, you're gonna go like work. You're you're actually going to the office. It's like you know you gotta be proper, and I just wasn't. Mm. Right? Like, <laughs> you know, like I just you know I was a skater. I didn't yeah. know, like you know I was I, I was cool. Like it was good, but it was like, and I was good with all the skaters. And I knew who like Steve Van Dorn was. Like that was cool. You know, you're like oh, you know, like he's yeah. just as legendary as any of the skaters almost. Yeah, know, or yeah. is right? for like, sure, for sure. So, you know, and I remember the guy, the president or vice president was like, hey, come in here and like, you know, work, talk to him. And it was, it was like a full setup kind of deal. But like, he was like, so what do you, so how much you want to get paid? And I was like, what do you mean? Like, I was like, oh, you know, like, I didn't know. Like, he was like, oh, I was like, like 14 bucks, right? An hour. <laughs> <laughs> 14 bucks. Yeah, but that, you know, we don't get paid hourly and stuff like that, right? No. He doesn't know. He doesn't know that. You know, though. Any other job I'd ever had was an hourly wage, right? Like I didn't. Oh know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, McDonald's. Oh, there's and... salaries involved in this. Like, I didn't even know what salary. Four hundred one k. What is that? <laughs> you know, whatever. And so he was like, Nah. He goes, and it, 
you know, I think it was like kind of a, I already had the job sort of, I think. So it was cool. And like the dude hooked it up and I started working that. And then, you know, I was going cause I knew Jason and then like, you know, there was all these dudes on bands that I started to become Solomon and like, I became, mm-hmm. you know, like homies with these guys. Yeah, right. Yeah, they were yeah. like, it moved really quick. I went from like Ohio, you know, cool to coming out here to like, holy smokes, I'm hanging out with like all these people. I'm looking at the magazines, watching the videos, all this stuff. Right. Wow. And like, then they're my friends. Yeah. Right? So it's cool. And so, yeah, that just kind of works for a bit. But then I was just like too young. Right. And I didn't know what I mean. I was 21. Mm. I think at that time was like right around that age range. And I, I, you know, I was dumb. Right. Like I just wanted to skate and I wanted to hang out with the homies. But then it was like, oh, you got to go work. Yeah, we, I was office. gonna ask, was this yeah. job you have to go into the office yeah, yeah, every you day? Go to the office. Well, not. I mean, sure, yes. So you're trying to uh, skate and get sponsored and do all this stuff, but then you have a uh, office job. Yeah, but I, I must like I didn't even know what like trying to get sponsored was, right? I was yeah, but just, you're like, around skate. everybody. Though. Yeah, but they were sponsored. So but no, that's where you wanted to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it was like we like I don't know. It was just kind of like happening. Okay, right? it wasn't okay. like oh I got to do this or I got to do that. And like I just just like I was just hanging out. Skating. Got you, got Enjoying you. Enjoying it. Yeah. yeah, and like I didn't like you know I was just I, I don't know whatever. But now you got this office job. Yeah, and so we're there, and it's like it's cool, right? Because you get to do awesome stuff, right? You're talking to skaters all day. Sure. You know, you got to call like you know you're picking up the phone, calling you know Steve Caballero, like mm-hmm. hey Steve, you want some half cabs <laughs> you know it's like it's stupid right you're just like hot like he's what? like sure yeah like you know like, shoe. I'll take yeah. Yeah. like what size are you you know what like, size are you that's, oh that's like God. that's great you know it, but it you know I, i'm joking but it was yeah it was crazy you know you're calling For like sure. like i said their their list was like there was like 300 people on the team like flowing everybody that's and like crazy. you know and there was people like yeah it was wild Right. And it was just the who's who of everybody wrote for bands. So right? I take you it know? like the Beatle was like uh, in charge, of like all the main people on there. And you're no, kind of like, it wasn't like that. Really? Okay. Like it wasn't like, you know, you see that sometimes. You're just you helping go. out. Yeah. It was like everybody was kind of just doing everything. Okay. Right. And there okay. was no like Vans was like, I realized really quickly, like Vans wasn't like. You know, you, you talk about core, right? But it was like you went to a big office and they had a vice president and they had like lawyers and mm-hmm. like these people. And I was just like, they were already big. Yeah, they yeah. were huge. Yeah, yeah. No, been, dude, been that was like huge. two, three floors, massive in Santa Fe Springs. I remember going there and I was like, you know, you talk, hey, it's at the front desk. And you're like, oh, I'm Tom. I'm here to see something, like, you know. And you're like, they're like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you mean Tom Kern, the surfer? Surfers, oh, right on it. Yeah. Oh, surfers no, 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 here. Yeah, surfers here. Better man. Um, no, but. Yeah, it was like, it was a professional atmosphere, you know, but it was loose, right? Yeah, there was for people, sure. there were artists, and like, you know, and, and people, you know, that were cool, like, rad people, young, like, my, my they were my age, right? Yeah, their yeah, shoe yeah. designers were my age, right? Like, they were young, and they hired that kind of, that mentality, right? And people worked in the marketing part, we were all cool and young, and skaters, or surfers, or snowboard, like, you know, they hired people mm. that were doing things, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it was cool, and like, you got to work with Steve Van Doren, and like, you know, you work on ad camp. You started doing those, like laying out things, right? And I remember uh, Donnie Miller was yeah, the was okay. the art director. Wow. Or I don't know if he was the director, but he was doing it, right? He was in charge of the, excuse me, the mm-hmm. pro series thing. So he was doing the ads, and I remember him because he's a crazy artist, man. Like, dude's out there. I love that he's crazy, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, he would um, you know, he'd be doing layouts, and I'd be like, I'd look at him like. Doing, dude like that nah dude like you can't put like you can't make ray look like that dude like you can't put all this stuff in there like put the skate clip in there put okay. the photo right and you know i'd always lose that argument because i didn't know what i was <laughs> they had a, they, <laughs> well, they had like a direction right they were yeah. doing something that sure, i sure. wasn't like right. aware of yeah. Yeah. a new ad campaign yeah. or whatever yeah like whether it was good or bad whatever you know i love so, tom's going into different departments like, nah, like yeah. nah, what are you doing yeah. Nah, I got, yeah, accounting i can't believe this yeah. they owe us that much money let's go after them no i never went in there okay. yeah. sure. stay to it there. Yeah. Um, no, but I mean, you know, it was just because everybody was a homie, so you get involved in for like, sure. But then, yeah, you want to be, you want to make sure it's like, man, we're doing this. Like, it's cool. I want to make sure that's okay or whatever. But no, whatever. I just should have just packed boxes and shipped shoes. <laughs> but you know, it was cool. But I was young and I didn't, you know, wasn't really my deal. And we've been going like, you go to Tampa for the contest, and these mm-hmm. things were starting to like skateboarding was really alive, right? In the like early mid 90s and through you know it started to really have a different identity street skating and totally you know 
contests started to happen really like where they were like you know they were cool mm -hmm. sort of you know whatever. and so we go to tampa and i started meeting all these people out there or whatever and um i just bailed on vans um I, it wasn't i just i shouldn't have been there right like i just wasn't the right time mm. i was trying to skate i was immature but what made you realize that i just was like i don't know i just things were happening like okay. you know i just didn't want to be like i don't know like i didn't want to follow the rules and i didn't want to go work a job and like mm. you know and i was like i mean i think back now it's like i should have i should have i mean you could have probably still been there today right. yeah i should have buckled down <laughs> right like just in in leaned into it and like you know took advantage of it and yeah, yeah but you embraced, embraced it yeah. yeah i was young like yeah. i was still I, I was still skating yeah. That in my head and so i was like i gotta try to do this right mm -hmm. and, you know and even like the dudes i was skating with these pros that were like yeah like you know you, you know you're killing it and it's like yeah i'm killing it but it wasn't <laughs> <laughs> you know like i mean i don't know i was having a good time we were skating having a good for time sure, for sure and so like you know and i was like ah and you know got tampa I keep bringing up tampa because it's the next phase like i you know i think i was i like met a girl out there once and then like somehow i met like alan russell and like matt milligan and and some homies, Alyssa, and and some people that were kind of really like on the same. We were all in the same zone. We were doing the same thing, right? Yeah. yeah. And so I was like, oh, I'm gonna move to Tampa. So move to Tampa, and it just, it was cool, but it sucked. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was so bad. It I was feel just, like a lot of people move there and kind of then move away. They think no, like they think it was because a, a lot of people don't move there. <laughs> well, no. I always I always hear people going there just because the I skate think they park. Go. Yeah. And then it's like they want to go to Monte Venus. Yeah, like, like <laughs> that was like there it is. Like yeah, where is like does that place even exist anymore? It's yeah. that's still there. Is, is it? Kelly, <laughs> Kelly, there it is. There it is. It's right still there. there. Kelly, Kelly, got, Kelly got offended right there. No, like, I, yes, it's still there. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, it's there. It's there. How it's dare you? How dare you? <laughs> Kelly almost got up and left. Yeah, he's got his own nine club going on. Over there. <laughs> <laughs> hey? um you know but it was it's a strip club by the way guys yeah, out there yeah, listening yeah. Don't, everybody's like what is this mom venus don't don't even look it up um <laughs> so you know but it was cool it was happening right people mm -hmm. were coming to the skate park but then like when you go there when there's a contest and this is early on right it was exciting like the whole industry would show up and like all the who's who of skaters would show up and and the ams and the pros mm -hmm. and the homies like it was a crazy party yeah, right best. it was just about it was yeah it was like it was just like home you're like this place rules it's like utopia for skaters right no, no. and so i just got caught up and i was like man this place is sick but then like you know it's like you know you go on the trip and you're like this place is awesome and then it's like tuesday after everybody left and you're just like <laughs> um where'd everybody go I'm yeah, over. Yeah. Like, and nobody's answering the phone and it's just like oh and so I, that's what happened I went there thinking it was rad, and it was a great experience because I met really, like, you know, Million and Alan Russell and some other skaters and, and Schaefer, obviously, and yeah, Zitzer yeah, yeah. and those dudes, like, that are, you know, really amazing friends of mine now, mm -hmm. right? And then, and now, and still. Well, it's still fun like, to go to those contests, sure, right? It's sure, sure, sure. But, yeah, and yeah. I'm just like, and I remember um, I was just made to, I was like, I got to get out of here. But I was stuck because I was like, I didn't know what to do. Like, I barely had any money whatever i bought this car and then i saw milligan and i was like dude i gotta get out of here he's like yeah you do like he knew he's, like, yeah. he didn't, like, he's from florida he's like i'm out i don't nobody uh. wants to be here like you gotta get out of here. <laughs> and um so he was like dude me and Alyssa are leaving tomorrow Alyssa just bought a car or something it's a steamer yeah Alyssa steamer and she was you know she was doing good and she had like toy machine and all these Etnies at the time, and like she had like Tony Hawk's Tony Hawk Pro skater. skater, so she was, you know, she was making a good living for herself and mm. like making a name. And, and she had already, you know, she had been doing that, but at the time it was like popping, yeah, she was just coming into her own, right? And she and he was like, Meet us tomorrow, we'll kill her van back to um, you know, Alyssa's house in Huntington Beach, mm. right? And I was like, I'll be there. Went home, threw my stuff in the car met him like dude, i was early too i think <laughs> i was like <laughs> like just sitting there waiting to see you show up <laughs> like you know and they showed up and then we you know we just caravan across and you know and it was it was good because i needed to get out of there and just like try something different and come For back sure. to california where i was more familiar with things and people and you know and then yeah no money and then like Alyssa hooked it up the whole way like i think she bought all the hotel rooms like we just one hotel room and like you know i think i was even out of gas and i didn't have my credit card when she filled the gas tank oh, up wow. you know it's like Alyssa was good like i mean 
you know everybody eats right kind of style yeah. like you know if, if i'm eating you're eating right like Sick. and you know i mean you know she ain't like breaking me off thousands of dollars but she'd be like oh you need you know i got you yeah. right and that's you know that's how everybody was right you kind of help it that's skater right Mm-hmm. And so we get back, and she's got this apartment, and it's it's you know it's kind of the the first iteration of like you know people now know it as like the Warner House stuff, mm-hmm. right? But it like there was like her house, and then like the I think the popular one was like where Andrew lived, which I I, don't, I didn't have anything to do with that. Like you know I see Andrew, hey how's it going, whatever. But mm-hmm. like Alyssa was a homie. She's like you can just crash on the floor, and like I think Ellington and Greco and uh, Shane Hale was living there. And you know, so it was like a tight crew, and maybe I want to say Maldonado, uh, but yeah, that, I, I could be that. totally, yeah, case. yeah, I don't, yeah, I could be wrong, but I don't know. Yeah, um, we got some footage of oh, this uh, is four one one. He was he didn't live there. No, Jeffrey, he, he, he lived he lived down the street, I think. Um, mm. You know, but um, wow. well, I mean, back then Huntington Beach was popping. You have yeah, the yeah, skate no, park that, there that yeah. everybody skated. The it was crazy. Ashtray everybody, there. that's where they all went yeah. every day. You know, so. You know, she let me sleep on the floor and, like, you know, hanging out and doing all these things. And, and you know, you seeing all these kids, like, starting to come up, you know, mm-hmm. and, and how they're doing it. But, I, like, I wasn't on their level, mm-hmm. you know. Like, they were on some other stuff. Like, I mean, yeah. they were pro already. Right. Like, I didn't – I was trying to get, like, free boards still, like, <laughs> you know. Um, sure, sure. And then I was working, like, um, like Scarecrow and kind of whatever. Like, Russ, I think, sold it to, to Jim Gray at Acme. Mm-hmm. And he was out. Everybody was out. Like, there was it was just, like, me – sort of and like Mm -hmm. you know and then so like jim would let me work at the warehouse and pack boxes make some cash you know and and stuff like that and then i just um yeah i just decided to move on right and i went up back my friend elizabeth had a place that i'd lived at before she worked at vans and she was a shoe designer and stuff and so she let me come up she's like i'll come up my spot i got i got a spot for you in la and i was like yeah la is more my let's try this out okay never lived in hollywood and you know it was like silver lake Echo Park before it was real Got cool. You, it was yeah. real hood. <laughs> so, you know, we lived right by like Lockwood and I was like, yeah, like Lockwood. But it was kind of like I was on the like back end of that too, like where all those tricks had already been done, <laughs> you know, oh. like sort of, you know, and there were still people skating there a bunch, but, you know, it was kind of one of those. But, but I had a good time and I was just like, ah, oh, but I didn't have anything going on. Mm. And, um, and I, I remember I went to the, to the 7 Eleven and like, you know, I was, uh, I was like, oh, I'll get some beer, something, and then I bought some scratchers, and I, I went home, and I scratched it off, and and uh, I won eight hundred dollars. <laughs> it's good money. I've never heard anyone actually money. winning no, something out, like that outside of like two bucks. Or yeah, 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 free yeah. ticket. No, like maybe yeah. twenty once, you know. But like, I, I was like, oh, this is this is eight hundred bucks. Yeah, especially yeah, back that's, then, that's a lot of money. Definitely, really. yeah, it's Not still a ticket. lot of money. I'll take yeah. it right now. Yeah. You know? but, <laughs> Um, but then uh, I was like, oh my God. And I was like, what am I going to do? Right. And I was like, I got to figure something out. And so literally just won the lottery. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so what am I going to yeah, do now? Yeah. And then <laughs> blew it. No, um, but, um, and, um, you know, I'd, I'd hung out with like Frank Gerber and John Klein and Clairval would come to the house in Florida too, when they were come Tampa. And so like, I became friends with those guys and they were living at the Newell, like, you know, and mm-hmm. he was like, I called him. He's like, he's like, dude, just come stay up here. You can live in SF and like live on the floor, right? And I was like, cool, done. Bought a bu- uh, bus ticket, rode to SF, and um, showed up at a newel. And it was just like, it was wild, right? I'd, I'd been to SF a few times and like hung out, mm-hmm. and um, it was cool, but like never like, you know, lived there and like the atmosphere is crazy yeah, right definitely so you got it's food. moving right like it's, it there's all kinds of stuff going on yeah. right? got frank like, dancing in the living room some yeah, guy passed like, out on the couch yeah and i used to sleep over there in the left underneath that that glass whatever that was and then um <laughs> but <laughs> so i was there and like i'm the first night i showed up we partied and then um frank's like yeah you can sleep on the couch and then we were partying and he's like he's just sitting there just like threw up all over the couch <laughs> <laughs> and i was just like Sweet. Cool. Yeah. Bro, like, is, <laughs> you just barfed but, uh, all like, over my bed. I don't think I was even bummed because we were drunk. We were having a good time. It was just like, dude, this is crazy. And so I just like slept on the floor, whatever, and for a little bit. I was only there, like I lived there for like three months, mm, right? right? And like all this footage is after, you know, and there's so many people that have lived there even before them. And, and it, the, the new house was kind of like the Warner Ave. Yeah. Of that. It was kind of like but like two SF little, style. The SF like, style, right. Yeah, things were going down. Like they, they you know. 
and um but no it was cool like they let me stay there for a bit and then but i was just like dude i gotta get a job and i got a job um i was thinking about this last night like danny gonzalez right and this mm. kind of plays into like all these people like i'd run into and i became friends with through different you know hanging out skating sure right like kind of had an effect on my life in random ways right like mo- most positive for sure but mm-hmm. you know somewhere terrible but you know but <laughs> most of them like these people affected me and like i remember danny is because i was getting flow i was on globe shoes i forgot that. globe glo- globe oh. shoes i was on like super flow i was getting some flow okay and danny was on so he like you know when i moved he's like oh i'm living in sf too because he was on stereo i think at the time mm-hmm. and um you know so i was like oh and um there was a shoe store on hate street and uh, he's like, yo, I know the dude. He carries globes. Like this dude is like, I'm gonna introduce you to to Mayron and Chano, who's the sales guy. But Mayron owned the place, and um, you know they they're always looking for help. So mm. I was like, I need it. I like shoes, and I'm down. Like it's I just a shop. normal shoe shop. Shoe, yeah, like shoe a store. sneaker store. Like mm. before, like the whole streetwear stuff was even a thing right Right. like this dude had like he was the one right you had adidas and nikes and all the cool shoes right like Mm -hmm. he had cool stuff and so you know i got a job there and it was rad and i was making good money because you make commission and dude was slinging shoes like i mean dude saturdays and sundays you're selling like 200 pairs of shoes you know you're making checks and i was like wow i'm making like i was seriously i was making like two grand a month pretty good you know in the later 90s like that was i was like whoo like this is more i ain't making this in skateboarding yeah (laughs) so You know, and so I worked there a lot and it was rad because like people would come through all the skaters and then like you would get off work and go skate down. And like I was hanging out with them. Um, well, actually, um, when I moved out of the Newell, I ran into Strubing. And so I was like, he knew I think I was looking for a place to live. And so he was like, I got a spot. And, you know, it was like 400 bucks. And I was like, I'll take it. Right. Mm-hmm. Rad him and Pete Thompson. And then um, some other girls lived there. That it was, You know, you lived in a flat. So it was like. To split up the rent, everybody paid four hundred bucks. Like right. I think at the end of the day, it was like three grand for Dang. the flat. Oh, but wow. like you know, you only paid four hundred. Right. It was, it was good. Up, That's the way man. you lived, right? Like crew up, right? And so, and then upstairs, like Cairo and Elias and some other people, random you know artists and musicians and mm. people lived upstairs. So it was like this cool like building that we had, and Sick. like we kind of ran the whole. It was only three floors, so we ran the whole spot. Right? Oh, and you know they were doing it, and Strubing was like you know getting in this like i think he got on foundation in america and he was doing good and then obviously cairo was like that was like his he started peaking when i was living there i remember oh, wow. like i remember it was just like every time he like they went out skating because pete thompson lived there so he shot with pete a lot and pete would like you know you'd see the photos you know and it was just like the dude was just every day right was getting yeah, like dude. and it was just like you saw like cairo the progression which was fast like it was just like boom 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 and he'd already been doing it but it was like it was his time you sure know, real sure. and deluxe and it was like a powerhouse right and then um but then i was like uh they were all gone so i like uh, you know i started hanging out with karma tasha and like scott born and mm, some dudes like that you know okay. they were, those are kind of my dudes and um so i just skate with them a bunch and like you know we'd skate hills and bomb hills and stuff and and it was rad it was a fun time but, sick you know, and that was kind of a good time, but it was the same thing. It was just like, I'm just spinning my wheels and working at the shoe store. These dudes are doing it. My uh, ca- career, I wouldn't even call it that. It was just like <laughs> done. Like, it was just like, I was still skating. Sure. And I was actually, like, I was actually, I thought I was getting, like, I was, I felt better, more comfortable on skateboard and SF than I ever did, ever. Right? Because just you skated every you day. You skated scared. everywhere you went, you skated, right? Like yeah. you didn't walk or take a car, right? It was awesome, right? And you'd see people skate. I remember like I had a window that looked over the road and like I'd be sitting out there like hanging out because I had a little stoop. So I'd sit out there and like, you know, have beer or something, mm-hmm. like watch pe- weird shit happen on the street, you know, because mm-hmm. it was on a regular. And uh, dude, you'd, like, you'd see like, like Brian Anderson skate by, right? Because he was over, he lived past us. Him and Stava lived over there. So it's like, like cool stuff like that would happen. That's awesome. Right? Like, you know, and, you know, I think back now, like back then it was like, oh, oh there goes Brian. Hey, hey, Brian, what's up? Hey, Tom, what's up? You know, you yeah, just, yeah, yeah. what are you doing? Oh, cool, cool. All right, later, I'm going to go skate over here. I'm going to go home. Whatever, right? It was just rad. Like everywhere you went, you saw a skater, mm-hmm. right? There was, was a were, bunch of pros there at that time. A lot. Yeah. Yeah, there was a ton. It was like a new, a new version, right? Like yeah. of all these skaters and yeah, they were coming out and yeah, it was rad. Like it was a good scene, yeah. right? And, and so, but it was also it was hectic it's sf and like you just you i was working all day the homies would go on skate trips i didn't have that options right and then 
you know, you're just going out every night and you're just kind of like, dude, you just get beat down. Like, you're just like, I'm tired, dude. And I'm getting into my, like, you know, it's a couple years now, you know, it's 2000, 2000, 2001. Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm just kind of like, Hey, I got to figure this out. Right. (laughs) And my friend Rita called because I was like trying to inquire about some jobs. Like, Hey, I'm looking for a job here or anything, you know? And she called, she worked at Dwindle and uh, she's like, Hey, they got a sales job open. And I was like, I was like, cool. I'm down, right? Mm. I was doing sales at the shoe store, so I was like, I got this. I, I know skateboarding. Yeah, like I, I can sell skateboard, right? I just talking to skaters, right? And so, came down and interviewed, and then they, they gave me the job. You know, it was one of those like I was stoked because um, I was thinking about this last night too, and I, I forgot that the, um, they flew me down for they an interview. They flew you yeah. down for an interview. Yeah, wow. I was hyped. I was like, I never had. Like, you know you just get, wow you know it's like come in for an interview and they're like oh we got you a plane ticket and i was like oh that's perfect cool. <laughs> right? like, yeah. feel special yeah yeah and, like, yeah. Yeah, and like, finally sponsored i got yeah, 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 yeah i got a flight <laughs> yeah <laughs> like right and i think i'd only been on like i mean me and me and milligan and alan and a couple i think like sattva and uh like tony cox we went on this like homie trip to uh hong kong Hmm. you know when i lived in sf that was like the first time i left the country wow right like that was like 2000 or yeah something like that right okay but then like i'm not dude it was hectic (laughs) and i don't know if you guys ever been to hong kong it's it's cool oh yeah but it's chaotic and but there's like tons of skate spots and like you know we had a good time Mm. you know like we we you know 10 percent skating 90 percent good time sure right like <laughs> yeah. you know it's just like you can just walk around with beer and like hang out and skate and like you're just like whoo go to spots party time yeah party time we yeah were, it was a homie trip right like we were just but we got an article out of it no photos except for the photo of me like a f- headshot right? drinking I, a beer no, I didn't, no <laughs> come on dude. i would what no it was your <laughs> He was holding it, but you can't see it in the photo. I thought you were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Oh, yeah. There it is. yeah, yeah. No, this is the headshot. Uh, you I know, no. <laughs> but like, you know, but it was just like, I think I had one photo for an ad for Scarecrow. And so that was like the, it. Like I had one skate photo ever in a mag. And then, so that one, it was like, oh, we're going to get, we're going to get some tricks. And I was like, but then dude, I was already off it. You seriously? Yeah. I was like, not off it. Cause I love skateboarding and I, I, you know, as much as I can ever, I'll try to keep doing it. But, um, it was just like, I wasn't jiving, you know, and it was like, you know, I got like, oh, I'm gonna go on this trip, but, but it just mm. didn't happen. And like, those dudes were getting tricks, and like, Milligan right. was like killing, like, he was so good. And Sattva, obviously, like, mm. and Tony Cox, like, for sure. Those dudes were like, I mean, Sattva was a like, huge pro at that time, yeah. you know, and like, you know, so. Who did you have for Dynasty at that point? Or, because he was on Toy. And yeah, then he was yeah, probably something. Yeah, 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 I don't remember exactly, but he was, mm. you know, it was, he was awesome, right? Yeah, like, yeah, so sure. good at everything. And then, so, but you know, it was a good trip, but then I was just like, ah, and I came back and then I, this, this world, I was like, I gotta get out of SF. This happened world, you know, the world job. Sure. They gave it to me. Um, the homie, the mayor on that owned the shoe store called in a favor and got me a truck. Like I had to pay for wow. it, but like, you know, got me like the deal. Like don't rip this dude off. Okay. Like got a brand new truck, like a little Toyota Tacoma, filled it up, drove to LA. My friend Elizabeth that I used to hang out with in Vans, she let me stay there and I'd stay at Rita's and like, I just kind of, cause trying to figure out where to live and mm. whatever. And then it was like a couple months in and uh, Rodney um, Johnson was the team manager then. And so- Of World. Of World. Yeah. Yeah, cause World and Dwindle were, they were the same, but separate. They were different building. It was a weird- Different building. It was weird, right? Yeah, it was really weird. Cause I was like, oh, it's gonna be World and Dwindle. And then it was like, now you're just over here at World. You know, it's like, because you see all the like, you know, and I remember in um, like the Dwindle building and then they had the skate park and yeah. like all the, didn't you like see all that footage and like, oh, this is going to be dope. You know, you, like, you see Day One and you see Rodney and you see like, you know, like these like icons. Legends. Yeah. yeah, like the, the the dudes, right? Like everybody, right? And, but no, nah, I was over at the other building. Okay. <laughs> so okay. like, you know, but um, it was good. And then, um, but like a couple months in, I was just like doing it. And then Ronnie was like, yo, I'm out of here. I was like, what do you mean? And he's like, I'm quitting. Mm. And he's like, don't tell anybody. And I was all, you know, you don't want to blow him up. And sure. like, hey, he's quitting. <laughs> yeah. Um, but he's like, I, he got the job as a team manager at like Billabong or something, which was a huge opportunity for him. And I was just like, dude, that's awesome, man. Like, good for you. Like, and um, and um, I was like, hey, like, you, you got to give me your job because I'm not, mm. I'm not cut out to do sales, man. Like, this is not my 
I can't sell flamboyant wet willy boards, dude. People, like, <laughs> they were like, selling themselves, themselves back then. Yeah, yeah exactly. they were. You didn't sure. have to try to sell them, but it was just like it wasn't my gig. You yeah, know? I just like some people got got it, some people don't. Yeah, I mean, I can do it. Right, you just didn't want to. Fact. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right. Like I wanted to. Like yeah. I still wanted to. You know, the skate was still in me. Like I wanted to skate. I wanted to be out with the skaters. I wanted to do yeah. like, you know, film videos, like whatever. Right, like do all that stuff. And so we 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 came up with a pretty good plan and. I remember I talked the sales dudes into like, I was like, look, you guys can split up my territory and you'll make more money. And they were like, yep, we're behind you. <laughs> okay, we got you. Yeah, they were like, oh, we're going to each make more, like, you know, a couple, whatever more bucks a month. Like, because they get, you get commissions. Yeah, off selling you get commission. Them, right, like, right. you sell boards, you get some something, right? Like, and so they were, they were in it. So I just like kind of went around and solicited everybody to like my, my spiel. Mm. Like, and Rodney already, like, you know, he was, you know, he had my back because I'd known him for a long time and stuff. And so, um, you know, we went to the I don't know, vice president of world at that time. I don't remember the dude's name, but, um, and we gave him the spiel, Hey, you know, like, you know, and then we got kind of some of the riders that I got to know a little bit. They were behind a little mm. bit like Fernandez and, and some people, Mackinac and mm, those right. guys were there in crumb. And like, so I'd, I'd met them and got to know them a little bit, you know, and I'd known them a little bit, but then went to work, you could start to work there yeah, come yeah. and get to meet them, hang out more often. And so, um, yeah, they gave me the job. Perfect. That's what I was like, yep. <laughs> right? Like, went from, like, sitting, like, in an open, like, off, and gave me, I got to move into Roddy's in the back. And then, you know, but then, like, Mark McKee was there and, and um, Luis and, uh, like. Luis Cruz. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, He's the yeah. Homie. I love the that. Best. He's yeah. the best. I just ran into him, like, uh, I went to this Beastie Boys thing in L.A. not too long ago, and he was there. And I was like, dude, oh, this nice. is Let's so tight. Do like, yeah. I, I haven't seen My wife's this. gone there this weekend. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah It's like yeah, a little yeah. exhibit type deal. Yeah, it's been going on for a bit. Uh, yeah. My one buddy was putting it on, and he was like, hey, you want to come to the thing? And I was like, yeah, cool. He went, you know. Was this a point in time, or was this later when World and, and Dwindle merged? Um, So this was before they went back, when because Globe bought Dwindle. Right. Which, in, they got World, they got the whole package. Right? Yeah. And so... But, you know, not to go too far, like, yet for that. But so started doing the TM stuff. Uh, like, Mackinac quit, like, first day. But it wasn't because of me. It was like he was already going over to Dark Star. Mm. And because Dark Star was making some moves. And he was like, I'm going to go over here. You know, he, you know, like, like, whatever. Yeah. His deal. It w wasn't, I, not that I knew. All the Canadians that. were going over there. So Well, that was, sense. yeah, there yeah. was, like, something going on. You know, they were all yeah. going to be, you know, Chet was going to be a, Canadian or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was funny. They all had all these Canadians yeah, on the yeah. team. I was like, Chet, are you Canadian? Like, <laughs> yeah. bet, no, he's not. But, um, so, um, yeah, like, started doing that. And then this is where, like, you know, talk, we'll get into my story for, you know, for some more time. But this is where my life changed. Like, mm -hmm. if I look back and go, this is a pinnacle, this like, the point, moment. a moment in time. And there's been a lot of them. Like, I'm very blessed in, in, grateful for mm -hmm. things that have happened and the people that i've met right and um you know they were you know sheckler was on as an am mm -hmm. for world right mm -hmm. and i don't even think he might not even maybe he had an ad i think maybe whatever i didn't put him on he was on before right but he was like you know wearing a helmet little and kid little kid 12 dude, years old not younger i think he okay. was 10 or 11 wow. give him you know give or take right timeline sure. um like I would say 10 ish, mm. right? Like, but he was already had a cover, big brother, was like doing am contests, like doing all these, like doing good, beating the the, the big guys. Right? Sure. And so um, they were like, hey, go down, you know, got to meet the team. And, you know, I knew some of them. And then they were like, go down to, to Costa Mesa to Dam Am and then um, meet Sheckler and his mom and, you know, get to know him, right? You mm. got to do those things, right? Team manager. Team manager. Your gotta, duty. I got to manage these people. <laughs> Right. And so, um, you know, got, you know, said, hey, you know, got got to know him a little bit. And, you know, and we started really, you know, I, I don't know what it was. We just we clicked. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what, you know, I'm a 20 some year old dude and he's 10 year old, 11 year old kid. But we're skateboarders. So it's mm -hmm. like I think it was kind of like, you know, a big brother type of thing. Right. Like where, you know, maybe that, that's what it kind of turned into really quickly, like a mentory 
I don't want to say I was his mentor, but like, you know, like we really got along and I think he kind of was like, we gravitated towards each other. Cause I saw like in him, like, I mean, obviously he was good at skating, but like, you know, my skate career was over. Not that I wasn't skating, but right. like, you know, I wasn't going to be a professional skater done deal. Right. And so I kind of started living through him and some of the other skaters, you know, and him specifically. And it was like, I saw like, I'm going to help this kid, like, you know, try to do like what I didn't do. Gotcha. Right kind of style, right? And Were was, you having to deal with his, I mean, obviously the kid's young. I mean, sure. you have to deal with his mom. Yeah, for sure. So you're running ideas through both of them at the same time? Or how does something like was, that work? Yeah, it was kind of like, you know, a couple months, get to know him. And then quickly they were, I mean, they trusted me. Okay. And I appreciate that, right? Like, it's yeah. huge. Like, here's my kid, right? Like, go <laughs> yeah, take yeah. him. Go. Yeah. Right? And, <laughs> and, the, and like, she would come on trips. Yeah. Gretchen would come a lot. Randy worked, so he was at home. And then Gretchen would come on some trips. But... You know, we got to the point where where she didn't have to come on the skate trips because she trusted myself and the people, you know, and she knew this crew and like, yeah. you know, we, we ain't gonna let nothing happen to the kid, you know. That's our, you know, it's it's, you know, I mean, we're gonna mess with them, you know, we're gonna, <laughs> yeah. we're gonna knock them a little bit, you know, and like put them through the, yeah, like that, right there. Look, look at that little. Look, he's got a world industry shirt on. Totally. Yeah. Wow. Little dude. Little shex. BX, dude. See that? Dude, he was ahead of the game. I think that was mine. They bought me a camera. I was like, I'm going to be a filmer. <laughs> well, it was like, oh, I'll film, and then I get more trips. So you I said, think. like, uh, his mom, Gretchen, would come on trips sometimes, was, yeah. but then... She wasn't on this trip. This is Arizona. I how did, how this. did this work, though? Did somebody have to, like, sign over as, like, a guardian for him? Or? No, you didn't no. have that, like stuff back then okay, like really okay. not that it was like oh this is like 500 years ago but no <laughs> like no nah, it was i think there was a couple times she gave me like a little like just Note. in case yeah in case you know well God, if the kid God, gets hurt he's got to yeah. go to the hospital yeah, yeah, have yeah, that yeah. Parents God, permission to, God forbid to treat them. he has yes. to yeah i was the one right okay and so i was responsible for him you know um yeah, i didn't mean like guardian guard i just yeah, meant like no, like yeah, yeah, you have yeah, to yeah. hand yeah, over a responsibility i think right. there was like one or two of those like she gave me one it was just kind of i used it all like that was the one i had okay like in case but thank god nothing ever happened to the dude sure, <laughs> sure, sure. i definitely like i mean we were pushing him skating some craze like mm -hmm. stuff at his age you know so but this is like he's probably like right at like 12 or 13 right here in okay. this clip so but this is like he's still on world this is a trip we were doing and um you know um we were just filming for a bunch of stuff and I, I don't know what it was for. We weren't doing no video. Gotcha. But, um, and, um, yeah, we just, we got a lot of stuff done. And like, I remember, um, uh, this was a trip in Colorado and he, like, we did a thrasher article <laughs> and he got like his first photo in the magazine without a helmet yeah. and like all this stuff. And it was just like rad, you know, and huh. then, dude, like I remember talking to David Reyes and he was actually there that night and oh, he wow. was a Grom. Oh yeah, I bet. And he tells yeah. me he's like, "Oh, we were skating there that one night," and I was like, "Dude, I was there." It's funny; those two are really good friends yeah, now too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's like it. all these. You know, you start thinking back about all these interactions you have with people, and you're like, "Oh it's my!" It's so funny to watch Sheckler because, like, you watch yeah. something like this, you're like, "Wee!" <laughs> yeah. But the, dude, that <laughs> was not, look at him like grinding the thing. Wee! Yeah, dude, and it was easy. <laughs> dude, but look how high that dude. That I know. Was over, that's what I'm saying. That was yes. like you know eight feet tall. So. You know, we're doing all these things and it's, it's working, right? We're, you know, and I'm getting along with this kid and we're having a good time. And it's like, it's just, it's energizing for me mm -hmm. because it's like, I'm living through him, right? Because yeah. he's doing all the skating that I want to do. So it's like, you know, it's like almost like you, your kid, right? You kind of like, you live through this other person yeah. and you're proud of them because of what they're doing, which mm -hmm. makes you like, you know, you know, you're proud you're, as well. You know, you know, it's like, yeah. but I don't have kids, but it's like. But so, you're helping him out. You're giving him ideas of what yeah. tricks to do and, yeah. and stuff I like remember, that. I remember, I don't know if people on the pot, they can see these things. No, but oh, well, that's fine. Yeah, there's a cop came up to him and I remember, this is in Tucson and he was trying to like kick flip this big Rush. stair set. Oh, and uh, the cop came up and I was I was like across the street because we were trying not to be brello up the spot. We are like, just go, just go get the kick flip. Yeah. We'll be right here. Uh -huh. And the cop rolled up and talking to him. And like, I remember someone was like, oh, shit. Oh, no, we're busted, right? Like, uh oh. And then um, I was like, man, I gotta go talk to the cop. <laughs> you know it's like and i hesitated and i was like let's just see how it plays out for a little bit yeah, you know yeah, but yeah. like that was me just like messing with them you know but then it went over and i was like hey nah he's just messing around we're, we're out of you know whatever nothing yeah. happened nothing but happened, it was just okay. funny you know it was like one of those what are you like, gonna do with a 12 year old skate like you know, nothing, like, dude. They were like, you know the guy was talking to me like you should be doing something better with your life like shit dude relax like yeah get out of here bro. look at him now yeah yeah exactly right like you know it was funny but um so we were just doing like it was rad we were having a good time and then um you know and then so fast forward a little bit 
globe buys dwindle yeah right and so everything starts to change you know for the better you know we got you know there's it's bigger it's better it's budgets and mm. teams are going to come together um excuse me um and so we move over to this new building everybody lives moves in together it's like kumbaya you know everybody's <laughs> like all happy but then like you know it's Glo globe's got their own rules and business right and so you know there's some changes and things happening and, and but um yeah like it was rad because mm. everybody was kind of together so then all that exp i could talk about like dwindle the other building like i didn't get to have those homies come like you didn't mm. see day one or you didn't see the homies coming through like kicking it off they started coming through and like i shared an office with this tony that was a blind team manager back then and like we had this dope office and like day one would come and just post up and hang out we just talk about skating or like you know what we're gonna do and sock had an, an mm. office like right over and in, in his editing you mm. know and and you know, and it's just all the history with that too, right? Dude, he would be Socrates would like bust out tapes of like way back, like the I mean from original like all those dudes. You know, it's like oh, like it was crazy. He'd be like, "Oh, I filmed that," and you're like, "What?" Like, wow. I didn't know. like I didn't even know who Sock was. Yeah, really, like, I didn't, I didn't pay attention to it until you know I started knowing him. I was like, "Oh, you're that dude for sure." You filmed all this stuff, right? He's still and, sitting on them tapes, is he? Yeah, he should. <laughs> there he is. Well, so he, should, he, should, should, he should bring put him, him out. out. Yeah, yeah, bring him yeah, out. Yeah, someone should pay him a lot of money. Just drop it. I don't Sock. Know that, yeah, well, come on, Sock. Let's work this out, bro. Shit. Come on, Sock. Where are you at? Where is he? What does he do? Is he good? He's I've good. I'm thinking, I think he was on the show a couple years ago. I think, oh, he was? I think he's good, yeah. yeah. He's awesome. I think oh, we just had him a few months ago. Something with him, I think, his videography, I think. I'm not quite sure what it was. He was awesome. I miss that dude. He's good. Cool dude. Um, so all your dreams came true. Everybody was under yeah, one roof. Yeah, everybody was doing stuff. And like, you know, all the companies, it was like World and Blind and Dark Star. And, and then there was like Day One and Rodney were like, I think uh, all that deck of stuff was done. And like what Enjoy was there. Mm -hmm. Trying to remember all of it. But like, you know, I, think, I don't think Rodney and Day One were on anything. They were kind of going, you know, um, they're floating right now. Some of, the, some of the board companies didn't work out so well, and they were just kind of like, yeah, hey, we'll figure Artifact it. didn't work? Artifact. Artifact. Yeah, yeah, there you go. How long is that one around? I, very not not six, long. Six months yeah. 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 ago? Yeah. I, I was going to give it a year. One run of boards? Not long like enough for us to remember. A couple ads, <laughs> yeah. and you're like, that was it. Yeah. yeah, and so, but it was cool. Everybody was there. You see it all the time, and it was like a good atmosphere. And and so, you know, we were, I had reformed the, the world team a little bit, you know, some people had left, but like Crumb and Carlos D'Andrade were still there. Mm. And then, you know, and then, um, Hey Tom, were you working yes, for sir. world when, um, they were dropping all that money on, um, uh, the X games, uh, the helicopter? No, that was, that was, the um, that, that was, was Rocco. Before, that, that was Rocco. Right? Yeah. Right. Like I was, I was after uh. like Rocco had sold before I started working there or whatever they acquired it somewhere else mm. right, whatever yeah they yeah remember that stuff you're yeah. just dropping money like yeah, yeah. yeah i think that so was amazing. like yeah 93 94 it was crazy right? oh it was like, way back then no it wasn't that not long X ago games was not that was a long time ago it was like late 90s i would say because yeah. x games didn't come around oh until, yeah you're yeah. right i think it was yeah, like 99 right. yeah 99, 99. Okay. Yeah. yeah yeah that was that was before me so um but yeah no it was good and we started reforming you know and i got like uh mike peterson and kyle berard and okay. chad barty and then you know crumb and carlos were still there and some am jimmy Alfred and jason jones and we you know kind of a little revamping and curtis calamonico came you know, yeah. asked me about that before red, like, red. you know and so we had like a good crew on world but then like um it was good but then i got we were in vegas um some thrasher vans triple crown of something parking lot party um at the hard rock and we were all there the whole industry i remember everybody was there it was crazy um you know and and like even the dudes that didn't do contests showed up like you know so it was, it was cool and but they were at the hard rock everybody's party and it was for like, sure and i remember getting a call and um it was rodney and he was like hey come downstairs i'm having breakfast with with sheckler and his mom and he talked to you and i was like oh here it goes. <laughs> Here it goes. Did you come down with your party glass, yeah, like your no, six foot party? No, either? I don't. I don't use the it. adios, motherfucker. You yeah. One of those. <laughs> <laughs> Tom comes down with a, like a party hat on yeah. and like a what big, like big the, drink. The three, the yard, the, three foot, the, yard yeah. the blue drink, blue yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. What's blue up, drink? Rodney? How you doing, Gretchen? Yeah. Hey, Ryan. How you doing? Oh, oh shoot! I was just here. <laughs> um, no, I was chilling, dude. Come okay, okay, uh, um, professional. But I was tired <laughs> from the <that> evening. <laughs> okay. Price, you know, lost the ten bucks I walked in there with, or whatever. Um, but it was like, oh, I was like, oh man, he's gonna like 
probably get fired. I don't know. Like, this is just not, it just wasn't a good, mm. I was like, oh. I got down there and it was just, then, you know, Ryan's there and he's, you know, he's 12 ish, 13 at this point. And he'd won, he, I think he'd won the X Games already. Okay. Give or take. It, this could have happened right before, or right after this conversation. So, um, you know, and so they were like, hey, um, we're going to start a new company. Um, and me and Daywan and Ryan's going to ride for it. Right. And I was like, well, because he was going to be our, like, you know, golden you, child yeah you know how companies are you got your pinnacle dudes right yeah. you got the one dude that's always going to be at the top right like or pecking order right and yeah. ryan was going to grow into that for world right mm -hmm. and be like boom and so i was like oh well that sucks right like i'm just like i need and ryan was like well i'm not going to do it unless you do it and i was like what are you talking about dude like like what does I'm that done, what, not, what does that mean right yeah like, like i'm not a pro I mean, I'm, I'm done being i'm trying to be a pro yeah, skater yeah i mean thanks for the board <laughs> offer yeah. but, <laughs> uh, i mean you know but um you're gonna be am on almost yeah <laughs> you gotta no. do it with me what do you think that like, you would have to leave world to go work with him or something well no i didn't understand yeah. like i was just like it was a real quick conversation but like i'm trying to like understand. process process yeah. it real quick and i was just like and he's like well, no i'm like i'm gonna i want you to be you know with me right and me and ryan are really close at this time so you know and, and it's like this 13 year old kid like telling me like i was like what are you talking you're 13 dude what are you, you know right like <laughs> what do you know right yeah, yeah but yeah. what uh you know what he meant was like hey he wants me to come over like he wants me to be a part of this too mm -hmm. right and and i guess rodney and they and they probably had talked about it sure you know there's always those behind the scenes like conversations and and um and ronnie was like yeah we want you to be tm for almost also right and i'll do world and okay almost and i was like sick right like this is good like yeah. start a new, start a board company right right like with not, rodney and day one yeah and yeah, i, I, I exactly. don't want to say like oh i started with my my idea right but um helping yeah and it was like to be a part of it from day one right yeah, i mean sure. sure rodney and day one had talked about day this one. something was going to happen and then they were just like so you know, I was like, oh, I'll be a team manager. And I was like, this is sick, man. And it was this dude, Jim Shubin. He was a marketing dude. So it was just like me and him mm. worked on almost. And obviously, Daywan and Rodney had like ultimate input and in how they wanted it to be. And, you know, and they, they already had Haslam and Cooper Wilt on the team, right? Mm -hmm. and, and they were going to be the AMs. And then Sheckler was going to turn pro, oh, right? right? And so, you know, we already had Mark McKee had did some boards for Sheckler, you know, and um for world because he was gonna turn pro mm. because it was what yeah he, he had won i think x game so it was like oh he's gonna turn pro right 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 and it, you know he's 13 which we got one of them right yeah. here right this that, is one that of them? never that never came out the sheckler training brew non-alcoholic yeah world industries yeah that that board never saw the shelf there was like four of those ever made huh right? samples and samples right samples so and so they just switched it like, oh, mm. he's not going to be because there was not even an ad for hey, he's going to turn pro. You know, you get the pro ad sure, right? yeah. or something like that. And, and so they just switched him and like he's just going to be pro for almost. Did instantly. he turn pro right away for almost? Yeah, done. Like just instant. it was the first boards. Yeah. So or... it was. Yeah, it was him and Rodney and Daywan and then Haslam. I think maybe has no yeah, maybe has some had him. Was Cooper Cooper, Cooper was Will? Am Cooper, yeah, Cooper was, yeah he was Am, am at that's that right, point right, and then we were right. looking for one more they wanted one more like mm, pro right okay. and it was like a couple names floating out there so me and Jim would like you know hear like all right you guys tell us and we'll like put it together and like who do you guys think and we'll have the conversation like all right there's this dude <laughs> this guy uh, nah not nah, maybe not that guy okay. you know what, right and then um like Lutzka's name was floated and like I think like we talked it was like colt cannon hmm. but he was on element it was like okay. you know but I, I don't know why his name it was just i remember that name vividly like in the conversation like hmm. but i and i knew colt because i live in sf and he was from up that way but like i hadn't seen him in a few years i was like where did that it just who ended up being the guy let's go yep ah so okay, and okay. i don't even know like who knows what what colt maybe if someone just said that i don't remember but um but let's go was the other pro mm. right and he was hot dude he was going crazy doing a lot of stuff sure. and he rode for globe so it was Made like sense, um, yeah. boom boom you know whatever and then so we started doing that and then um i mean we were like a month in and they were like we're video need to do video right new company new video drop mm -hmm. it get hot sell boards right that's there the go yeah right cycle. like that's, that's the way cycle. that's the way it goes right and then um then we get the call like Burnett and phelps i think phelps called me he was like hey you guys didn't do king of the road right and i was like what like king of the road and they were like yeah and i think it was like 
almost want to say it was like a, a, a kind of a sick joke like on their part like we're gonna put they want to put Shackler this 13 year old kid on King of the Road it was like it only happened one, I think we were on the second one ever, wow okay. right? like in 2000 so this is 2004 because mm. I have the, the King of the Road tattoo with a date on it on my leg so I know that for a fact <laughs> 50 points that was 50 points dude okay. oh hey. Hey. contributing yeah I did I did get skate points though I did get some, you got some well okay. it, back then and I don't know how it was when this last iteration of it was but like everybody skated, right. like team manager, filmers, like if you're on that team, you can yeah, contribute. Well, yeah. everybody had to. Mm. Like it, there were challenges in these cities, you know, that if you didn't do it, your team didn't get the points. Sure, it was like, hey, everybody's got to mm. go and do this, and if everybody doesn't do it, you don't get the points. Mm. And some some of the people on some of the teams, like they like they might have skated, but they weren't like skaters. Like right. we were, we were pretty like I remember people like, oh, you're on it. Like, I mean, because it's we had day one. It was, yeah, that one. That was Philly first day. King of the road, checking the check. Off. Look, Day one. one was on the tour. Maybe don't show that. That was crazy. <laughs> um, but <laughs> <laughs> Maybe don't I'm sorry. I'm sorry, <laughs> dude. Ron, I, it's, it's just all this. Sorry, that was a great example of. But this is a King of the Road. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But this is a yeah, dude. So I, dro- the- I dropped in on that. I rolled in nice. on that. Nice, dude. Sketchy. I, like, dude, that was gnarly. And then a Ben Schroeder was our get mystery guest. Oh wow, it was so tight because I knew Ben a little bit, and I was oh. just like, and these dudes were like, Ben, Sh-, like, you know, he's a big dude. So yeah. this is just this is just a montage of Sheckler's stuff. Yeah, and I don't, yeah. So it's um, we pulled so up. yeah, we were. This was like our first go, and I think they were just like, you know, let's get almost. It's a new brand because it was like Girl and Zero mm. and uh, Real. So they were like, you know, established. So. They were like, you guys are new. Let's try some, you know, put you guys in there. Fred. And then I think it was like, oh, Sheckler, let, let's see what, he, like, 13-year-old kid on King of the Road doing all this. You know, let's yeah. grind him up, right? Like, grind him out and see how it works. And, How'd you, how did you guys do? Um, I think we got third. Okay. But I think there was, like, remember, because it was, it was day one, right? The <laughs> best skater I've ever seen in my life, For right? For sure. Um, and Haslam, Cooper... Lutzka, Sheckler. Okay. That was the skaters. You had, I think you had to have like one am or two am, whatever, because I think Hasm was pro. Whatever. And uh, Jai Bondaroff was our photographer because he was like our, our staff photographer at Globe and Dwindle and stuff. So like, pff, kill it right there. Like, two pro skater, yeah. great at it, you know. And then Acosta was the filmer. Anthony oh, Acosta. Wow. He didn't shoot photos. Oh, like, he wow. might have shot photos, but he didn't shoot. He was a filmer. Which he, yeah, turned, yeah. he turned into a great photographer. Yeah, yeah I'm glad on. he did, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, he and he's did. like, he's got clips in that thing. He's like, dude, he kind of saved us too a couple times mm-hmm. where it was like someone couldn't do the trick. He's like, dude, I got it. Yeah, you know, like, <laughs> you know, get tricks. You he's know? good, bro. Yeah. He's so good at skating, yeah. right? And you know, and just an awesome dude. And I'm, I'm like, to see what he's done is is amazing, right? And so, yeah, that all happened, and yeah, we lost. So, but it was cool, and you know, and like you said, I, the photo over here I brought that it was like. It's just like all the people started just coming together and all these things were happening and skateboarding was really rad at that time. And then, um, you know, so we just, we, we filmed, uh, almost round three mm-hmm. and Rodney and day had already filmed, right. You know, they were, they always stack, they're always filming. They were always getting clips. Right. And so they were already ready, but then the other dudes had to get the stuff. So we did trips with Sheckler a lot cause in Hazel, we went to Barcelona and I remember Gretchen went on that trip. And like, I remember like we were skating and like, she's trying to ke- keep up with us. And I felt, so, I was like, you can just stay at the, just go, go do, go relax. You're in Barcelona. And right. she was like, no, I'm gonna come to the spots. Like she went to every spot. Like, you know, she was awesome. Right. Like, and you know, so, but it, like but the, back, inter- the international trips were like, she's got to go. Right? But yeah, back okay. then though, like Rodney and Dale were on their own tip pretty much filming wise. Right. Like, oh, they- yeah, dude, they, like we, I never, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen Rodney Mullen skate in person. Hmm. Yeah, I think like maybe like yeah. maybe, but not no. I remember a uh, long time. I have told us in the story. Like I was skating with Ron McKinley one time, and we we're going no. looking in Torrance one day for no. a spot. And we go behind this random warehouse, and there's all these things stacked up, like these pill, yeah. like uh, the, the, the crates. Yeah. And we look, and it's Rodney filming. Yeah. And we pull up, and he feel like. We're, uh, day or um, Ro- Robin McKinley was like, "Oh, hey!" But I could tell that Rodney felt so awkward with someone yeah. being there yeah. to yeah. watch him, and we're like, "Hey, good seeing you. See ya. Like, yeah. good luck." Yeah, you know? he's just on his own. Like, that's how he works. Yeah, he right? don't like and, to be bothered. I remember nah, even like I mean, he's was... a scientist, right? It's like when yeah. he's working, it's like a 
he's just trying to work it out right he doesn't you know but that's what he does no know? even when we skated back in the day like at yeah. the world skate park like he would not skate that often in front of us yeah it was very rare yeah but he yeah. would but it was again very yeah. rare I, yeah hmm. i really think I, I don't think i've ever seen him skate in person like like on a sesh or anything like that yeah you know, like, or he never filmed and then day one would like he would come every That's once crazy. in a while that was in the back of the warehouse like just that was crazy front crook, yeah. front crook front <laughs> crook pressure yeah. flip yeah that was yeah but um <laughs> so um Yo. yeah but like they were already done with their stuff so we had you know the guys and we did a barcelona trip and we did some you know and i would take sheckler out because chris and and um and cooper were all like just the bigfoot and yeah the yeah. <laughs> yeah we were Genius. Seeing we Bigfoot was like seeing then, like, seeing yeah. Bigfoot was like seeing Rodney out in the street. That's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what I like they're like unicorns, right? You, yeah. Daywan and him, right? You see him and you're just like, I think that's the spot I saw him at right yeah. there. To be I honest, right there. Yeah, that's I think that's the spot. It's a spot. Yeah. Amazing. So basically, everybody yeah. had to catch up with yeah. Rodney well, and Daywan. They were already filming all the whole time because they were just trying to do something, right? Yeah. But, and then they came up with almost, and then you know, and so yeah, we went on a bunch of trips, and all these things happened, and everybody got their parts done, and we had a big like. You know, we did the big premiere in Hollywood and like, you know, and it was cool, right? And everybody was stoked and whatever. So, and it was good and, and it was good times and everybody, but then I was just kind of like burning the candle at both ends with World and I was trying to keep up with those dudes and, you know, and, and almost kind of started to like, for me, they were going like, I was going more towards the World dudes, not on purpose, but I was more with those like Mike and mm -hmm. Kyle and they were more like my crew guys, right? Like hangout guys. And so the almost like, you know, like Chris Rodney, they want to do their own thing. You know? sure, and, sure. and Ryan was, you know, he's 13 or maybe 14 at this point. Like, I don't know, you know, and he's a kid. I ain't going, you know, we hang out and, but we were really close, but it was just, you know, things happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just getting tired and I was just like, um, yeah, just kind of like burnt. Mm -hmm. Right. And, 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 it, and then you got globe and, you know they had their ideas on how they want to do business and things change here and there and you know we had some presidents come in and out of who was up and you know steve douglas and, and bod came in and that was rad because i was like I, kn I knew steve douglas but i knew bod like pretty bod good Boyle, yeah, yeah bod Boyle. like mm -hmm. i knew him pretty good so it was like oh they're coming in like skaters right like this is this is gonna be great right but you know they you know they had to do business things and decisions and based on what you know the upper management wanted Once, right? right so you know it was all good not my problem right i had a job and i was stoked but it was just like i was getting tired and so and just frustrated with certain things you know and it just i i just been really like one of those people it's like if if i just i'm over it i'm over it mm -hmm. and i gotta go right mm -hmm. i gotta separate i gotta change it right and if i don't change it then like I want to, you know, like say bad things will happen, but not not bad, but like, yeah, it's just no, like, it's going to be worse, right? Yeah. My attitude, you know, like, you know, and people go, oh, Tom's grumpy all the time, you know, whatever. But it's like, I'm, I'm not grumpy. It's just like, dude, I'm like, yeah, it's, there's things going on, right? And yeah, it's, sure, it's, it's sure. tough. So, you know, and then um, I just, yeah, I just up and quit. Side right? of the and blue. It, I didn't even have another job, right? And, but I've been there for four years or something like okay. that and all these things rad things have happened like i mean sheckler and friends and relationships mm -hmm. and you know and and i'd form new relationships with different people and whatever but i was just like i was just burnt like you'd leave town for weeks come home and i'd be like in this apartment that i had and you're just like cool like you know or like it was just like a weird like you had no you know, life besides yeah, yeah, yeah. what well, was going you'd on you'd be on the road for a couple of weeks doing a trip or something like that and you know you're going pretty hard and you come home and you got to sleep for a week because you're just like <laughs> weird and you got to get like um, <laughs> you got to catch up yeah you got to catch up and you got to figure out you know you, oh rent's late my check you know on my land you know just stuff that stuff, you're yeah. normal life stuff and yeah. i was like man it, and it got stressful where i was like i can't keep up mm -hmm. and people were probably hitting you up at the same time for hey can i get some boards can i get uh, that no, I mean, or like whatever it's yeah like, i mean you know like it's part of the, the job but the, the yeah. tm job is is tough mm -hmm. like anybody who's a team manager like good for you like you, you guys are awesome because it, it it's a it's a thankless job mm. and nobody understands what happens behind like you know skaters just think oh i see my boards or i need a flight or i need a hotel or i need like this right okay you need that but so does 20 other people yeah, right yeah, and yeah. they're calling one person or the mm -hmm. team manager or like you know and it, it's it's a lot right and then you gotta like well 
So I had to back up a little bit. Like, I, I didn't, like, up and, like, so these things were leading up, and, like, I had to, like, let people go, you know, and, and because of whatever their merit or, you know, and then, like, when Carlos, they let Carlos go or they wanted him to go, and it was, like, a, that was a hard one for me because that was, like, unwarranted like he was still killing it doing good at contests like, he was getting x games doing good like making money he was like doing video parts like selling boards right so there was like that was like you know i can understand if someone wasn't like doing their job yeah you know just like anything like he was ripping too oh, dude, he's so yeah. good he's still good still so good he's yeah. still skating in brazil right. doing his thing you know i i seen him not too long yeah, ago yeah i came across his yeah instagram him yeah and i was nah, tripping uh, yeah, but it's, he, it's not his name it's somebody nah, else yeah name. so hey if you so, ever want to look at somebody skating like go so, look yeah. so they wanted you to let him go yeah and i was just like what and i, I remember told bod and i mean i don't know if you know the exact exactly what happened but i was like i'm not telling him like you you tell him and he's like all right i'll do it you know no bod no he's a skater he knows like he got oh, cut i'm sure a few times or totally, whatever yeah. it's like i was just like i couldn't do it you know and because i'd had to let like fernandez go years before and i you know like you know i had let neil mims go but mm. you know there was there was things there right you felt and it wasn't justified so that's yeah why I, I definitely didn't it. for sure you know and then it was my first taste of like Oh, this is how it goes. the harsh reality. Yeah, is like, yeah you know, yeah, you position. start to because you, know, you got you have to be the messenger. Yeah, it's not yeah. you being like, you know what? Well, it ain't them. Yeah, let's get Chad Fernandez off the team. Yeah. you know what? Yeah, let's yeah, get yeah. Carlos D'Andretti off. You yeah, know, it's not sure. you. Yeah, yeah, and it's in. But you got to be the bad guy. Yeah, and and it's and it you know the, how do you explain to somebody totally. like hey you're 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 blowing it or you're not blowing whatever you're, you're just, killing it you're just but out. You're, <laughs> also, but also to the you're killing it. Yeah, but, but we yeah, can't, yeah, yeah. But we nothing can't. we can do. Yeah, yeah and anymore. it was just like so. You know, and it was it was a tough one. For I remember like walking him out afterwards, and I was I didn't even I was speechless, and he's like upset, and like you know you could tell his whole like world just got yanked. Yeah, no pun intended. Yeah. Right? but like <laughs> yeah, it like literally just got like wiped out. Like, and right. I think he even had to like because dude, he was making some bread dude mm. like he was doing good like money wise back you know and and i think he ended up having to go back to brazil and like you know that sucks they didn't give him like a you know like a 90 day like hey dude that's nah, prepare it, for this and instead it, of just like all right later dude i don't even like I, I, god when is the I last time about, you heard that going that in skating i know but i'm, I'm trying to severance or something yeah. like that yeah. like yeah. severance is out of the picture oh obviously. yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> severance severance, thing. Pay, um, severance. Pay, pay i don't is, think that's a word in skateboarding <laughs> pay is out of the question sometimes these days it's like oh you get bored in incentive what yeah like you get bored in that's, yeah, that's pretty much yeah, where right. that's pretty much where we're at I these days yeah. Yeah. yeah you know yeah 14 bucks an hour there you go <laughs> um i mean yeah, there was a thing uh what was it bo turner did a thing for like trans or like a thing and he would broke it down like his I, I don't know bo very personally i met him once like um but he did it like and i'll butcher this so I, so I apologize but like it was a whole thing about like you got a better chance of working at mcdonald's and retiring mm. like doing that than being a pro skater and trying to retire because at least at mcdonald's you got benefits you can make like manager and then you make right. something like that i don't know what it was but i was like i remember reading that and i was like yep like 100 yeah. percent. like you you know it's like it's rough out there in the mm. in the streets for real like yeah. in skateboarding you meet that pinnacle and then all Done. of a sudden you're you're on the decline. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of people uh, like sooner or later, right? Unless unless you're everybody's a ticking. There is the exception of the rule. Hundred percent. I'm not saying everybody yeah, follows not that, not but there all. is that no, every, basic formula. For sure. For One sure. day everybody will have that conversation. Mm -hmm. Not like, there's a couple like you know like Steve Caballero, dude's forever. He's gonna be pro. Like doesn't yeah, matter. But you know yeah. it's there's sure. certain little thing. But I would say 99 percent of the people that we know <laughs> that were professional skaters like that. You're never gonna make it that far, yeah. Yeah. right? It's tough. It's a one percenter deal, and yeah, it's rough. And nobody understands like what is going on the whole time. And you're just a kid trying to live your dream, and you're you get sponsored by these people or companies that are like, "This is the best thing that's ever happened to me." Mm -hmm. And what they don't understand is there's a lot of moving parts behind that mm -hmm. that yeah. are making decisions based on them right. and what they're doing right but it's a business decision mm -hmm. and it's like when it comes to business it's it's rough right it's totally. it's a tough and and that so people don't you know we don't teach that right in oh, skating yeah. right we don't we didn't get the handbook i'll tell you that like no, i didn't get one you I mean, know? I don't that's know. just beyond there's not contract there wasn't contracts early on no. in, in like board sponsors like at all now i'm hearing that there's contracts you know for board sponsors now so that's for oh sure. yeah that's cool for you know sure. what i mean we've yeah come, we've come a little bit further but i think ours based on like girl and chocolate was just based on like just 
friendships. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I mean, you guys were untouchable. Those, though, that was that different. Point. That was different. I want to, you, know s- you, guys- you know, and I don't know the intricate details, but I mean, obviously, we'll get in. I worked there, but like, y- you guys, you guys were friends. Yeah, there was it different. It, it's the reason that place worked. Yeah, right, because there was dedication from Rick and Mike and Meg and you know, and those guys that they they meant it. Yeah. Right. And sure, there's obviously business that got involved and there's things that are obviously sure. Right? And they but, are not perfect by any means. They no, nobody is. Yeah. Right. Like we're skating. Man, we don't No, Nobody taught us. Like we learned from the streets. We learned from like, you know, most of us. I mean, most of the kids I see even these days didn't even make it out of high school. Mm-hmm. Like, or, you know, oh, and yeah. I, I don't and they're know. They're running like, all these brands and companies. Yeah. And like it's crazy. <laughs> or sure, like, yeah. You know, and I mean, but a lot of them don't even have social skills because I mean, I hated high school. Right. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. everybody kind of will say that, you know, like. Maybe someone loved it, but I didn't. Like, but I look back and I go, man, it was really. I made a lot of. There was a lot of cool things that happened, right? For but sure. It teaches you, like you know, even that interaction with people. Like, oh, I gotta go talk to this person because I'm in a classroom with them or a yeah. teacher, mm-hmm. and you don't really think about it, n- n- you know, then. But like, it really was teaching you values in life, you know, whether you were good at school or not. But like. It taught you how to be social. Mm-hmm. It taught you like certain things, right? And and most of these kids don't even. They're just like, oh, I'm not even in. I, I haven't been to school since I was 12. And you're like, what? Yeah. Like, I mean, dude, if I didn't go to school, I was. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people that sit in that chair never graduated high school. I mean, a yeah. lot of. I've said it time and time again, but a lot of stuff starts happening right at that high school sure. moment. Those are those are traveling are, sponsorship, yeah. you know, and then it's like. Hey, I'm going to Europe for yeah. three weeks. Well, I mean, I'm in a tenth grade. I might as well. Yeah, I mean, you're getting bail. a you're getting a street education. Yeah, which is, you know, in some cases, oh, that's better. very that's very <laughs> you know? beneficial at that yeah. time. I mean, you're traveling 100. the world. You're learning so many like you know worldly skills as far yeah. as like you know just if you're around, just getting I your mean, passport and shit. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, yeah, I mean, you know. dude, my, my my parents never even have ever been out of the country i think my dad right. was never even on an airplane right they oh just, if it know. wasn't for skating i would oh, never yeah. have left for the country yeah. no i'd still be in ohio yeah chilling perfectly doing, certain not, probably not true. chilling I think, but you know but i think that's why team managers become a huge responsibility for skateboarding because as oh, a kid i had yeah. i had so many great team managers yeah. that really like made me feel comfortable and taught me so much stuff yeah. for sure and even just the other skaters around and, it you know yeah and i think um yeah. i mean i come from a little bit of a rougher like era of skateboarding like it was raw like you were you were tough you, t- you know i mean there was a lot of like hard love mm-hmm. right and yeah. so and i and you know i yeah ask anybody and i admit i know who i am right i'm yeah. pretty comfortable with that you're and tom like, yeah i'm tom Kern, not the <laughs> yeah. surfer. um but like i you know i'm i know how i am yeah right and i'm i'm rough around the edges and i and i'm tough and i give tough love right but it's also because i know that they need it mm. sort of in a way like mm, I, I feel you you know and i mean not everybody needs to get their ass kicked every once in a while but it's like i think i was i'm rough on a lot of the skaters that were underneath them like that i manage and stuff over the years because it was like i saw that they had better and could be better mm-hmm. and i wanted them to be better than me right not that i mean i think i do okay like i mean i you know didn't think i would even be here you're coming so, from a good place yeah, yeah you know and so you know but yeah my life was a little rough you know so it was you know we didn't, i didn't come from anything you know and and so I, I think i'm rough on a lot of my skaters as a reaction to be like i know you can be better like s- stop fucking blowing it right. like do some, yeah. just let me just listen to me but, please yeah. right. well a lot, you know, and, yeah. a lot of kids have the talent but they don't know how to use it right 100%. and so they have a team manager like you to be like yo i see your talent yeah. this is what you sh- i think you should be doing yeah to utilize yeah. it For and sure. sometimes skaters don't understand that totally. some 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 do yeah. Some get in their own. No, some, I mean, yeah. dude, there's some psh, skaters are like some of the most successful people I know, right? Like yeah. they just, but I mean, it, it drives, like skateboarding drives so much, right? It, it's like art, you know, art and out forward thinking and, and just like from the streets and we're mm-hmm. like moving forward and it's just like a new generation of thinking compared to our parents or their parents, right? It was mm-hmm. like very, you know, so yeah, I mean, it's rough, right? And, but there's a lot in skating that they don't teach you you know, mm-hmm. or tell you before you sign up and all these things. And yeah. And sometimes you got to let people go and right. they don't understand why. Right. And so, so the Carlos thing was, was rough on me. And I think it kind of came to a head with that. It was just like, it emotionally affected me. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, you know, ask my fiance best. I'm, I'm not an emotional dude. Right. Like I'm pretty, you know, cold mm-hmm. and like, you know, you know but 
it, 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 I think back now and it was like, yeah, that was probably one of the reasons, you know, and then other things I was just like, dude, like whatever I was burnt out. And mm -hmm. I just remember like, I walked up to the girl that was the manager, brand manager, marketing manager at that time. And I was just like, I quit. And she's like, what? <laughs> like, what are, you, what are you talking about? You know? And like, I was like, yeah, I quit later. See ya. Send me my check, whatever. <laughs> Damn. Out. And I just left and I didn't have a job. <laughs> And, no, um, two, no two weeks yeah. Later. Yeah. No, no, that's no. how I, dude, I, don't, I don't need two weeks do you need two weeks <laughs> like you don't like if like it's one of those like this is just how I operate it's like if I don't want to be somewhere you don't want me to be there right, right because I'm like I will be cordial but it's you're gonna, gonna feel you're gonna feel an energy yeah <laughs> you're gonna feel the energy for sure and then and then too it's like you know especially at that time I'm still a little immature-ish you know yeah I might say something, right? Mm. Or I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna like jeopardize. But it was like, I just like, it's better for me just to leave and focus, refocus the energy into something okay. that hopefully will move me forward, right? Did you have not, a, yeah. Sorry. No, I was just gonna oh. say, did you have a conversation with uh, Sheckler and his mom and all this? Or did you just. I think so. Like, I, but I would already like not working. I, I stopped doing almost towards the end and I was oh, just doing did. world, okay, okay. right? And Got so. You. Yeah, I think I just kind of like I was like, hey, I'm I'm that was I think maybe right before that was the solution was like, let me just do world, mm. let's cut the fat, right? Like, I, you guys do this. And so you were kind of already out the door on almost. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, no, no. And so okay. I was just like, you know, but it, you know, that didn't work either, you know. And it was yeah. just, it just was like I had to go, right? And and I left without having a job. Like I, you know, I had a couple bucks, you know, maybe you know they owed me some vacation time. I remember the, <laughs> this is funny. This is some skate stuff. Like I talk about accounting, right? Or hmm. uh, um, or HR. I didn't even know what it, it, they had an HR part in that. Um, so the lady was like, "Oh, hey, we, you know, you get paid out for your vacation time that you don't. Most businesses have it like that, where mm -hmm. if you don't take the vacation when you quit, you know, you get the it's part of your little package. Yeah, you get mm -hmm. a little package. Yeah, I wouldn't call it severance. Like you said. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't gonna last long. That's why I said a little package. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> she's like, you've acquired like. 250 hours of vacation time she's like i remember she called me she's like but i remember and she was super cool i knew her she's like you're never here so were you like why didn't you apply for the vacation time i was like because i was on tour like i was never here because i was like working like every day for like weeks at a time mm -hmm. and and she's like oh okay and she's like well let me talk to i think she had to go talk to bod and like get it approved because she was like didn't understand like I didn't take any vacation time, but I was never at the office because I was always out skating yeah, or doing stuff. Stay working. And, yeah, and I like, stay working. Yeah, lady. Was, yeah, oh, yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> that. Uh, you know, we talk about the TM and the thankless stuff. Like nobody understands. Like my phone doesn't stop ringing, Monday through Monday. Like <laughs> yeah. you know, like yeah. the whole time. Like it doesn't matter. Like you know, like what time mm -hmm. of the day, night, because you know, skaters are more nocturnal than anything else you know you get call at three o'clock in the morning like i need a board i need, I need, I need yeah. a box dude you up yeah, yeah. you up oh. <laughs> you, you, you want to lie with the spot with me <laughs> yeah you have time to talk so no. what did that uh yeah. what did what did she come back with yeah no i ended up getting the cash i was stoked it was like i don't know what it was uh, four or five grand yeah but man. i was like there yeah. you go you know, because I was That'd like, help me out. well, because, you know, I made a split. So I was like, I'm fucking out of here. I quit. And then I'm like, oh, shit. You know, you, you, hindsight, yeah, I'm like. You didn't really think it out. Hindsight, I should have been more professional. I should have gave them two weeks. I should have wrote it out. I should have talked to them. Maybe we could have worked it out. Right? Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Didn't do that. So whatever happens. So, But I got the cash. So it was like, all right, I could float a little bit and I'll figure it out. And it was cheap. I was living in this apartment, like me and uh, Pat Duffy, because Pat was on World. I don't know if anybody remembers. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. I, after thing, I think it happened, like closing. And I was like, and me and Pat were living in an apartment off of Los Feliz in L.A. And, uh, well, he had an apartment, like a studio, and I had a studio in the mm. same apartment building. And, um, you know, we were kicking it hard. And I was like, dude, just get on World. Like, I'll get you, you know, 1500 bucks a month or something like that. And and uh, and then um, he ended up quitting because Plan B started. And I think, mm. you know, they were like, he's like, I'm a, I am was like, dude, yes. I remember he called me. The like, resurgence of Plan B. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember he was like, dude, Plan B. And Sal was doing it, you know, in the beginning, too. So it was kind of like, you know, I, they were having a conversation. I was like, dude, what, yeah, go. Like, what, yeah. no, you deserve to be over there, right? You're Pat Duffy. Like, mm -hmm. don't, you know, I was, you know, I was, I was stoked on him to be a part of whatever we were doing, like, just because it's Pat and he's a homie and obviously it's Pat Duffy. So I, I'll, he can go anywhere I go. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, and so, 
you know, those things were happening. I was living there and it was cheap, you know, still back then. Like, sure. I, I was making it for a bit, but like, yeah, it got struggled for a second, I, almost like a year. Cause I thought I was like, oh, I'll quit. I've been in the industry. I'll find a job. Couldn't find anything. Not, not a, not even like a pack of the box. Like, but you ended up working for girl at the, at the. It was about a year. Yeah. I was probably a year after dwindle. Okay. That ish, whatever, maybe something like that. And, um, the, um, my friend Romy, she was doing sales over there. I, and, um, I remember Romy. Yeah, Romy. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah cool. super cool. And um, I known her for a long time. And um, she was like, "I think there's a sales job or some kind of job over here." And I was like, "I'm down. Like, let me apply." Because that was like, and I known like you know Rick and Mike and you know and Sam. Like I knew mm -hmm. Sam pretty well, and like you know some of the guys over there. Sure, like, I met you know being around. What and, year was this? <laughs> 2006? Uh, I should have brought my resume, dude. Like, <laughs> That's it right there. Can you, can you pull up, this my, is like can this you pull up my LinkedIn back there? 2006, right? 2006, <laughs> 2006 2007? Um, yeah, probably before that, because I was 2001, I was at Dwindle, or World. Okay, so, so 2001 to 2005, and then 2006 so to I was, 2010. I was at Girl for like the f beginning, and then a couple, like a year or so before like fully flared and i was there through that fully flared era so that was like you know so but yeah so let's just say 2000 let's see you, you pulled up your linkedin right here Did here's you? a uh, oh. girl skateboards 2000 august 2006 to february 2010 boom three, three years, years seven months roger G, don't directly my responsible my for personal information sales. is on the <laughs> it's, it's, it's free to now. see what do you mean i know it's i just they ripped me off on one of those like, not ripped me off i signed up i was like hey pay 29 bucks and people will see your thing more often and whatever and i was like i paid it dude i just can't Canceled it. It's been. I haven't paid attention to it. It's been ringing me up twenty nine oh, bucks a month for like a couple yeah. years. That's and I was how the like, subscriptions get you. Dude, they get you you forget and forget. And two years like, later, you're like, I'm what? Dude, I Still feel like pay I, for this. Yeah, yeah, I feel like I get like a, a charge from Apple.com or something like thirty times a month, and it's, it's always crazy. like four bucks, two bucks, and I'm like, I don't even. What is, what's going on? Is this yeah. like you guys they are, they are good at that uh, shit? I know. What is this app that I subscribe to? <laughs> I don't know. Two ninety nine. I know. I don't even have that app anymore. Two terabytes of storage. Did I do I that? It's terrible. Two terabytes but, um, of storage. I'm only using five hundred gigs. <laughs> yeah. So so I went. You know, applied. And I think it was applied for a sales manager job because mm -hmm. it. You know, I was like, oh, I can, you know, trying to get up. You know, trying to move up in status and sure. you know, and and then um, I I didn't get the job, um which was fine right i just you know and, and i'm glad because it's i'm not a sales dude like i'm not like a numbers crunching like i'm gonna analyze why this board doesn't sell for the, that's, that there's certain people that do that and they're killer at it and i'm not you know but i can do it because it's skating i can talk about skating and so didn't get a job then meg calls me like maybe a couple of weeks after mm -hmm. like you know they told me they were professional like oh hey we're gonna go with somebody else yeah all right cool whatever and i was like romy was kind of giving me inside like She's like, oh, like maybe hold on, just keep calling on me, you know. And I was like, all right, cool. And and so Meg called or Jason called me, I don't remember which one. She's like, hey, one of our sales dudes just quit, and he's gonna he's taking another job. We didn't expect, you know. But she was like, hey, and since I'd interviewed, I guess you know I was in the queue, right? right. And so they were like, hey, um, you want that job? And I was all, take it, you know. And I was like, I mean, anything to be, you know, I mean, one, I needed a job, I need to, you know, put a roof over my head and stuff like that too, but the opportunity to be at girl and chocolate like was like because that was the shit right like, that was, i mean yeah. rick and my i mean those and, you know like we talked it's weird because i'm the same age as most of my heroes <laughs> you know yeah. kind of thing you know yeah. but um like those dudes are my heroes right like as skate i looked up to it like rick was like you know like I, no offense mikey but you know rick was like you know i was a little like oh shit but but <laughs> And it was funny. Um, I, I, I like Mikey too. He's my he's my dude. I haven't seen him in a while either. So call me up whenever. You know, hang out. Um, um, but you know, the work with those dudes, and I knew what they were doing, and caught Eric, and you know, and 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 again, they, back then those boards were selling themselves. <laughs> didn't even have to like try, yeah. right? Like it was, you know, and you, yeah, you guys yeah. were there. I was selling, you know, I was selling you guys boards, you know, and yeah. it was cool, and like it was a, and I like the family aspect, and I like we talked about, or, you know, it was they treated everybody like you know i mean sure there was their little you know crowd tap like they were a crew mm -hmm. you know i don't think i ever cracked into that which was fine like i wasn't a part of that yeah. right i was a part of their family but i wasn't a part of their inner circle but they let you get in there and like mm -hmm. be a part of it you know and that was cool and 
and too you guys always came through like you guys were always coming there and like yeah and that skate park in the back and we'd always skate during lunch yeah. and like you know like me and um like uh peter artigo was a sales dude there peter man peter man i was called peter man i know peter, he's the best. <laughs> Press would, exam channel nine yeah, he was the best dude he was from so, the office space he sat right next away. to me dude and he would just be like you just hear he was he was a excellent salesperson yeah he was good so dude. good at it Super not just sound. sit there and listen to him and I'm, i suck this dude's fucking bop, 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 bop. Oh yeah, the mouthpiece. Yeah, dude, and then but like and Jamie Hazel, and he's still there. Jamie, I think. Jamie still yeah. there, and yeah. I see he lives by me. I see him every once in a while. He just had a baby, and Red. he's doing good. And then um, his homie Jamie from Florida. Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, Jamie. yeah. But um, and like Peter didn't skate, but uh, we three skated. And, yeah. Like those dudes, to the two Jamies were like beasts. I was Super like, good. man, like yeah. I was like, oh man, it's, I thought you guys be a little lower key <laughs> than me. I could, but you know, and you go back in the park and like, dude, lunchtime was like session time. Like Rick would come back, Mike and whoever was around was skating. Right. And it was, it was dope. Right. Mm-hmm. And you were in, dude, you couldn't dude, you, you, you didn't even have to try to sell a skateboard. Yeah. There. It was just, it would, it sold itself. And, um, it was cool. when you saw, like, I really started to see and Not that I wasn't doing like art development, like marketing strategy stuff at dwindle and things like that and laying out ads and blah, blah, blah. But you saw the art dump and like you saw what those are, dudes were doing. And I probably like, I probably killed myself there by like, I wanted like, dude, I loved it. And like, I try mm. to be, and you know, we're in sales. We're not in that department, right? Like, but you were like, ah, oh, you know, like you want to be, you want to see that and be a part yeah. of it, you know? Mm-hmm. But, and it was cool, man. And, you know, and like you get a call from Rick, like, hey, come up here, go up to his office. And he'd had like all these board graphics laid out. And he'd be like, well, what do you think? And they were like, what do I think? <laughs> what do you, like, you know. But, yeah, yeah. You know, Why are you I mean, asking me? But the sales I mean, guys know. Like, you know, I, I appreciate Rick. Like, you value my opinion, mm-hmm. right? Which is great. But then, you know, we're sales dudes, so he wants to know, too. He's like, he's smart. He wants to know what, like, people are talking about. Like, For sure. Does that sell? Does that not sell? Like, mm-hmm. this graphic's got a, a bird on it. Nah, maybe not. Like, you right. know, whatever, right? right? And it was cool like that. And it was good for a long time. And then Fully Flared happened, which was like... <laughs> lightning in a bottle like i was just like you know that was crazy like i don't even think we had enough boards to sell crazy right like you know and it was it was awesome man and and it but at the same time like there were some sales managers coming in and i think we had like three or four i think they like let one of the dudes go because it was just not working out and then like they like a year later they hired him back and i was like this is awkward <laughs> you know yeah. like just you know like things you know like the fully it, like we like not that I think girl was always at the top of their game, but like, it, like fully flared and there's this you know like the mouse like it, they peaked on these crazy oh, for sure like crazy levels right. Well, you and, weren't there when Hot Chocolate tour no, came out. You would have just. I, mean, <laughs> I, mean, I would have been crazy. Uh, could have been. You could have been slanging. Oh my god, unbelievable! Dude. Wait, were you selling all of the? Co- yeah, you uh, sold everything. Okay, right? yeah. but I was doing like like key accounts, so I had like zoomies. Okay. Right. And Zoomies and Eastern, like the distributors. Right. And then, you know, I had, you know, good shops, you know, and, and stuff like that. And um, I mean, but at that time, like all the shop, like you you could not sell girl because so all the shops were good. Right. Mm-hmm. Like you had all good shops. They would buy your stuff. And so, but I was, you know, you, you, dude, you're moving. I was selling the Zoomies by like the pallet load. Right? Yeah. Like it was crazy, you know, and I didn't, I mean, then it was like, but then. I started making really good money too, where it was like that next level started to happen for me. And I was just like, Oh shit. Like this is awesome. Right. Like I'm actually able to be stable. Mm. Right. And like maybe put money away instead of like paycheck to paycheck. Sure, yeah. Sure. And yeah, it was awesome. And then uh, like fully flared happened. And then like I said, that that was crazy ride. And then it just kind of, you know, slowed down a little bit because mm-hmm. you know, they did their thing and then yeah. you kind of, dwindles out a little bit naturally yeah naturally and then um you know the sales manager were in and out and i just was like i started to get like grumpy or like like kind of just like tuned out when mm. i would go there and, and i started like i remember i had a headset and i was like talking in this headset and i was like what the fuck am i doing <laughs> talking in this headset like i just i, I wasn't there uh-huh. right and were sales starting to like decrease or something or nah, was it i mean it was no? it was still good but then like 2008 happened so yeah there was yeah. some slowdowns okay. right yeah, like yeah. because the economy mm-hmm. was like you know and people and i think in uh, my timeline maybe a little bit messed up but like you know eric, eric guy yeah they were they were that out was, uh, yeah, that kai at even time. right yeah. Kai, yeah and that was kind of like oh, oh what's going on right, right, right. <laughs> you know yeah, and yeah. I, it wasn't i mean whatever um 
And then, yeah, I just kind of, I just, it wasn't in me to do sales. I didn't like. You started the, checking out. Yeah, I started checking out. And then the skate shops were kind of like, you call them and you could tell like the homie was having a hard time. Like, and he's like, dude, I can't buy shit right now. Like my, I'm trying to pay the bills and like, mm-hmm. I got too many boards on the wall. And you start hearing that over and over again. And you're just like, it, you get depressed. Yeah. Right. And you just get bummed and you're just like, dude. And like, it, it's so. And all of these stories of all these companies, you start, like, when you work there, you pull the curtain back, right? And sometimes what's behind the curtain is is rough, right, to understand. But it's business, and, you know, you got to do what you got to do to keep the lights on and people employed, too, right? So you got to make decisions whether they're right or wrong. And I started learning all those things over these years. And so, like, I would I would start to disconnect myself from the brands that I worked mm. at because I just, like, I, it just, the vibe was gone. Yeah. sort of right yeah. and it wasn't like i mean dude you see rick and my like all the boys like mm-hmm. you know not that vibe but it's like it just wasn't my deal and i knew that it just wasn't what i needed to do right like your work vibe was off right yeah, like yeah, like yeah, yeah. calling these people and you're just yeah, like oh like, gosh yeah, it was just not yeah and and skateboarding's tough man like i, I call it like I, I it's like the best worst thing that's ever happened in my life right like it's and i, I don't know if any other skater can attest to that but i feel like it's true for everybody like it has so many ups and downs and peaks and valleys, yeah. you know, and, and it's rough. Like people think, oh, you're, you're working, this, you have the awesomest job in the world. It's like, yes, is the answer to that always. But then the the loaded answer is like, you have no idea, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. like a lot what, that comes with this. Yeah, it's, it's not, you know. There's a lot not, of blessings, but there's a lot of curses as 100%, well. 100%. Like, I mean, the the tragedies and the the despair and the the struggles that i've seen that have gone through friends and friends passing away from you know not skateboarding right but like mm-hmm. you know there's heavy addiction in skateboarding right? skateboard there's, lifestyle like yeah it's, it's raw right like you you live in the streets you're you're from you know you, you do it right mm-hmm. and the, yeah. the it gets heavy right yeah. and so so it's really hard sometimes and and so all those things and, and like i said before like i'm a person once i start to get that feeling i'm done that's just cut. Like I, I gotta go. When you were getting this feeling, where you, I mean, it sounds to me the way you're talking right now was like you were done with skating completely. Sure, one hundred percent. Like um, I, I quit. Um, did you give, say, him, did you give him two weeks? <laughs> you went about it a little more. Yeah. I mean, who needs yeah, two weeks? You need two weeks. Who I need? Who needs two weeks? I, 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 I <laughs> yes, I, I believe I did. I, I think I did. I, okay. I'm pretty sure I did. I mean, that one was more like. And I'm sorry, it may, uh, somebody tell me if I'm wrong over there. Not that it matters anymore, but sure, I think I gave two weeks, and I hope I did. And um, in my head, I hope I did because of respect for for who and what they were mm-hmm. and what they meant to skateboarding and still do, right? Sure, like, yeah. Especially, you know, Rick and Mike, and, you know, like that's, you know, those guys are the best, mm-hmm. right? They're, they're so definitely. rad. Like yeah. the, the good people. <laughs> And some of the best skaters I've ever seen in my life, right? And I always so- trip how they were like the top pros in the game and also ran these companies. I, I'm like, that 100%. is next. Like, I don't think people yeah. really understand like the skateboarders, the skateboarders out there. I don't think they understand how hard it was to be a pro skater like that. No. Nah. And do all the behind the scenes. No. That I was mean, wild. They were filming video parts. They yeah. were crushing. Yeah. Yeah, right? they started at 17, no, 18 years old. They're like yeah. 18 to 19 years old. That's crazy. Like you that look, hustle, yeah. right? Like that hustle. Yeah. I mean, look at Mike. I mean, the SF hustle, like that's that's real, right? He learned his brother, you know, his brother is on the hustle, mm-hmm. like doing stuff and like the hustle of like, you know, I wasn't around for like those EMB days. I was after that, you know, but like you hear the stories of like, that was, that's the way you ran it. Like you survived, right? It was perfect life. timing. You know, yeah. the timing is everything. Yeah, yeah definitely. 100%. That, that early 90s was the perfect yeah. storm for those dudes uh, to yeah. I mean street teams. skating in general it was mm-hmm. like that's it just they're right there mm-hmm. they're ready prior to, to that it was a bunch of vert skaters yeah creating companies yeah, yeah. for yeah. sure right I mean that's what like I mean if you look at all I mean I don't know yeah not now but like in that time like a little bit every vert dude owned a company yeah right and it was just like like why in freestyle dudes yeah majority freestyle dudes yeah majority yeah um yeah, it was it was weird. Like, I mean, maybe it was like, oh, their careers are over. We gotta do something, right? Like, maybe they transitioned yeah. too. Yeah, 
Yeah, Tony you know, Mag owning H Street. Like, I mean, yeah, it was yeah. that's the, that was the reality. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. You know, and and I mean, some of them were you know vert skaters or vision that you know knew enough to like oh street skating. Yeah, I think it's right? across the board. You know, you got Ed Templeton, you got sure. Jamie Thomas. Now, it's different you got, now, though. but that started getting I, later towards later, 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 later. For sure, Ed Templeton yeah. definitely was in that key moment. As for, well, sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it started to change. Yeah. Well, because street skating became the dominant mm-hmm. factor. Vert in the '80s was the do- street skate, not as guns. Right. And price, I'm sorry if I missed somebody that was awesome, but uh, <laughs> I mean, those were the two for me that was like, oh, those are the guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and, one. you know, and then, you know, a little bit after it was like, you know, Jason Lee and, and then that generation came through and it, yeah. they changed the game, right? They changed and, so quick. Yeah. Too. And then so street skaters took over the industry, mm-hmm, right? And they good. started working in the industry, owning companies because, you know, they there was a void. Yep. Right. And that was just the evolution of skateboarding. Hundred yeah, percent. Where we were. One hundred percent. So yeah. So I was fortunate to be a part of that. Mm, it was cool. Nice. You know, a little bit. Not. I wasn't the. You know, I was on the back side. <laughs> just walk. You were in it. You're. Yeah. Things was, are happening. I was trying to hide. You know. No. So, girl. Girl. You left girl. Yeah. And uh, what yeah. what did you do yeah. after girl? Um. I I just well didn't have a plan. Right. Great career choices again. But mm-hmm. um. Um, I ended up, a homie hooked me up because, uh, I don't know if anybody knows this, but like I, I, I work on motorcycles. I have forever, ever, whatever. And, and you know, I, it's a hobby, right? It's become kind of the skateboarding for me, right? Pe- everybody has, you know, and you can, you see it a lot too. A lot of skaters are riding motorcycles or building them sure, and stuff like sure. that. So it became kind of my skate, okay, my, my fix, right? So it's a new hobby or not a new one. It's been for my whole life, my mm. dad, everybody. But so my homie hooked me up with this um, guy he knew that had a shop in Huntington Beach, and he was like, "Hey, go talk to him. He's like a marketing dude and like a shop, you know, like help him out." And I was like, "Yeah, it'd be good because I want to learn more about, you know, build motorcycles and stuff." Mm-hmm. Didn't know the dude went in, and uh, he's like, "Yeah, he, you know, and motorcycles are rough. Like they, it's it's pretty raw like style, right? It, it's you know, but and so the dude was like, "Cool, you're good. Like come tomorrow." Right. And, and I worked there for a while, like probably a year ish, you know, and I was making like a couple hundred bucks a week. Right. It wasn't a lot of money, mm. but I was like, I was working on motorcycles. I was away from skating. Like I actually started like enjoying skating a little bit more too. Sure. Actually yeah. it was good. And so, um, but yeah. And then I, uh, you know, I'd come around skating more because I was like stoked. It was relaxing. It was fun. Right. Yeah. I didn't have to like work or do something or someone wasn't bitching at me about mm. something or whatever, you know? And so, um, but then I'd see people around. We go to like, you know, you still go to the trade shows or the parties or like the things, the industry things, you know. And then I'd run into people and be like, "What are you doing?" I'm, oh, I'm working a motorcycle shop, and people would be like, "What are you doing?" Right? Like, what? Why? Like, why are you doing that? I'm like, dude, because I like it actually. Like, I, that was my answer. I did like it. Yeah. But then I started. I was like, yeah, like I, I should probably start looking around, right? And so, and then. um I started just kind of touching base with people and like, mm-hmm. hey, what's going on out there? You know, like checking it out, industry stuff. And then, um, you know, we went, um, I ended up just leaving the shop because they were kind of, he was retiring. He was like, I'm moving to, like, he moved to Hawaii, packed it up. He's like, I'm off it. But I, what I realized too is I'm glad, dude, the motorcycle industry is just like the skate industry. <laughs> yeah. the same exact, I thought I was getting away from it. It's the same dramas. Same like shit. people still being petty, like, you know, it's just like the same stuff, right, right? right? Like, you know, and because this dude was on like biker build off and he was like a famous, oh, wow. more famous guy, okay. right? Like, you know, and so there was, you know, same dramas, right? Like uh, people just wanted to, whatever hmm. but i did learn a lot I, I met a lot of good friends my friend brawny from there he was the a builder there and you know it, r- new relationships that mm. are still to this day that are super strong and probably even you know these are probably more people i hang out with too gotcha than skate mostly so anyway so then that dude folded up i was like yeah i should probably find something and then um i, I ran into tony larson and he was like, oh, I got this this brand, super brand, like, you know, because he was one of those dudes, like, I ran into him. He's like, what are you doing? Working in a motorcycle shop? Yeah. He's all, well, it's a waste. What are you doing? All these years in the industry, like, you're just going to go work at a shop. I was like, yeah, dude, I'm trying to chill. Like, I don't <laughs> yeah. fucking, you know, whatever. Uh, I'm going to Sturgis or something. You know? <laughs> like, I did. I went to Sturgis. Nice. Um, and then he was like, hey, we got this thing. You want to, like, maybe come help out and, like, shape it up a little bit, get some team going, mm-hmm. like, whatever. And. Yeah, it was this brand, like, super brand. It was, like, a surf company, and I think they still are, and, like, kind of, I don't know, seem cool, like, little forward, artsy kind of thing, you know? And um, 
And so I was like, yeah, I'll sign on. And like, I, like it was more like a consulting thing. Okay. Like it wasn't like a full-time job. It was like, you know, get the team, like find some team riders, um, you know, help out like with some, you know, try to get it like involved, like yeah. from surf to skate. Right. And so, you know, and they had, um, I think John Mata was on, you know, a little bit, I think already. So that was cool. I was mm-hmm. like, oh, he's good. He's crazy. Kind of different mm-hmm. dude. And, um, a couple other people and then yourself, I, I think I reached well, yeah. out to you and I was like, Hey, you want to like, you know, like Tony's doing this thing and you knew to- Tony from girl and for Tony- sure. So it was like, oh, cool, right? And, you know, so that was kind of cool for a second. Yeah. And, and, but it wasn't like, it wasn't going to last. It was, you know, trying to take a surf company and make them a skate company was kind of, I think we went on one trip or two to we Arizona. We did an Arizona trip, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Which was fun. It was a yeah. really cool group of people. Yeah. I mean, we had, you know, you and then uh, Eric Bragg filmed uh, I mean, the us. trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know what I mean, though? It cool. was, uh, it was very, very fun, very cool. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, it didn't, what, a year? It didn't last too long. I mean, I wasn't even, I was there like three months. Okay. Like, I, I wasn't there at all. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, I think you stayed on because whatever, they're paying you. So just yeah, yeah, ride yeah. it out. Like, For sure. But it was like, I remember like they wouldn't, like I couldn't get it paid. Okay. You know, and I called the owner was cool and Tony was cool. But like, you know, I'd have to call me like, hey, can I get paid? Mm-hmm. You know, because it was a consulting thing. So it was like mm-hmm. you get one check a month kind of deal. But but then I started like, oh, well, you know, I can maybe I can do this. Right. Mm-hmm. And just, you know, with all my marketing now experience and sales experience, kind of put them together and like. If I can just help people, companies like do things too. And then, you know, so I was just like pick up odd jobs there after super. And like, you know, like I said, that was three months, right. four months tops. Right. And then, um, and then, um, I actually got a friend call me from Etnies and she was like, Hey, they want a marketing dude, you know? And I was like, I'll come talk to you guys. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, you know, obviously Sheckler's there, right? So, you know, circle Re- back, like, you know, yeah, we're trying right. to like, you know, and, and so I got a job there, um, actually working for Etnies around that time. And I remember they gave me a car and I was like, sick, I got a car, you know, free one. Cause I had a car, but I was like, free one, shit, Damn. Like, you know, like, let's wow. go. But they okay. wrapped it in like this blue Etnies, like, and I was like, <laughs> oh, there it cause is. the girl was like, oh, it's got to get some repairs. And I was like, oh, cool, whatever. You can give me a free car to drive around. I'll, I'll wait, you know, like I got a car and she's like, oh, it'll be, and then I went, I was like, this is blue. I got to drive this, <laughs> you know? And I was like, that's yeah, it's cool free that car, dude. It is. Yeah, but it's got, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's free car. No offense, Don. Yeah, yeah. Jerry, like I mean, but dude, it's just a big. He's et- like Etnies across the side and the yeah. front and the back and the, you know, and like right. even the window. You can even see out the windows because it wrapped the window. Oh, he was not so. expecting that. Nah, but it's a free car, so hey, whatever. Yeah. Um, and then um, so how long were you with Etnies? It, short. Okay. Real short. Um, and then they were going through crazy. They had like a new team every two years. Sheckler was always, I mean, still on there, he's right? He's been, been there the whole time. Pretty yeah, much since right. he got on. Yeah, yeah. And so, but they were going like, you know, like I think Malto had already Is this left. The car that you were driving? No, I would. <laughs> I'd probably still be there. Didn't, <laughs> didn't he? I think it's nice. Wow. That's pre- wow. <laughs> How do I get one of those? <laughs> oh, we're looking at an uh, Austin yep. Martin can you, wrapped in Kelly, can you put in a, can I get back over I'll hit up Don and Pierre and see what they can do. I'm sure Pierre probably got one of those. <laughs> you'll, you'll get a Hot Wheel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for coming. Thanks. So how, what happened with um, Edney's though? It was short lived. It was just like, it wasn't. Dude, the team was all kind of all over the place. Okay. Like, and um, they had me doing like, like marketing, field marketing, mm. like, you know, and I was just like, oh, like, eh. This isn't good. Mm. This isn't cool. Like, I'm going to try and be This cool. isn't for me. Not yeah. the same, right? Like, this is just like, yeah, my same attitude for my whole career. This ain't for me. Okay. Um, so you quit. Um, so, well, n- yes and no. So I was, so what happened? My, my fiance now, Beth, she mm-hmm. worked at Red Bull. Mm. She's a producer and was doing like um, shows. Like, she did a surf show with Jamie O'Brien. And like, you know, like it was... It was doing really well. Red Bull was, you know, obviously doing well. Sure. Um, and then, um, you know, she was doing a bunch of production there, and she was um, uh, introducing to me, just you know, go to Red Bull things because she's there. So you mm-hmm. go, oh, they're having a party or a function, like you, let's go, and, yep. you know, meet people and stuff. Schmooze, yeah. And so, um, and obviously Sheckler was there, right, and and stuff. And then so um, at Etnies, I remember Ryan. Um, it was like Tampa Pro. And he was, um, I don't know who was in charge at Etnies anymore. Like, I don't remember who that was. Mm-hmm. Don wasn't the boss. Sure. Somebody else. And um, 
James, James Apple. Nope, Taylor? he was at he way after me, dude. That's like oh, okay. he wasn't there. Yeah, oh. but I know that dude from way back in the day. He used to work at Dwindle for Europe. He oh, ran okay, Dwindle okay. at Europe for a long time. Um, so he was gonna go to Tampa, and um, he, I was at Etnies, and he was like, "Hey, I want Tom to go with me," but they had a team manager. Oh yeah, so weird right like red and, bull did no no this is at oh Edney's. i'm sorry slow down dude. i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm, I'm excited about he the wants red me out of here so bad He's no like, i don't want up. you out of here I'm he wants some more red bull to I'm a, yeah. I mean, a, <laughs> he's just trying to get you were with red bull for 10 years and i'm i'm okay, very so interested there's, a, there's in... the, the way i got there is this is intricate okay this, this yeah. story go ahead, go ahead. and then we can speed it up okay fast forward a couple years yeah um so we went to tampa and i met this dude ryan runke um, oh, he, I know him. Yeah, he's been yeah. around. He's a snowboarder dude. And then, you know, and so he was the athlete manager for, like, and they do, like, you do, like, kind of skate, surf, snow. You do a bunch. You're not just, like, skate athlete gotcha. manager at Red Bull. And he was out there. And so I met him. And I met him before. And so we were out there. And, like, he obviously saw, like, he didn't know skate, right, very well at all. Mm. Like, so, but he was managing, like, there was Sheckler on the team, Joey. Uh, I think Jeremy was on still, mm. maybe. Joey Brzezinski, so Jeremy Brzezinski, Rogers. Rogers Zared. Zared, 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 Zared. Okay. But Zared was managed out of the East Coast. Oh, okay. And so, but yeah, there were skaters on there that were mm. very relevant, right? Okay. And so, you know, but he was a, from the snow side. And he managed all this stuff. And then so we, we kind of connected in Tampa, and he saw, like, how me and Ryan, you know, we were really close, right? And so, and how I was running with Ryan and mm -hmm. stuff. And he was just like... So like, dude, like, and it was probably a, like he probably was talking out his ass at first, like, oh, dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get you in at Red Bull, blah blah blah, mm. whatever. And there was a job there, right, at Red Bull, a new athlete manager. One of the dudes they quit, right, okay. or something like that. And so I applied for the job, right. And Beth was like, apply for the job. And I met, you know, the marketing dude, you know, and it was like, hey, and I interviewed, and their interview process is really it's, <laughs> it's a lot, what a lot. A lot mellower back when I did it because now it's like, whoa, root, brute. Like, okay. You know, Wait, you, like he going through like stages and yeah, stages. Pretty, but you did back then. I had to meet with a couple people and stuff. Mm. And then I didn't get the job. Mm. They gave it to another dude, right? And so I was talking to Runky and I was like, oh man, whatever. And he's like, well, I need help with the skate stuff. He's like, I'm going to try to like, because Runky Hustler, man, he's like, you know, he comes to the snowboard world, but he's like the, skate version of the snowboard yeah. <laughs> yeah. and so he's like hey i'm gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna try to hustle you maybe i'll just pay you as a contractor and i was like yeah i'm down for that i, oh. I like the consulting stuff is good like you're free right you got yeah. this like you're not tied down to it. and so um took him a second about a month and um I, I remember i was driving that car like and i was way out in like lake elsinore i had to go visit the shop and give him like shoe racks for their <laughs> wall or like some window wrap to drop it off or something like that and i was out there and i was like yeah He's all, he called me. He's like, hey, I'm, out, I'm working on something. I'll call you in a bit. And so I'm like, cool, I'm out here. Just call me. And then um, I'm driving back, and he calls. And he goes, hey, I got your contract ready. <laughs> oh, wow. This is a consulting job, so you're contracted, like just like oh, a skater okay. is, right? Yeah, you yeah. get a contract for working, yeah. right? And, and I was like, what? I was like, Phew. I was like, when is it start? And he goes, it's like now. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yes. And I was like, drove that car right back to Soltech. It <laughs> was just like, here's the keys. <laughs> oh, wow. And I, I called Don because me and Donna obviously been really good friends. And I never wasn't really like tight with the people in the Etnies mm -hmm. crew, like the people, but the lady that got me the job quit anyways, whatever. Okay. And so I called Don and I was like, look, dude, like we're homies. So I'm just going to tell you I quit. Yeah. You know, and just want to be respectful, you know, because, you know, whatever. I appreciate you know, the two months I was there, right? And um, and so, do, done, boom, in the Red Bull. So that starts that saga of mm. my life, right? It's random occurrence, met some dude, end up at Red Bull, right? Wow. Like people, you know, like whatever. Like I was stoked because it, you know, people wanted me to help them, mm -hmm. right? And that's what I was trying to do, right? I wanted to help skateboarders. So right? when you get in the door of Red Bull, obviously, you're starting off to help this guy, but you obviously ramp up so, pretty so, quickly. To... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I remember the first day, like, cause you walk in and, and I had been there to interview before mm. for that other job that I didn't get. And mm -hmm. then that homie's in there too. So, you know, but he's a, he's a good friend of mine, but he ended up quitting too. Okay. Um, but I walked in and I remember Josh Kendrick was the marketing director and, you know, um, at the time. And so Runky and all the athlete managers worked under him. Right. And super rad dude, like, you know, came from surfing, like gnarly surfer, good, good guy. Right. Mm. Like cool dude. 
And uh, I'd met him a few times because I'd interviewed with him and got to know him a little bit. And so when I came in and I was like, yeah, and I was ready to go. Like, I was like, oh, we're, we're in the big leagues, right? Yeah. Like, you know, and as a skater, like, I didn't, look at me, dude. I didn't think, I don't deserve to be here, really. Like, I didn't think that right at the time, but I was like, I'm going to go in and like, we got Sheckler, we got all these dudes. Like, they got, you know, from what I understand, like, they do stuff, right? Right. right. And I'm, I'm going in there like, I'm going to change the world, right? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and I remember talking to Josh and he was like, he goes, look, he goes, just, just real quick, one thing. And, uh, and I'm glad he told me this because it's true, true. He goes, we're not a skateboard company. And I was mm. all, what do, you, what do you mean? You know, because you got skaters. So, and, and he was like, just, just, think think different you know think bigger okay you know think you know don't, we don't make skateboards right we're not you know like just the idea was like think different mm -hmm. yeah and i was like and it took a second you know and then you know oh, i was cool yeah what your boss right like whatever i'll try to do what i can right okay and, and so i was managing like with runky like i was dealing with most of the skaters but i mean he was he was the dude so if they needed something they go to runky contracts runky whatever but and i was just kind of like rallying them together coming up with like hey, we should do this because you guys aren't doing any skate stuff like mm. this. Like, this is, you guys got to fix this. You know, clean it up and do do cool stuff, right? It's like Banny Mania type stuff or Manny just... Mania wasn't my, that was way before me. Oh, okay. Um, you know, so that wasn't my idea. But they were doing stuff like that, right? So yeah. it was good, but they weren't like, there wasn't like no team feel. There was no like direct athlete marketing. But Red Bull does things different, right? Mm. Um, So, I mean, that was the point. Like, we do it different, dude. Like, you know, settle in learn right like mm -hmm. figure out the system right and and so you know for the first like year that's what it was like trying to figure it out you know and then um but i was also managing through runky right like i would help him do like because he did bmx dude so i was doing bare, like you know like started managing like these other dudes mm -hmm. and like you know i wasn't really doing snowboard guys but i was sort of okay. like i was just there you know and yeah. then, and as a skater like and these athletes you realize like even though they're not skaters and they're, but they're like af, you know they're in sports right they're in totally. this snowboarding surfing whatever rock climbing they're all the same really they like the the drive is there mm -hmm. the, the you know and they were you know and they're obviously like oh you're the skater like you're the this dude so they you know like skateboarding is cool right like, yeah, so they you know they gravitate towards you and like a lot of the snowboarders like they're all skaters now you know like anybody my age has owned a skateboard now, sure right sure, like right. you know so they respect the game right and which is rad so you get to know these rad people and like and not like i'm hanging out my um one of the dudes pat moore is like a professional snowboarder um became a good friend of mine and stuff which is rad like and it was like people like that i got to know different people mm -hmm. right and i yeah. was like this is exciting right i'm not just like it's dealing. refreshing yeah no it's different right yeah. it's like i'm not just like skateboard right and it's like think about something else like and i was able to like start thinking that way and not like just think about skateboarding which was awesome because that's what happened before it was like so much skate and so much this that Burn i just out. like dude, yeah I'm over it like i just you want gotta to spread your yeah. wings a little bit <sighs> Yeah, Let me ask you something. As being a skateboarder and then going into a job like that, it's obviously a big corporate job, so mm -hmm. to say. Um, and coming from the skateboarding industry, being that, you know, these budgets that you're working with with skateboarding and then yeah. the budgets that you're working with now, I mean, I, I would imagine that they're totally night and day. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, yeah. Can that's you, it. <laughs> it's simple. That's it. Yes. Yeah. Can it's you give us an example of what a budget is over yeah, at Red Bull versus so, so, yeah, somewhere so, else? Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> um much different yeah. <laughs> um you know um but <laughs> no but number watch 100 percent. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get with you here yeah. <laughs> yeah, i'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to think of my approach um no it's different right and so yeah you start thinking and i'm thinking skate style still and i'm like oh we're gonna do a trip it's like oh, we got like five grand everybody's sleeping in the room they're like nah nobody shares rooms here no, you know and i was like what <laughs> you, know, you gotta, like, you gotta think simple, different you gotta simple, think different on that lower level like you're like oh i don't have to share a room with anybody like no motel is, sixes <laughs> no, yeah. dude i remember my first trip we did this trip in in colorado and it was like the the senzo bebo went <laughs> bebo went with us yes. and they were like take us to the skate shops and we would do a little demo and whatever right it was cool and um and uh pat moore he was like because i got to be friends with pat and he was like and i was like hey we're doing this trip in denver he's like He's like, dude, can I go? Because he was a skate fan. Mm -hmm. And I was like, hell yeah, Pat, come through. Like, you know, because we were real close and that was cool. And so um, 
but yeah, they were like, hey, I got, we got you the rooms. Cause we had like these business units and each region had their own offices. And so they would pay for things too. You know, be like, they come to Denver, they have to pay for it. Oh, right. Kind of style. Yeah. Right. It don't come out of my budgets wow, most yeah. of the time. Some got stuff. Though, but, but you know, they would have, if they request, they pay. Right? They, probably, they probably already have relationships with certain hotels. Yeah. The host four them. seasons. <laughs> oh, was, first, tri- cool. first trip out, dude. <laughs> Like four seasons, everybody got their own room, like suites, because they upgrade you when they you put Red Bull. Oh it's like God. boom, yeah. <laughs> you get like oh oh, well, we see you were on the third floor. Now you're on the top. Okay. Like they would do that. Wow. Like you'd be like, what? Oh, just give me. I'll just sleep right here. Like yeah. sleep right. <laughs> this desk looks good. Yeah. In the lobby. You got a yeah. I remember, yeah. like dude. It. it was crazy. People and you know, people was like, yeah. Chilling. You know, him, <laughs> big, like, big chilling. Big Jesus. chilling. He was, he was high because so he was like, he didn't want to be on that trip, dude. He was just like, but he was like, oh, four seasons. All right, I'm hanging. That makes it That's a lot a easier. Different style of trip, though. You sleep good. Yeah. As you know? a as a manager, yourself, team manager, and then as a skateboarder, yeah. that's a whole different ball game. Bro. I mean, dude, I went from driving that. No offense, Don, but that little crappy Etney's car around like six months earlier or eight months earlier to stand at the Four Seasons. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's when it's like, you start to realize these little triggers, right? That right. are like, oh, I'm, it, this is different, right? Let me ask you a question. So you get into Red Bull, right? You're going, you're staying at the Four Seasons. All these great things are happening, right? Sure. Now, we are dealing with a company that is, you know, huge. And there yeah. is a stigma attached to it in skateboarding sure. about Red Bull, this, that, selling out, blah, 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 corporation, mm-hmm. corpos coming in like that. Did you have a, that mindset of like, hey, I need, I want to do cool stuff or, you know, how do I break through this kind of stigma 100%. and let people know that like, hey, Red Bull, we may be the corpos, but we're help. We want to help skateboarding grow. We want to help these skaters. We want to help the industry and like yes. contribute. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it was a challenge at first it? because I was going in there like with skate mentality, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. wrong approach, right? How's like, why? Because it's it just, it's not a skateboard company, like, like my homie said, said right? Mm-hmm. Like, it's not, it's think different, think bigger. Like, mm-hmm. if you can think about it, let's think talk it. about it, okay? Right? Like, and see if it'll happen, right? Mm-hmm. But then it's a big company, there's lots of opinions, mm-hmm. there's lots of things that. Like I said, behind the curtains, like people making business decisions that just really like, you know, you go in with that fire idea, like, hey, we're going to do this mm-hmm. and we're going to do that. And you're like, do you? and it went from like conversation, like we're like, hey, we're going to do a video part. Like this is other companies I worked at to like do a presentation. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. Po- okay. PowerPoint became a thing to me. And mm. I was like, oh, PowerPoint, what the? Yeah. I was like, yeah. And now Beth, I was, she's a bless her heart. She's, you know, up my rock there that. She was like, oh, we can, we'll get this going. She helped you, she helped you adapt <laughs> yeah, to the situation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> spell check is my friend. So you basically <laughs> had to learn their language, basically well, going in that's there. What, yeah, so the point mm-hmm. is, is like, I had to start adapting. And I started mm-hmm. just sitting back and learning, right? Mm-hmm. And listening instead of being in, and I'm very reactive, yeah. you know, type of person. And, you know, and, and so I, I I'm just chill. Yeah. Good. Okay. You know, I would, I would hold back and, you know, but still I would get eggy, you know, and I'd be like, no, nah, because there's, I take pride that I'm a skateboarder, yeah. right? And and so if someone's gonna say, oh, this or that, it's like, oh, man, it takes offense to it sort of in a way, totally. you know? Like, And so you would just, yeah, I just had to learn, right? And Josh, my bo- the other, the big boss was like very, you know, he was cool, man, and, like, mm-hmm. and, and he helped me out. And, you know, he would give me these like, you know, things and like conversations of like, hey, and you walk, you'd be like, what the fuck is he talking about? And you go, oh, okay, I know what he's talking about now. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, it was different. So there was just a lot of moving parts, mm. which are people, right? right? And there's lots of people that have opinions. There's lots of in corporate environment. There's a lot of ladder climbers. A lot of people got priorities, right? And and so, but at that time, like skateboarding wasn't a priority for them as a company. They mm-hmm. had skateboarders. I mean, dude, they had some, I mean, if you think about like the Nikes and Adidas is jumping into skateboarding, right? Red Bull's been in skateboarding almost since the beginning. Like they had, they had sponsored skateboarders back in you know then like I, th- I would say the 90s you know like um i don't remember know. red bull being around back then to be honest i don't it's like 30 years yeah wow like that. yeah they've been around for like they just i mean they were in europe forever right so oh, yeah, yeah, and I, yeah i don't yeah, know the yeah, exact yeah. timeline but they were in other sports right but yeah they had i forget the homie the german vert skater he was like the first skater like hmm. uh blonde hair dude like super rad dude and then like sandro sandro's still on Wow. Like, oh wow you know sandra was on yeah, forever right like yeah you know and so they've been in skateboarding for a long time with sponsoring skaters mm-hmm. but they weren't like 
doing like skate traditional stuff that sure, we were right. doing you know sure. so it took some time yeah and so i remember it was like hey we we got this budget go back to budget conversation there we go. right this yeah, is what this, i wanted this, this, this is where, i finally like you know i sunk in and i you know i was just working hard trying to make you know and like obviously i got sheckler right like he's my ace in the hole like I, he's backing me right like no matter what i do he's he's their big dog right yeah. at that time he was still you know running that like he wasn't on the tv part of it but like that was after that but like he still had that juice right mm -hmm. and you know he's making bread right and big and he's one of their biggest one of the bigger athletes there and so mm -hmm. you know I, I i knew that right but i didn't take advantage of it but it was like i knew that like i needed to lean into him i needed to lean into the skaters because you know and i've always been a advocate of like you guys got a voice speak up most skaters don't want to speak up sure that's that's a big thing right yeah, and yeah. so but you know so i i used them and you know and and i came up with a project um and a dude runky to kind of bounce around a little bit like he was he was out you know i, I don't know he he left and and something happened and so i just saw that as the opportunity right and this project is about right after that mm -hmm. right and so i saw the opportunity because me and him were talking about doing something big right like we went like scouting spots and we were gonna we we're gonna go blow it up right like, mm -hmm. helicopter or something I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we were like oh you know like let's go like let's give it and then he he left whatever okay. and then josh called me he's like hey Ronky's obviously even um i need you to like step it up like a little bit you know not that i wasn't but like can you help me out with his athletes we'll spread them around a little bit help out you know get it mm -hmm. you know i was like yeah whatever you need right you can pay me more money i've ever you know like it was great yeah, yeah, like yeah. i was like oh shit like i thought i won the lottery seriously <laughs> and so um i was like hey like we were working on this project like you still got that budget right and so he was like yeah put it together Right, and I, I started working in the media house. There was big at that time. They were like mm -hmm. talking about doing their own TV station, and I mean, Roger did some jobs there. Like you know, you know, you saw it this. Paid well. Yes, um, <laughs> you know, and it, it was so. We came up with this idea to do. Um, I was gonna do. I wanted to do skate. Everything we do has to have skate, like clips. Yeah. Right? You have to, no matter what, right? And so, we were already doing. I think my my fiance girlfriend at the time was doing in her and Eric Bragg, right? Uh -huh. Bragg back in, I think they had just started like Sheckler sessions. Okay. Right. And they were doing that. It was like the first year. And so I kind of was like, it wasn't really a part of that. Cause it was started before I came there. Mm. So they were doing it. But then I just kind of started seeing what they were doing <coughs> on the content side. And I was like, that's the key. Right. Which is like what you guys are doing. Right. Content is yeah. king, Right. And they were really on the forefront of, I mean, they own their own media house. Right. So no company had that. Like Nike don't got that. Like they do content. They don't got their own production houses. Sure. Right. Like, and I was like, this is, this is what we're all about. Skaters. Mm -hmm. Right. We make, we make movies. Right. We do all these things. Right. And so I was like, this is my opportunity because I had made, you know, a couple of videos, mm -hmm. like, you know, did some, you know, stuff before in the past. And I was like, that's, you know, that's my jam. What was the project? And so, I came up with this project to tell some stories about a few skate Shackler. Obviously, uh -huh. um, we got Desenzo and Desenzo was on. Yeah. Um, Zared, obviously, because like he was just, I mean, he's Zared. He's the best. He's yeah, so yeah, good yeah. at skating. Yeah, and and yeah. I was stoked to get to, because I'd never really kind of crossed paths with that dude mm -hmm. before. And so I was like, to work with him, I was like, yo, this is cool, right? And so um, it was his idea. And it was like, hey, we're going to tell these stories about, it's, you know, it's called Rebel Perspective. And so that was the name it came out of it but like at time it was kind of more of a it was like hey these people are going to tell like stories kind of artsy high-end camera stuff mm -hmm. you know like just go crazy and and tell the stories where they're from but like and they come together in this spot to like skate right all these other things right and so we did this thing and it was called red bull perspective and we did these things, you know, went to San Clemente, where Sheckler's from, went to New York and where Zara was at, and descent. we went to Vancouver. And, mm -hmm. you know, we, we did, you know, interviews. And it okay. was the first time I had, like, done, like, that kind of storytelling. And I was like, dude, this is sick, you know. Okay. And, and all the, the production house people from Red Bull were were, were way high level than I was. Like, mm -hmm. I was still trying to use VXs and shit. You know, <laughs> whatever. whatever. But, mm -hmm. you know, they're using crazy cameras yeah. and, like, jibs and freaking whatever. For right? sure. Um. And so we did this project and we ended up in Arizona was a spot in Phoenix and we scouted these things and we skated and did all these crazy and, and, and you know, we put it together and um, 
you know, and and we released it. And I remember, I remember at Red Bull because remember go back. Oh, we're not a skate company. Like people weren't back in skating there. Mm. Like they were supporting it, but they were like, we ain't wasting budgets. We're not. You know, we have comms departments now. We have, we have brand departments. We have sales departments. You have all these things that I never like. I look back and I go, yeah, I worked with them, but I never. It wasn't developed like that, mm. right? At skate companies, it right. wasn't like we got our own P. It's comms, right? It's PR department, right? There, that's all they do is like pitch media and mm. all this stuff, right? And so I remember they were like, "What is? What is it?" And we show them, right? The, the before we release okay. it, and they were just like, "What?" And I was just like, "Because they're used to like." crazy things right like flutog and yeah, different yeah, or things travis pastrana jumping off a freaking sure, cliff sure. And, which is insane stuff, right yeah. you know like but then it was like and i was like here is this you know and dude this is and i'm very proud of this this piece to be honest with you like because it, it it was the first time i actually got to like do something bigger right and i was like you know like because you saw like what ty does and totally. all that stuff mm-hmm. and you're just like dude like i mean not that i ever won't ever touch that dude. he's like yeah there you go and um you know and then um and we did almost kill ricky beanball and this this oh is where gosh. he split his skull open it was 10 oh, years yeah. today actually yeah wow. 10, 10 years, years today. today see wow full circle, dude. okay talking about it um today. it was all over we're bombing a hill going back to we went to this big old house dude and i got a tea but it comes shoot the photo it's like dude we wow. were like I was, I was trying to go right yeah and um and so um anyways we did this and it got released on our youtube channels and uh, all the red bull channels right they got channels yeah right like for yeah. things you know and they got you know dude they got 50 million facebook followers and like mm. this cr- the, then you start realizing like oh the power the machine the machine, yeah. the, machine. the machine for sure and mm-hmm. you're just like if you tap into the machine but mind you the machine internally didn't want to have anything to do with this except for my, my boss josh he believed in it and he gave me the money and he talked you know yeah, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Wow. You okay. know, so I went from like making an escape video that was like, you know, I'm sharing a room with this dude, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. whatever, to, to production. To production. Yeah. Like, you know, they had dude, dude, like these things. Look like, dude, that. we had like grips and set designers. And I was like, yeah, make this, make that. Dude, you show up and they were just like, oh, here's your spots. You know, so like, how did like, this... these are all fake spots? Right, right, right. Know? So when they release, they didn't want anything to do with it. You release it. How was it perceived? Went through the fucking roof. And this is prior to buy media, like pay for media, pay yep, for yep, things, yep, like yep, things like yep. that. Yep. This is organic. I, yeah. Raj, I don't know how many views it got. Uh, about nine point something million. Yeah. yeah wow. Mm. Now, so like internally we, people were we got, tripping? We got a million views, I think, in the first, like, I, I want. I don't remember exactly. It was like a week or two. Okay. This is organic, Amazing. right? You know, so this is before all that, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. you know, pay and you get views and shit like that. So, it went ballistic, and wow. everybody's like, "Oh!" Shit. And all those people internally that were like, tongues. didn't want to have anything. They were like, "Oh!" And then I started getting emails. Why didn't I know about this? And I'm like. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Right. You like, didn't hear is, me out in this meeting, right? <laughs> yeah, like they just didn't want to hear it, you know. But then it it proved, right? And that's that was the skate in me. Like, I'm just gonna outwork you. I don't care. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do, mm. what I believe in. And you're either gonna be on it or you're not. So and, you trust and if you, you're right? not on the boat, not my problem. So that was right? the first like, project that actually now now they're taking you seriously. I wouldn't say that. No. No, like because I went back, you know, and was like, hey, killed it right you know i did i want a webby for that oh hey yeah. Whoa, dude okay, lied to me okay. told me we didn't win and then i saw a photo on his instagram he went and accepted the award so wow sorry. so sorry about you dude <laughs> but insane. whatever come on good. bro good dude uh yeah right that's what i said beth was like chill i was like all right cool <laughs> <laughs> um but um no and so i went back and i was like look how good that was right mm-hmm. like how successful like everybody was like internally was like dude you see the video it was playing on the on the tvs Sick, in the office yeah. and stuff and i was like oh shit you know and um i was like hey can we get more budget we're gonna do like a perspective 2.0 right like let's keep the ball rolling okay. and they were like nah not right now I was like, uh-huh. okay like yeah. I, I was like all right i'll just cool mm. <laughs> you know and then you go back to doing the little projects okay. and the, you know the contest like people were dude, there's a gnat in my, crazy in there it's a normal it's, here it's, it's 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 like, in the i could see it like yeah you know um anyways um so you know i just went back to just let's go back to the grind okay. all right you're gonna tell me no i'll just keep going i don't care like right. 
I'm not going to, like, I am not blowing this, right? And I'm just going to, and I told somebody early on, I was like, they're going to have to drag me out of here because mm. I ain't leaving. Like, mm. I'm just going to, like, run it until they either, like, it, it works or they just don't want me to be here anymore, right? Like, I got oh. nothing to lose, right? Like, I'm, like, thinking, like, I made it to the big dog, right? Like, you know, and it wasn't skate, right? But I was going to prove that we could take a company like Red Bull that has negative, like, oh, it ain't, it's sugar water. It's, you know, it's whatever, right? All the, mm -hmm. all the, all the stuff, right? Sure. Like ain't a skate company, right? Like it's not Yeah. straight up. Best thing a dude ever told me, like not a skate company. I was like, it's not, it's, I'm glad he told me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause it wasn't, it made me think different. And, but it didn't mean that we couldn't do good skate stuff and we couldn't take the budgets, the support systems, all those things and help skaters totally and that's where it clicked right like because mm. i was i was hitting the the wall like bam all right, well, let's try something else try and i mm. already had this and it was like but and um you know in corporate environment like there's an org reorg about every two years mm. happens pretty much every big reorganization <laughs> yeah reorganization that's a you know a reorg mm -hmm. um but um <laughs> corporate term i went through about five of them there in 10 years so there you go um but i in I survived all of them, which I, I have no idea how, because <laughs> I'm sure there was a couple, like, my name was on the board, I'm sure, for sure, a couple times, like, because I was going to reorg this guy, no, I mean, for sure. <laughs> it, I mean, I definitely, like, I was a pain in people's ass, mm. because, like, but I wasn't going to let people, like, fuck up skateboarding, mm. yeah. you know, and I was like, my, my deal was, like, we have an amazing opportunity to take this company and make people, like, at least look at it. Like, you don't have to like it. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, I don't care if you like what we're doing. I mean, I, I'm, I'm bummed that you don't. Right? But, like, I'm going to take all the opportunities in the world, resources that this company has, which are endless at this point. Right? Like, I could, you could do anything. Right? right if right. you think about it, that was the idea. If you think about it, we'll, we'll check it out. Right? And so, I, I did all that and, like, just kept grinding and grinding. And then um, a couple of reorgs happened and I, you know, survived. But they changed the rosters around during reorg like mm. some of the athlete managers got let go some of and i was i was i was a contractor so i never i wasn't an employee still damn the yeah, whole time i was, I was in it i was a contractor for eight years wow full time full time they i mean okay don't need to go anywhere else yeah but you were yeah. then you became an employee at one yes. point okay yeah. Yeah. um okay. but no, i mean dude i was running budgets millions of dollars in budgets and contracts and i, I didn't work there damn. wait does the contract did you get all the benefits and all that no Really? You gotta buy your own insurance. Player. So that's the only thing oh. that's the yeah. You don't yeah. you know you don't get the those case, those benefits get... are um, pretty psycho. I would imagine. Is that very good? Yeah, yeah. Well, how why why wouldn't they put you on? It just wasn't and, and you know what? And I was talking to you know my and there were jobs pop up you know because that's how it works there in, in corporate environment. It's like jobs come up. You yeah. go hey you should apply for that. Your boss you know someone recommend. I was chilling, dude. I was like, I was doing <laughs> things, but I was under the I was under the radar. Like yeah. no one was looking at me. Until I pop up and do something, or my skaters would do mm. something, and then I was using that kind of as like you know my thing. Do you right? think that's why they didn't take you so serious at first? Nah, no, nah. They just weren't. The priority wasn't skate. Trust, there's, yeah. it's yeah. coming. I'll yeah, tell yeah. you why it okay. switched. Go ahead. Why did it switch? Well, you're jumping way too far ahead, dude. Hold on. Well, what? Are, how, things, how, how long you got? I mean, where are we at right now? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so they they switched it up, and so, so look, there's this whole like, dude. I had to like. Here goes back to like letting dudes go. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. And this happened. Reorg. Dude, you know, like uh Beeble, mm -hmm. right? Beeble still hadn't talked to me since that day. Uh, That's how he works. Yeah, it's all good. I understand. Yeah. You know, but I, it, uh, it bums me out. I, I was, you know, it, it bums me out. Yeah, it's cool. But you know, dude, <laughs> I haven't talked to him either. Yeah, do what do what he's doing, you know. <laughs> um and then um there's a couple other dudes, I don't remember exactly, like had a bounce out. And mm -hmm. then um so then they switched athlete managers and they took all of the skate. They were going to take them away from me. There was a one point that I was actually in jeopardy. I had to HR came in and was like, hey, we're going to talk to you today. And I was like, uh, even though I was a contractor, I, you still had to abide by the rules. So mm -hmm. they were like, hey, we're going to let these other athlete managers go. Um, we're reorgan. Department's going to get mixed up. People are going to come in. People are going to go out. Um, you, you're probably you know you're a contractor so i was i was kind of safe but i was still under the like hey you gotta figure it out we gotta figure out mm -hmm. something to do with you right and um and so they took they hired some new athlete managers they shifted the skaters and this time there's like felipe gustavo i had midler on joey was still on and they took all the well they were going to take all of them 
And I was like, well, if they take all them out, I'm out, right? Like I'm done. Like this is like five years in plus. And, and so, um, we were like, and I was having success. I jumped into Sheckler sessions, mm-hmm. kind of started leading that. And it was really, we were getting millions of views. Mm-hmm. And so that was good for me for a while. It just proved, right? Like, yeah. hey, this dude can produce, right? And do all this stuff and, you know, make wins. And then um, we were starting to get some leeway, but they took all the skaters away. And then everybody was like, what? Like, why am I over here with this dude? Like, he doesn't skate. Like, he's, mm-hmm. but skaters are used to skaters managing them. It's, it, it didn't work that way there, right? Sure. And so, and it was their deal. It's their business. I don't, you know, what am I going to say? Like, that's how they run it. So I got real crafty again and was like, went to my boss, Josh, you know, and was like, Hey, like you can't let Sheckler and a few of these skaters that are, you know, these are big dogs, right? Like you can't just let them go to a random athlete manager, whether the dude or girl, like whatever, they're great at their job. You can't do that. Trust. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it's going to go bad. I'm just trying to precursor, and I'm also trying to hustle a job for myself. <laughs> but I was honest with them. I was like, sure, you sure. give Sheckler to anybody in this point in the stage, like you're going to disrupt the, the, the force, mm. right? <laughs> and it was like, so I pitched him on like, let me keep Sheckler and Tory. And there was a BMXer, um, Garrett Reynolds, who was like the best, he's like best street BMXer ever, right? Like just 10 million gold medals at X Games, like super rad dude, actually good skater too. Mm. And this, and Pat Moore, right? Pat was still okay. in the mix. And I was like, let me just have these guys. I'll work with these guys and then let's just see what happens. And, you know, so we did that. And so that all kind of started working better, right? And then, um, there was like a time where I was like, Hey, can we get new skaters? Like some new, because we had like Alex, Alex was killing it. He was coming up. He was young, but he was coming up. Felipe was killing it. Right. Mm-hmm. Checkler, Tor- Tori was still on yeah, fire. Yep, right. Yep, yep. And we were doing video parts and projects. I started pitching them on this. So they started letting us do like a little bit more core okay. stuff. Right. Doing things. And then, um, there was another change, you know, and things happened. And then, um, we just started like, I, I was like, man, I got to get more creative. Right. I got to get, I started looking at like how are they signing athletes not just skaters but all of them right like and and i started watching these dudes like pitching like pitching athletes and i was like i was like i'm gonna do this and so i went on the scout and i go look and this one girl started coming in working there and i was like hey if um i put together this pitch for athletes can we maybe sign some because we need some you know we need the next my my pitch was like we need the next generation mm. right because we got sheckler and tory and flip and they're going you know and they're doing a thing but still you need i just go if you let this void happen in four or five years you, you're gonna be done right. like you know and it's like so i went out and i started like i put a list together of all of these skaters and it was a big list and i was like if i get one i'm stoked right like whatever right and so went out started scouting and going to the spots and going to the contest and go like and i put together this eclectic thing because i always like this point i like looked at it this way i was like it's a pie right every skater has a slice right Mm -hmm. everyone does their own thing right like everybody's got to have because i I don't need to have like oh you got to be like this right? right i can have any skater i want and i thought well i want every walk of life of skater, right? Like every, I want a tranny skater, I want a street skater, I want a all-terrain vehicle, I want a, and and two, so, and I wanted females, Mm -hmm. right? Because we didn't didn't have any girls on on Red Bull. And so, and so I put together this list and it was a long list and I ended up, and so it was like, Jamie, Zion, CJ, Brighton Zoyner, um, you know, there was a few, you know. Leticia, was she on that? Um, she came along around that time, but she wasn't like the young gu- like the new ones. Like yeah. she'd been wanting to get on and we kind of just whatever went back and forth. And then she eventually got on later okay, a little okay. bit, but in that same time frame, you know, what she said, you were sponsoring me tape, but I, how does uh, we just, <laughs> I invited her to, I invited her to this contest. We were doing the Sheckler Heartlines in Detroit and, um, cause, um, they were just like looking for rock people to come skate. And I was like, let's invite Letitia. Like, fuck it. I was like, and I called her and I was like, and I didn't know her. I was like, Hey, you want to skate with the boys? And she's all, yeah, I'm down. Cause I was like, I was like, you're invited then. I don't care if you want to go and put yourself up against that, you know? And she was like, yeah, I'll, I'm, I'll take all them on, you know? Like, and I was like, that's, that's what I'm talking <laughs> that's about. Right. Dude. And that's what I wanted to see in her too. Cause I wanted to see like, how is she? Right. Yeah. Like, and I was like, she said, she stood up right. Mm-hmm. And skated and did her thing and she was cool. So she got on, right? Like that that's was, right. she, you know, she did it. And that, to me, that's like, I mean, that internal fire and that like personality and the respect, you know, like that. She's got it. Yeah, Olive as long as, you know, it. that means a lot to me, right? Yeah. Like you gotta be, you know, you gotta want it, right? So 
anyway so she kind of but she wasn't the first girl brighton was so mm. brighton was the first female skater ever signed to red bull wow for for skateboarding, skateboarding. right yeah, yeah. there are other females you know but then so that was happening and i signed her and then like we had like sorgente came into play but he was on but he got transferred over you know and then um there was like Zion and Jamie, and I remember seeing them in Tampa, like the wind, like Jamie was wearing a big old pink church t shirt or some shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And I remember seeing those dudes, and that was, I really had like an aha kind of moment. I was like, this is it. Like, I started seeing things that were like, right. I was thinking bigger, right? And I started to click, and it was really cool. And it was like, it kind of just all happened, and it was, it wasn't like, oh, I did this or that, but just kind of naturally happened yeah, yeah. but i remember seeing those dudes in a because i wanted someone to compliment with midler you know because he was young and try, hungry and trying to get up and you know he needed mm -hmm. someone to be crew and he was crew with these dudes i didn't know that they were the close friends at that time but but i remember seeing like going into the park and seeing jamie and like zion was flying all over piece and people were all excited but then like i remember watching jamie skating and um then you know, i'd seen some clips of him or something right like but I was like, yo, that's that dude. And I'm a, I'm a big dude. So I was like, I was like, <laughs> I was like, look at this big motherfucker out there just like smoking everybody. And nobody, I, 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 this is my perspective of it. No one was paying attention to him. Yeah. Shame and it. I was like, people saw him, but they, no one on was him. trying to sponsor him. But people yeah, were no, seeing no, him. Nobody was trying to. I, was I mean, no, on him. you know, yeah. like, dude, they were sleeping hard. Yeah. And um, I was like, and, and I was like, look at this fucking dude out here just pink ass t-shirt like just you know but he was killing it like everything was i was like mm. dude and i was just watching i did i sat there and watched him for a while and i was just like mesmerized by his talent like i was just like dude this dude good and then you got zion on top of that and he's flying around and everybody's like yo look at that and i was right. like there he is too like i was like oh and then i was like oh you're friends <laughs> you know and like your homies you grew yeah. up skating together and like but it, the excitement around zion and then the skill level of jamie was just like I was like, oh, I got excited. I got that Sheckler vibe that, you know, yeah, he's coming yeah, up yeah. and these young kids that are coming. Like, that makes me excited because it's like, it's so young and fresh, right? For and, sure. And it's like, makes me feel excited about skateboarding. And, and you so, see the fire too, dude. They're yeah, like, yeah, no, know. they were hungry as I never, I haven't seen that in a long time. Yeah. And then, so, and then there was like CJ Collins and I saw it in him and he was just out like doing these park series and like smashing himself and like frontside flipping over people's heads and shit. And I was like, yo, this kid is crazy. I like this dude. And then, um, you know, so like, and then Brighton got on and they were like the contest people. So I was got mm. contest people. I got the tranny skaters. I got the street skaters. I got still, I got Tori and Sheckler, like respect Felipe. Like yep, yep. Joey was still on at that time too. And then, and so now I got a squad there you go right and then it was like let's let's do this mm -hmm. right like i got people i can like i, I don't have to just go to sheckler no more right no and I'll, i mean i'll do it with them all day long right but like now i got diversity i got yeah. all this like different like i got these powerhouse i got these young kids right did you ever hear any backlash from like core companies a spot like you guys are sponsoring these young kids we don't want oh, these yeah. young kids wearing red bull in our shit like a yeah, hundred yeah, percent like and how did like how, what was that conversation like how did that even i've I mean, heard of people not sponsoring people because they had red bull hats on sure it's happened you yeah. know and then yeah there's a lot of, i mean dude people tried to block us for sure like the nikes and the red bull or the adidas is like they were like no energy drinks right it wasn't specifically us but like, it ain't cool I'm like, yeah uh, okay you guys are track and field company like i, I don't understand <laughs> like doesn't compute like you guys were all the same as us really just selling a different product like yeah. they're all they're great companies right like i mean dude nike's genius the marketing is crazy right yeah, like yeah, I, yeah. I look at it all day long and go you guys are great right but um yeah people looked at us and hated like it was always like oh rebel suck oh you gotta wear your hat you gotta wear this it's like well you gotta wear you gotta wear shoes <laughs> right like like yeah. if someone pays you to endorse that brand like of course that's what their deal was they they wanted the people to wear hats that's because, what they wanted specifically the hats well because what is, we're gonna go red bull like can skating around no well i've seen crazy. people with the patch on nah, the... that's that ain't legit <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the hat, hat the patch don't work <laughs> no it's 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 hat and sticker on the board right like mm, you know okay. and that was that's the dead done that that is it right there ain't no this the tory was trying to run that shit like the grip tape and stuff and i was like that ain't legit dude like stop doing it you're gonna get kicked off like, <laughs> you know but like but once you like but what you have is the conversation with them like you approach them as adults or you know the young kids so you approach the parents you talk to the parents you make sure you're comfortable with the situation right mm -hmm. and then you say hey like this is what it is it's an energy drink it is what it is. but the, the 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 level of support is like no other 
Yeah, right? like no doubt. the you know, and so yeah, they they signed on and they were like, but it was like, yeah, you gotta wear a hat. And I, I'll straight up like, if it was like, hey, you gotta wear the hat, and they were like, nah, I ain't back, and it's like, okay, uh, thanks for sorry, coming. Yeah, sorry, you ain't gonna get that deal that you probably yeah, are no, dreaming because of because it's the arrangement. It's yeah. the, it's the partnership. You want to be a partner with this brand, or you just want to get a paycheck? Skaters be like, well, I want the paycheck. Well, yeah. okay, cool. That ain't gonna work. <laughs> Mm-hmm. right because it's a partnership you want to it that's where you start to go on the professional side yeah. right you want to be professional you want to get paid like a professional act like a professional right like put the hat mm, on yeah like do it or don't I, I trust me i would rather have you say no and walk out the door than yeah. say yes and not be into it and then a year down the road i gotta kick your ass off and then you know or it's just like it's just nah dude don't do it mm-hmm. it's like anything in life don't do it if you don't like it you don't support totally. it don't do it walk right yeah. do something else there's something out there for you go get it right like mm. that's that's the attitude right totally. and that's that was the attitude i had to have with all those dudes and, and with red bull and the industry and it's like hey look we're here we're just supporting skaters if you don't like it i'm sorry yeah. right like, and like I'm, really I'm, supporting skaters like they, yeah, none no, of these skaters like, are getting paid like that from nowhere else besides the shoe company but no, that's I'm, very far few in between I'm paying skaters good yeah like full livings like what they're worth right like because yeah, yeah. that is the thing with the skate industry it's, it's like definitely. yeah we support skaters but like yeah no they you do but you, s- someone can't retire off what you're getting off of not that monetary company. Uh, yeah, no for man sure. it's like you know it's it, i get it right it's a smaller industry right it's a it's a smaller money wise you know but yeah people should get paid support skaters right like that's the attitude and then, sure. so that's what i wanted to do there was like my my general feeling was like i'm gonna take my resources of red bull and my experience as an industry person at this time and see all these things i've done and heard and been through and i'm gonna try to help skaters the best way i can mm-hmm. and if that resonates with someone out you know the thrashers of the world that don't like red bull or somebody that doesn't like red bull i, I apologize for that like sorry Mm-hmm. you know but i'm out here trying to help skaters yeah and i'm gonna use this company to do so right and i'm gonna run it until like i said they drag my ass out of here right? well you know what's funny so, with the whole yeah. hat thing is that they really did a good job because you see anybody in the streets with that red bull hat on you know there's somebody yeah that's that's the theory you know yeah. that's the for. owner the owner's th- the one thing that i was always told was like that's the theory right like if you, you're at the airport and you see someone with the red bull hat you, you know that they're the best yeah like they're because they deserve to be there in their sport whatever that sport mm-hmm. is whether it's yeah. skater or rock climber because they don't jump. just sell the Red Bull hats. Nah, it's dude. Just, you... Trust me, I'd be probably retired if I sold those. Things, <laughs> like, you know, like, dude, people would be offering, like, money. Really? Like, I, dude, look, I just pull up something on eBay, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah, people selling the Red Bull. I'm not even kidding. Dude, Have I, you I, seen I, it on eBay? Oh, I've seen, like, 500 bucks. I've seen one-off one off hats that I made, like, three or four. You know, you go down, downtown and get the hats, mm-hmm. and then I brand some special, couple special okay. ones for the guys and stuff. Ones I never even, like, gave out. And they just yeah, like, they made some fake fake ones or whatever. Someone like someone gave it to somebody like wow. you know and like. But, but yeah. what's your thought process that you're like, oh, wait, who's doing this? Who's selling this? I need to f- talk to this oh, person. Yeah. No, there was conversations for sure. <laughs> you know, if you get them right. Like everybody's got brother or sister, mother, cousins come over. Like, yeah, you know, no you see it. Like it, it is what it is. <laughs> you know? it I stop. I stopped messing with it. Like when I'd see like fake dude. It, her point. It's like I used to see people from like down the street. I'm like, dude, that's fake. <laughs> like I, I would do that and you're just yeah. like oh, what am I doing like who cares I, there's a couple dudes that like come around the contest and they're regulars and I see them and like and people I've seen people go up to people and go give me the hats fake you shouldn't be wearing this right which is wow you know you're not supposed to but, but it ain't illegal yeah. right and I always had to and I, at first I was like ah oh, but then I started thinking I was like what am I gonna do go over to the homie that's trying to skate you know he ain't no good but whatever he's having fun that automatically that's good with me like yeah. dude's having fun like yeah he got a red bull hat off somebody or bought a fake one offline Man. he's just running it like what am i gonna go in the middle of the contest or at the skate park and like <laughs> confront the dude take it off his head and embarrass him in front of people yeah, like no dude that's like wild. let him run it like yeah. everybody knows that it's fake and like if you're a skater you know you're not supposed to have a red bull hat on if you're not a red bull athlete so let him run it man like the dude's having the best time of his life fuck it yeah i don't that ain't my job you mentioned that you would they'd have to take you drag you out of there yeah, <laughs> yeah. nah what happened did what they happened? drag you out or did you leave no, on your own so, accord yeah i left on my own accord you know wasn't planned but um why i did have a game plan like the other one oh, you did okay, yeah, okay. well no i didn't have plan. a plan it just happened something came across my desk so the last couple of years at Red Bull, real quick, is um, I went on to be employed now. Mm-hmm. And so I, I got very fortunate, right? I guess I did a good job. 
And, you know, I made some good friends internally that, you know, and, and they brought me into the global team. So I started becoming, um, you know, last couple of years I spent, you know, building the globe, what I did here in the U S mm -hmm. building it globally, you know, and then obviously the Olympics happen. Yep. That's a, that was a big thing. And, you know, Red Bull likes the Olympics and that. And so we had a, you know, I, I think I had, um, um, 16 athletes in skateboarding in the Olympics. Mm -hmm. Right. And we won, you know, I, I didn't, but the athletes won my, you know, the skaters that were on that, mm. you know, I put on the sure, team. Sure. Um, Wait, could they wear I can't, I was nah, there. They couldn't wear nah, the hats, right? No, nah, no. Nah. Okay. So, yeah. But, um, you know, I, um, three medals, right? A gold, a silver and a bron bronze, bronze, mm. you know? So, you know, and that was like for me too. And I know people hate they, shit. They hate the Olympics just like they hated Red Bull. Right. But like, to me, it was a, it was a super proud moment. And like, it was an achievement in skateboarding because I feel like, the Olympics, whether you love it or hate it, it changed skateboarding forever, right? And and you don't have to like it, but you know what? The kid in, you know, whatever, <laughs> Lithuania or something like that saw it on the Olymp you know, on TV and goes and buys a skateboard, psh, done. I'm good. That that that's all I need. That's needed. a win yeah. for skateboarding. Yeah. It's a win for everybody. It's a win for that kid. It changes life, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. that's what it did to all of us, right? It changed our lives. Right. Like we would like I said, we wouldn't be sitting here if we didn't find a skateboard, right? Mm -hmm. And the friends I have, the business I have, mm -hmm. the relationships I have, the craziest times of my life, the worst times of my life, like, yo, it's 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 all because of skateboarding. And so if that's what that did and it gives someone that never saw skateboarding a chance, like you see those dudes and and like there's the, the homies in Africa that are doing that, like Uganda. Dude, Uganda. Yeah, dude, yeah. that shit's cr amazing. Makes me cry, dude. Like I'm like that, dude. It's, Uganda, and the one dude's Uganda's like killing it already. Right. I'm like, yeah. yeah, man, it's so rad. Like, and that's that's an effect of that. I I know that for sure. Mm. You know, because it was looked down in some of those countries. Are like, dude, it's almost like straight illegal. Right. And now it's not. Right. Mm -hmm. And so all that stuff was happening. And so it was good. So I got brought on on you know to the global team to build their performance, which is that support system that Red Bull gives, right? And, you know, it's like making sure that the skater can be healthy and be at the top level and like give them physical therapist and give them trainers or give them sports psychologist and give them all those things that like, we didn't get that stuff, you know? Yeah, like, I, think, I, I think that's tremendous. Like, yeah, I mean, you know? I, I hear Tori going over to the facility yeah, all Tor the time. I'm like, damn, bro, they got of, that shit for you yeah, guys? Like, of all people, Tori, right? Like, dudes there every day. Yeah. Right? Like, people are there every day. Like, they're just training. Because you see it, it makes you better. Right. Mm -hmm. then, you know, you can... And, oh. it's, and it's just keeping the longevity of how yeah. long we could skateboard for. 100%, you know? And it's yeah. everybody's dream is to oh, skate as long as I can. Yeah. Right? And so... so we did all that and you know we grew that and the olympics happened very successful in everybody's opinion and you know i'm in awesome like it, end of the day feather in my cap i think is the way i look at it like nice it was so many rad skaters work with so many people got to see so many rad things do 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 shit that i never thought i would mm. do at red bull like the but you know it's not even about the budget yeah, yeah. it was about the opportunity that they gave me and my skaters right and yeah but so, that budget creates all these experiences you yeah know man like i got to do a video that was like <laughs> fuck it i got a wild idea like they let me do yeah, it yeah right and it, it was successful right and and i was i was very fortunate most of my projects were very successful in you know if you do the equations and all that shit but <laughs> um you know and i mean they could have failed and yeah there's a couple of times i probably fucking shit the bed but whatever you it know happens. you have to fall and yeah. you come back and you learn and, and and i figured out i, I survived there because i figured out the system mm. and and that place will eat you up just like corporate environment will and and if you don't dive in and accept it and try to figure out how to fight you know and because no matter what if you if you stop fighting mm. you lost right sure and i don't care and trust me there's some people there that were like they probably were like he's out <laughs> you know like because i got out of their way mm. right and i'm not gonna say that for there's a few people there probably but like you know because now they can go do it and they can run oh, i'm gonna run the skate like, yeah cool. so who took your job i don't know <laughs> <laughs> no i mean um you know i i recommended a few people right and my my list is always short right like you know my my, my respect list is you know i mean i respect all you guys you guys are all on it but like as far as like you know my dad always said like don't give your best friend a job, mm. right? Because it's going to turn bad. So, like, I've always been like, hey, th there was one dude I, I recommended, and, and hopefully he gets the job. Um, but it's di it's going to probably be different, you mm. know? Like, you know, he's, he's you know, not so much, not been around as long as I have. But anyways, I, I hope he gets it, and, and I think that'll be good because he is a skater. And nice. that, that was what, like, I knew because he was a skater that he would have to go through what I did and fight, but 
he's going to do it because he loves it. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, but then which he is, can at least take lean on you. Yeah. You know what I mean? I told him I, anytime, sure. call me, right? Like, mm. you know, I'd send him an invoice. It'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Still nothing. consulting, huh? Yeah, no, hey, it don't stop. I got to get in the, I got to eat, dude. You know? No, no. He Daddy got to eat. No, I'm here I, because I, I'll never walk away from my dudes and girls yeah, yeah, there. Yeah. You know, like I was there for them. They were there for me. They can call me anytime they want. Right. And and I don't care. It don't matter. Red Bull, not Red Bull. Sure. And so what happened? I, it just happened by chance. My boy Runky comes back full circle. Um, in, in this opportunity, he, he, he'd been asked to me before a few years ago, like, okay. hey, um, the agent taught it, right? Mm. So this is where I'm at. Um, you know, people would mention, oh, you should be an agent. I'm like, no, that ain't me. Dude. That ain't me, right? And we already had these conversations. If I ain't into it, I ain't doing it, right? right. And, and I've seen the agents, and they great thing. Like, Shekla has an amazing agent. And like, dudes, they're both chilling. Like, they work really hard. And, you know, but I, it wasn't me. Like, you know, I mm. didn't see myself doing that. And, you know, it's really, sometimes it gets real, I don't want to say slimy, but it's like it is, right? A little bit, you know? And so um, my boy Runky hit me up one day. And we were just talking about something else. And he's like, hey, like, what do you think? Like, you want to revisit that conversation, you know? And I was like, I'm open for all conversations, you know? Like, if uh, whatever whatever it is, right? Like, I'll have a conversation. If it don't work, it don't work. Always it, take the meeting. <laughs> 100%, dude. Like, you know, ABC, always be close, man. Mm -hmm. Like, even if it's something, you know. But, like, so, yeah, we talked. And he's like, hey, you got to meet the owner of this. He works for, for so I work for Evolution, mm -hmm. um, you know, marketing, management and marketing. It's a small agency here in LA and some agents in New York and stuff. And um, they have a big roster of snowboarders and skiers and mountain bikers, surfers and mm, stuff, so action okay. sports stuff, you know? Sure. And they've been doing it for a long time, really. Like, and it's in Runkies and industry people, just like me, he came from the snow side, came over, worked at industry people, went on to be an agent, right? Yeah. And so he was like, dude, he's like, you can do this. He goes, you should do this. And I was like, nah, man, let me think about it, right? He's like, well, come talk to the owner. And I was like, cool, I'll, I'll talk to anybody, you know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. opportunity, maybe there's something there, whatever. And went in, um, you know, had a long conversation and, I, and, you know, and he's like, well, you know, let me, let me think about it. And I'll, uh, let's, let's figure it out. Right? Mm -hmm. We'll talk about it. We'll, sure. I'll get back to you. Right. And I was like, oh, I'm out. Thanks, Runky, for setting it up, whatever. And I went home and I thought about it and I was like, I was like, yeah. Like after the conversation, I was like, yeah, I want to do this. What made you change your mind? I want to help. Hmm. Right. And I think now because of the way that the industry is skateboarding, uh, where it's at, whether it's the Olympics or filming a video part or whatever you want to film, TikTok video, I, whatever. Right. I, it's so, the, the, it's endless. Yeah. And it's big enough and global enough where skateboarders should be representing skateboarders. Right. And that's kind of my my take on it. Right. Yeah. And so. Um, and there's a lot more that goes into it, but it was like, that was the feeling. I was like, why are these other people representing skaters? Like I'll go, you know, you go to the contest and no disrespect to any of the, the people out there doing it. Cause they kill it. Right. They're, they're very successful at it as an agent, but like, you'd be like, Oh, you got first place. Right. Homie, whatever your name is. And, and they'd be like, Hey, like I'm gonna work with you. And you'd be like, and I, I was, I watched, I've seen it over years. Right. And I've seen this happen. And they're like, wh why are you even trying to work with that? You don't even know that dude. Mm -hmm. Like you don't even know why he kickflip like that. Mm -hmm. right you don't even know why he chose to do that trick right mm -hmm. and that was always weird to me you know because you don't know the sport right but that doesn't mean you can't do it because obviously they're very successful right. right like there's people that are way better at it than me you know and so i was just like i want to take my experience in skateboarding working with athletes grow i mean i i think i'm pretty good at building rosters and stuff like that mm -hmm. i got good success rate i think so far <laughs> uh, and um i want to help all these kids yeah. right or or athletes skaters whatever you want to call them right and i want to even on the young side too because i had a lot of good experience like with brighton and cjs and zions and even jamie you know mm -hmm. he was younger and um sheckler obviously does, like you know yeah. and all these and growing with them and watching them grow and, and few, like seeding them to hopefully do the right thing you know because it's me i'm just going i'll poke them like hey try this and then i'm like oh this is amazing right and so yeah, I just wanted to work with them and show them and teach them because I see so many miscommunications and information mm -hmm. out there in the world that are being said. Like the parent thing is huge now. There's parent everywhere, like soccer mom, soccer dad, whatever you want to call them. Um, and they're at every skate park. And, you know, I'd hear them talk and I was just like, what are you talking about? Like I'd hear them like, oh, you know, that girl said, mom said that there can only be one girl on that board company. And I'm like, who the fuck oh. told you that? 
they'd be like, oh, you know, and it's just a lot of misinformation, right? And right. I was like, man, this is crazy. Like, I want to use my, you know, knowledge or experience, I guess you want to call it, like in friendships and relationships mm -hmm. and, and help these parents understand, like, it's awesome, man. This is an awesome world and you should be in it. And if you want to support your kid, you should do it. You should, but try to do it the right way. Right. Don't do it the wrong way because it's just not going to work out, right? You can't force somebody to be a skater. I don't, I don't care what you say. It's got to be in you. Like I said, if, mm -hmm. if you don't love it, fucking stop doing it right, right? you gotta love it it's why we're still here right we're mm -hmm. doing it every day like totally. it's been 30 plus years right and if i didn't like it i was that's i'm dumb like that sucks i've been doing something for 30 years i didn't like but so i wanted <laughs> to help them like you know and that's that's my goal right and i yeah. want to help skaters and you know and we got some you know i'm signing some athletes mm -hmm. right and it's you know i've, I've been doing it since september 1st right okay. so so anyway so yeah. this dude anyway sorry go around about but the dude called me like three days later. He goes, hey, um, I got a job offer for you. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> As I didn't, I did it was conversation. I didn't right. really, like, it, I didn't, I wasn't leaving Red Bull. I, there was no intention, right? I was chilling. Like, I had an awesome job where for awesome people doing awesome shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good, right? And I could be there still, right, probably for the rest of my life and retire. And not, I, I appreciate them for everything they've done, right? And so, but <clears throat> they, like, this opportunity just happened, and mm. I was like, it, it just felt right. Wow. And so I was like, I got to jump. And if I don't take the chance, I'm going to be pissed off. And yeah, I'm going to go back yeah, to that yeah. other, like, yo, I'm out. <laughs> you know? Yeah, 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 and yeah, so yeah. I just knew, like, and I just, like, wanted to help people. And I started telling a couple people. And, like, obviously my, my lady is supportive always, mm -hmm. right? She's like, you, you, she's like, no brainer. You got this. And I'm right. like, I'm a loser. I, you know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> and I, who the hell is going to want me, right? Like You it, got this. I'm a loser. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no, it's, it's our internal skate battle. We suck. Right? Can't get the trick. Can't get no sponsors. Get a shoelace or something. No one likes uh, me. Uh, no. No one likes me. <laughs> Shit. But, um. Um, and so, yeah, but so, yeah, it was a real crazy, quick evolution. And, and I made the call to Red Bull and I said, hey, I got an opportunity. I got to take it, you Two know, and, and obviously, sure, they were they were bomb, you know, and and, and, and like I said, uh, I didn't want to put them in any kind of position or mm -hmm. anything like that. They, they were really great to me and changed my life forever. Like, and, and anybody gets a chance to go work there, do it. I don't like I don't care. Like embrace it right like embrace mm -hmm. the embrace the big right embrace mm -hmm. the, the process skateboarder can do anything Straight right up. and you know go after it try it man like even if you fail just go for it think bigger think different man skateboarder don't need to be like you gotta do a trick this way no nah, dude that yeah, bird cool. was be, bird was speaking the same way yeah He's no like, I, don't be don't shy away from these these jobs nah, that man, are that you c clearly do yeah no nah, for 100 percent. like try it like i'll try anything man like and mm -hmm. yeah sure, I'm, I'm like jack of all trade master of none style right but i'll i'll give it i'll i will outwork anybody right straight up until i pass out like that's just the way i operate and mm -hmm. so if you know I, i'll try my hardest right until i just can't do it anymore right and if i believe in it it's endless right and that's why i feel like red bull and it, i believed in it mm -hmm. right and i believe in them they believe in me right so how are you liking it so far the uh agents quote unquote i mean it's it's definitely like what was it gonna be like i didn't know like i was like oh, i'm gonna sign some clients and and did i i wasn't i had to sit down and talk to myself <laughs> you know had a couple beers and kicked it and like was like <laughs> by, by yourself. <laughs> I mean, you just talking to you. Yeah. Yeah. Kelly, you drink by yourself. Come on. Uh, maybe I don't talk decision. to myself and drink uh, beers, but <laughs> no, I mean it's in my in head. your mind. In yeah. my yeah. head, I'm not talking out loud. That's weird. Dude. <laughs> no, but I was like, you know, I was like, hey, I'm gonna try. To, I'm gonna do this different, right? I'm gonna. Uh, I don't need like this big. I mean, sure, I'd like to help everybody, but like, I want to start slow. I don't need to get this big. You know, and the agency is going to support me, right? And mm -hmm. so I don't have to like scramble. I don't need 50 athletes and I need to make money because it's commission based and all sure, this shit, sure. you know, you got to make deals. And so I just, um, I was like, hey, I'm not going to go after anybody on Red Bull. Mm. You know, I, they, most of them have agents, right? Like, right. what am I going to do? Because I've seen that. I've seen people do that, like go to other agents or other clients that have agents and be like, yo, I'm going to do this, but I'm going to do this for you. Mm -hmm. Right. And they jump, right? And it, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't awesome that's not me like I, i'm not gonna poach they got poaching you know like i ain't poaching shit mm -hmm. you know but like what someone, if they want to come to you though fine i i, I said that to you myself like hey, and yeah. i told everybody like hey i'm always here no matter what right like yeah. dude check want to call me right now i'll answer the phone like you know but like i ain't never gonna tell that dude to leave steve like nah that's a friendship partnership that's deep rooted and they have been very successful together and I got no place there. Right, right. 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 Like, can I make a call and be like, yo, Sheckler, like, let's do this. 
sure, he's going to talk to me, but he's going to fucking tell me the same exact thing I just said. You're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> right? And I, I'm not here to disrupt that force, right? Like, that's yeah. not me. Like, you yeah. know, Jamie's with the border guys, and all these dudes got good cl- – like, they, dude, those guys are great to Jamie. They have a good relationship. Shit like that, right? Yeah. Like, I'm not here to do that. I'm going to do it different. Like, I'm going to be respectful, and I'm going to rest on my laurels. And if people think that I can help them because they respect me as a person of what I've done, as a skater, mm-hmm. right, then then you come to me, right? And if I can help you, I'll help you, you know? And, and that's the way I operate. Nice. Right? And, and I'll, I'll give you all I got, right? And, and it's working so far. I mean, I only got a couple clients, so, you know, but... Nightclub could be one, right? I'm, what you guys want? Dude, podcast? Let's talk after the show. <laughs> I, got, I got Spotify on speed dial, dude. You want to? You want to? You want a podcast under your uh, in your in your portfolio? Let's go, dude. I got your back, dude. <laughs> Whatever you want, dude. Call me up. Can you guess a Red Bull deal? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I that got, was good. I got, good <laughs> shit, Raj. I got, I Why are you looking <laughs> deep into your mug right there? I don't even know. It's empty. You're reading the tea leaves. Yeah, what yeah. are you doing? Yeah, no, um, no, uh, yeah, let's go. Fuck you. What do you want me? Want me to talk to somebody? I got, I got phone no, numbers. No, but I like top, the, I like no. the attitude going into this because you're right. Yeah. A lot of people do try to poach people. Yeah, they get started in here. Now they're taking this person. And, yeah, no, that ain't me. Know, yeah. Like that ain't what I'm about. I like it. I and like and it. I'm, I'm here to help skateboarders, athletes. I mean, you know, I can do. And the thing with this job is the, the, the owners support me. Whatever I want to do, whatever kind of people I want to bring in, as long as I'm doing good work and supporting people to better everybody right? right that's that's the idea right right and we're a small crew and and we're we're you know we we run it right we yeah. work hard we on the phone all day we we try to help people you know you, oh you need something we got you whatever right and so yeah we got to work harder just like skaters we got to outwork everybody else around mm-hmm. us because they got whatever. and so yeah that's what we're doing and nice. and i'm here and if someone wants to call me that has another agent like yeah call me i don't you know like i ain't not gonna answer and i'll talk to you and if and if you're not happy with what you got going on, that that's not me, right? That's something that you're not you're not comfortable with anyway. So, yeah, sure, but I like that ain't my priority. I want I want to, you know, I want my own athletes, right? right? And and we're and it's working, right? You that's know, I fair. got, you know, um, I was very you know humbled by this, like you know, and she was somebody I was scouting for for Red Bull anyways, and and you know, and when I changed over, she was actually her dad was the first person I called. Cause she want she didn't have an agent, mm. and that's where I wanted to start. Like I wanted someone that don't have no agent. And sure, some people were <laughs> people were trying to get her right, and I saw it, and I saw that happening at like the contest and all this shit like that. And I was like, oh, she's she's hot, right? Sure, she's, she's doing good. So, um, and so I, I told her dad, and and you know, and and we had a conversation, and and so I ended up my first client was Chloe Cabal. So right, right, right. Australia, she's little, awesome. Little ripper, I know Kelly loves her. Yeah. Dude, her switch like, flips. Switch I, flips. I, I was great, like, right? yeah. I remember, yeah, dude. Street so, league, I was tripping. Everyone was tripping. She's out there yeah. killing it. Oh, uh, she's like, she's awesome. Her her family's awesome, right? It's like in in dude, like for them to like come on board with me mm-hmm. and and you know they, I mean we've only known each other for a, a short term, but we had some good conversations and I spent some time with her dad and her a little bit, you know, and and you know I was just like straight up, I was like, look, just this is what I got. And if you believe in it, then I got you. We can do this. But, you know, and they, they took a chance on me. Mm-hmm. When they could be with a bigger agency, trust me, there are people trying to, like, they were right. knocking on the door, right. I, I would assume, you know. But The thing yeah. that I like about you and your approach to it, too, I mean, just knowing you for a long time is, like, you're a no-nonsense, no-bullshit type of guy. Yeah. I, and I feel, I mean, even in this podcasting world, like, we always get promised to the world. Yeah. Oh, my God, come to, oh, we yeah. can, oh, I, we could do this, I could do that, you know, and yeah. I, I don't want to hear that. No. Nah. I don't want to hear that. I, I it, It's just, it's so gross. It is. Yeah. And I, I, you know, a guy like you, just like you said, like, hey, this is what I got. I don't know what I, we could work together and try something, yeah, I mean, but you're not going to bullshit people. Yeah, man. I think that's... Upsell you on I, some I take, bullshit. I take pride in that. Like, to be honest with you, I appreciate you saying that. Because um, a lot of people look true. at me and go, oh, you're like, you're grumpy, you're mean. Like, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm fucking straight up. Yeah. That's I, what I'm, I like I'm not, that. I'm not going to bullshit you. I ain't going to sugarcoat shit. Because, in, in honest, I, I heard someone say this a long time ago, but I was thinking this way, obviously, my whole life. But someone said something to me it resonated and i don't remember exactly what it was but it was the same shit it's like we're doing people a favor by being like that like mm. something like that it was sure. like it was, he works with athletes you know and he was like telling them that you know maybe their career's over and or things like that is very hard right mm. but like being honest with people is you're doing them a favor 
you might not know it they might not know it at the, it, in that time right mm -hmm. and it might be a painful and things like that but being honest with people is just my policy like i am never gonna bullshit with anybody right like you ask me a question i'm gonna give you what my opinion is for right? sure and I, I hope it's it's correct and i'm not gonna lead anybody astray and say oh i'm some wild shit yeah, yeah, yeah. but um yeah it's it's that's all i got i love right it. And, if, and if and if like that's that's all i can offer you right like mm -hmm. you're gonna ask me something i'm gonna tell you straight and Sheckley used to be like you should be a motivational speaker and i was like yeah like you know he's <laughs> like you know he's just like oh you just be like people would be like well what should i do i'd be like fucking just you know yeah straightforward yeah. you know but well even sheckler is probably surrounded by yes people yeah his whole life man like you know and here comes this guy tom who's yeah, just like I mean, you know says it how it is me and him have talked about it a few times like it's just he he's always appreciated like i'm just honest mm -hmm. with him like like i don't give a fuck what anybody's wild ass idea is telling him. i mean trust me people have like you know whatever their reasons are right? right and it's usually weird but it's like you know it's like dude like just just ask me i'm gonna tell you right, right? It, but it is my opinion I, I apologize if it offends you or something like that but i don't mean any harm harm by sure, it it's like sure. i'm just trying to just be straightforward yeah. and and i don't that's how we are is we should be just just be cool man and yeah. like work hard and try to do rad shit and like if you're into skating or surfing or whatever lawn bowling i don't just have fun right like just just do it and love it and then just just try to be rad exactly. you know and that's all you can do right and and if if that draws people to me because you know and it it, it rejects people too because mm -hmm. people can't you know they don't like oh shit that dude's fucking straight. he's too brass or he's too yeah, harsh no, or... it's like it you know it's it's, it's too real no nah, i mean that's especially these days it's hard like people yeah. don't want to be real and it's it's sad because people get offended by things mm. and and i don't i don't mean to offend anybody it's everybody's just, hella sensitive these days yeah know? it's mm. crazy you get canceled because you 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 said something crazy yeah. i mean yeah sh don't offend anybody don't be rude to people don't disrespect people mm -hmm. like don't say t call somebody a name like that's stupid like don't do that like that's bad you know like be cool with people be nice like you know talk shit like no me and you chop it up afterwards and we talk shit we might say some crazy shit mm -hmm. to each other like you know like it's just a little harsh but like because i know you I, yeah. I know i could talk to you like this and we can we can say yeah, some yeah, dumb yeah. shit yeah. like be totally. cool right you know? i think it's just hard to tell people where they where you think they stand in their career you know what i mean that's <sighs> That's the facts. That's literally one of the toughest how things. Do you, how do you tell somebody you're not good anymore and we have to let you go? Yeah, it's like, like, how do you do well, that? Well, I mean, saying you're not good anymore, that's yeah. fucking. I mean, that's not I the mean, approach. That's, that's, a, that's a gnarly that's, approach, to be honest. <laughs> 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 but that's, I mean, yeah, yeah. if you chop, well, because what you, I would never, you know, that's, I've never told anybody that. But like, no, but it's like, you know, you, for, you work at companies and they tell you, oh, you got to let this person go because, of, you know, it's something, there's a reason. Of course. Right. Of and course. so it's like. You know, it might not be like, oh, you, you know, they might be kill like Carlos. He was killing it. It was just someone made a business decision. But how you tell totally. somebody, it's just yeah. like you got to right, tell right. them. It's like, tough. Yeah. yeah, it's right. And it, yeah, it has an emotional effect on you. But also people are so sensitive. But skating, man, like skateboarding is raw, man. It's got to you got to keep that edge yeah. a little bit, you know, and if, if you can't hack it, like how are you going to how are you going to be right? You know, no but, but I mean, I'm here to be supportive and I want to help people and that's it, man. I, I, I mean, to I'll be honest, with it. I don't, I don't know. That's it. I'm trying to help people, and I got some people I'm trying to work with and see what happens, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, the company I work for now is supporting me no matter what. Like they gave me, a, uh, you know, like here, do it. So there's yeah. a lot. Of, there's a lot of skateboarders that can use that your services and that that yeah. are not being represented. So yeah, I and think and you got an open feel for that right and, now. And I can't help everybody. I'll tell you that. Like there's people I just like. I ain't got nothing for you. Because what course. am I gonna do? Like work with somebody and like try to get them a deal when it's just not out there right. and you know even when you know maybe they're getting a little paycheck and now i gotta take a cut mm -hmm. you know because that's how it works it's commission yeah. based it's like i can't work for free you know I, I will give you good advice for free right you know i'll talk to you you want to come talk to me i'll give you some advice right but me like working and tr every day like trying to get this person like yeah. it, it's, sometimes it's just not a reality right but you know so but i you got to be able to sell that product. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, at the end of the day, exactly, you, know, right? like, so yeah, you have to look at it that way. It mm -hmm. is. I mean, we are in a business. Like skateboarding is a business. Agents are business. It's yeah. it's life, right? It's work, right? You got to you got to do. It's yeah. There's stuff that we don't want. Oh, it doesn't. You know, we don't want it to be like that. It's like no, yeah. it's like that. Totally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's life, right? Everybody's got to eat, and everybody's got to 
you know, try to do rad things and, and be cool. It's just weird being in a business that we've done since we were a little kid your, to grow into toys. these different toys, toys. basically. Yeah. Yeah, then we toy. grow into this business yeah, but skate, side of it. You know, we, we always... It's as, bizarre. Yeah, it's bizarre. As, as skateboarders, we always... I know yeah, we said before, we like, like we think it, like we're the only people in the world. Like skateboarders, like... But skateboarders, like, in, it's crazy because skateboarders don't rule the world. They influence the fuck out of it. Mm, every aspect mm. we're in every part you see these big fashion companies now jumping in like doing fashion shows and it's like what do you even care about us now you're trying to jump in because we're right. doing something cool that you want to take up right? been doing something cool yeah. no straight up like we're like you guys oh you guys just figure this out like we've been doing this for i mean decades now right sure, like and, and sure. all of us have worked really hard and all of you guys in your own right have mm -hmm. you know busted your ass to have your names on boards or build companies or do this you know podcast that right. gives people a voice to hear things and like it's dope and that's what we're going to keep doing and people can come in and out but they ain't going to survive sure because they ain't skaters you're never going to understand it i don't i don't care who you are unless you've done the dedication that we all have done here in raj back there mm -hmm. um you're not going to understand it totally you, right you, i can explain it to you until i'm blue in the face you'll never understand it because you don't necessarily love it yeah. and you've never lived it there you go, buddy. Spot on. Bro, well, congrats Message. congrats on the new... <laughs> Kelly, you got more questions, dude? <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah. He was going to like... Congrats. Dude, he was... <laughs> congrats on the new position, man. Uh, I hey. hope everything works out yeah, good. I, I'm, I have no doubt it will. You know, you, you're, you're good. So. You're good. Uh, you, your heart is there, you know, and uh, we are... Like I said, that's all energy, I got. Right? Yeah. Like, I can only give you my best. And yeah, if man. that's not good enough, cool. We're good. But, you know, I, no, I appreciate you guys yeah. even, like, thinking about me and, like... Dude, it's 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 crazy. Well, it's, it's, hum good. it's humbling, dude, to be here like sitting with you guys. I mean, we oh, all been man. friends for a minute. Yeah, Kelly, we we knew, we knew but we're good. Yeah, um, <laughs> the last like, year is when we started. Yeah, now we're chill. But like, I got deep respect for everybody. <laughs> and like, if if you want to ride a skateboard and have fun, like, I don't care if you're like tic tacking across the skate park or doing winning X Games or putting out the crazy video parts. Like, that's good with me, and that's what we're here to do. Totally. And, and that's all we can keep doing, and that's what we got. I love no it. Doubt. I love it, man. Dude, this has been amazing, bro. It's been a good one. We've gone did through. I, did I do good? We've gone through. Yeah. Oh, did oh bro, you did Kelly, great. Kelly but wait, it's not over. Nerf. It's not over, though. Oh, we got We got. Stuff. I got we got Kelly, will you do the honors? Yeah. Will you grab him what, some uh, nine club stuff? What size is that flannel? It's big. Okay. <laughs> What you got? Uh, I, don't, I'll get I don't know if we have it. We'll see. We we're running a little low back yeah, there. It's, it's but, all uh, good. You got. I mean, I gotta take this coffee cup because I'll take. You, dude, I drink coffee. Dude, I'm okay. You can drink coffee. Work. Are you? Do you? Are you a make yourself? I make it at home now. You make well, it I at mean, home. I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll no, go but to, what I'll I mean, like, the, are I'll you? I'll go to the spa because you, I'm a sucker for. <laughs> uh, Maybe we can get you a Starbucks deal. I'm a sucker for Starbucks. <laughs> Are you a pod guy or nah, you make it? Mess you, that. Okay. Put the, drip it, dude. Drip. Oh, drip, drip, drip. Make the, you know, it's like four scoops of uh, <laughs> Starbucks coffee in the morning in the player with 12 cups of water. And they're done. You're, Perfect. Boom. Really? You're drinking how many cups of coffee a day you're drinking? I only drink in the morning. Oh, okay. Like, I, I'll bust out two big ones. Like, a little bit. I got one that's bigger than this. Mm. I, I'll do two of those. You, you don't know? have, like, the big thermos? Nah, that I don't care. mess around. Okay. But, like, well, on the drive over here, I was like, I'll get coffee. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I'll try to be, you know, For on sure. my point, you know. For sure. But, yeah. yeah. No, and then it's just, like, water. Yeah. Why don't I, after that? Like, I don't, I can't drink, drink all, I can't drink coffee all day. Cause it, it's tough. I don't think it does anything to me, except for if I drink enough and my stomach's going to get upset. Totally. Like, if I go to that point, it's like, I'm over. That's it. why I switched to espressos. Because uh, yeah. the coffee was just too much liquid in my yeah. belly to just kind yeah. of upset me, give me the jitters. Yeah, I just need a little shot. Yeah, I'm no, good. good. Oh, yeah. thank you. No, thank you. Oh, see, I need one of the dude. I got a water thermos. It's like this big, and it's so. Irate. Oh, this is a good size right it's here. It's so irate. It's like, dude, I drink this thing. It's so bad. I don't ever fill it up because it's like, dude, that's a trick. You got to carry much. it. Yeah. Oh, dude, this is great. This is a great. First I of all, well, first hey. of all. Tom, I appreciate you, dude. Appreciate uh, you, man. You. Yeah, Kelly, Tom, known this guy Tom <laughs> for a long time, <laughs> long time. Oh, yeah. First of all, skaters supporting skaters T-shirt, fit That's for you. Done. Uh, Wear that tomorrow. It's good at nine club hoodie. Ooh, you know, I like good. hoodies. Do you like hoodies? It's good. Love hoodies. Hoodies. Still cold out there. Um, I love cold weather is my jam. Even though it's like. You know, we only get a little bit of it. Look at so. little, I like to, you know, bit. put the hoodie on. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sweater weather. Sweater weather. Flannel weather. I love flannel weather. Dude, Nine Club Yeti right here. Oh, you little got uh, Yeti thermos. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeti messes with us. I'm trying to say you need to raise. Okay, perfect. 
Um, also, we got the mug skater supporting skaters. No, so I know this, you're all so about it. So this one's it. out. You can have both of them. You can have both. Oh, yeah. yeah, chilling out. Cool. <laughs> I love, dude. I got a collection of coffee cups. It's nice. crazy. Everywhere I used to go, like a coffee cup. You know? Yeah, some people. A lot of people do that. They yeah. love the coffee cup collections. Yeah, it's cool. You went there, right? And uh, here's a nine club Ooh. stack of stickers for you. Go post that's those around your uh, your zone down put there. All or... your clients, you put them on their boards. And, oh, oh yeah. yeah. Well, it's then, a must. then you got to pay me. <laughs> no. Oh. Ooh, he turned it like, on us. He like, turned it on like, us. Here, here, take them back. Like they, no, no, no. So, Listen. Okay, well. They get the cover of Thrasher or they get on the podium. It's 20 bucks with the sticker on the board. <laughs> that's good. That's good bread right there. There you go. You get, what do you get? You so, get a percentage of that. So do I. I, I brought you something. <laughs> but I, I brought you guys something. You did. And there's, there's a question behind this because I don't know if it's actually correct, but I got this, you know, back in the girl day, they used to have this like in the back, they had seconds yep. or whatever. So, I, you know, I always go back there and look at stuff. That was my first sponsor, by the way, was the seconds. Yes, right. Jason, so Cal- Jason yeah. Calloway would be like, so, go, 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 go get some seconds. So I have something for you. Or you guys. It. I love it. Okay. Let me put and this, this over so, here. So I've had this forever. This has been hanging in my house. I took it off the wall yesterday. Wow. So it is. You're going to give it to us? Yeah. Or this well, is just. You, you, you don't wanna... have to take it. Oh. No, I'm <laughs> wondering. I mean, I mean no, this it's, is on a, your... it's a present. Look, it's nine clip for you. No, okay. this is a present for you guys. You can hang it on the wall. You can throw it in the car. I don't care. It's up to you. Open it. Okay. And then. Two um, boards in there. But it means something to you guys. There's only it, two pieces of tape on here. Know, you didn't really I'm, do a good wrapping job, by oh, the dude. way. But <laughs> what is this, Come Christmas? On. Come on. This is you, put two, you, you put two post office bags together. I know. Hey, dude, chill. It's okay. a present. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's, it's, a, thought it's a thought that pull counts. It's a thought that counts. And so these are for you guys. Pull those out. Pull those out. Yes. I'm yeah. curious now to see Now flip these. them over. Oh, look at these. Oh, wow. These are old. We got a chocolate and a... Oh, the Gino! Wow! And so, so the question is: yes. were, were they were they was that. one black one, and one, one blue, up. or did they have an opposite? Did they oh, have yeah. the same color? Wow, that's a good question. Now, these I don't know. Samples. Hmm. Either way, that's cool. Sorry, Either way, so, that's sick. Sorry, man. I'm sorry that these. we can't. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm these, sorry that we can't answer that. So I didn't know. I I just had them, and I was like, I was looking at them a lot too long. They hung him. And here's the thing, like Gino, pff, mad respect. Yeah, I don't even know the dude. I met him like once or twice. Okay. Like, hey, dude, he, he, you know, he wouldn't know who the hell I was. Well, now he might know because yeah, well, not clever. <laughs> well, he's a bad, he's an avid viewer. <laughs> yeah, but like, dude, mad respect for skating, right? For him and stuff. And then, I mean, obviously, we're gonna grow in chocolate. Like, dude, these are big time, right? Like, those are cool and just being a skater, I respected no doubt, it. Dude. And then, um, that's amazing. So when I, when you know, I had boards from them, and I got bo- like Rick signed some board. My all the boys, they would always give you boards signed. And then I just always had these. And when I bought, I bought a house in Long Beach a couple years ago, and I didn't want to like oh skate the house out with boards all over. So right. we have really select photographs from photographers, friends of ours that have given us photos, sure. and like like Bryce and Atibas and all these people, rad photos, right? right? And and so I was like, man, those are really amazing. I love them. And Matt, you know, obviously respect for his skating. I don't, I don't know him. And it's funny because I was like, I'm gonna give these to these guys, in in as a present. And sorry, they're scratched Thank up because they've been, no, no, they've no, been, no. they've been, they've, been, they've seen some road like moving around. No, that's so. awesome. Yeah, and so I colors. took, I took them down. I I took them down in uh, because I was telling Beth, and she was like, "Oh, you're gonna give those? That's pretty cool. Like, that's you know, whatever." Yeah. I'm, taking oh, them, yeah. I'm taking them off her wall, right, right. in our house, and she's like, "I was like, yeah, like." Uh, she's like, yeah, that's pretty cool. And I go, yeah, it doesn't like it's cool. I think these guys would like it and oh, mean yeah. something to them well, and for skating. But like, she's like, oh, she's like, you don't, you don't know him. She's like, I thought you guys were like super tight. That's why they were hanging in our house. <laughs> oh no, he's just the best skater ever, pretty much. No, I don't, yeah, 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 no. She's but like, she thought ahead, like she <laughs> thought we were like super close, and she was like, oh, that's really cool that you're really close with this dude, and you're gonna give these away to these guys. And mm-hmm. I was like, no, nah, I don't even know the dude. Like I, I met, you know, like I said, <laughs> yeah, in passing. So and, this is kind of. Re- I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, I'm just trying to figure out because this is before my time on chocolate because mm-hmm. obviously the bo- this board is seven and a half mm-hmm. tiny and this board is seven and five eighths mm-hmm. so you were on chocolate then was i yeah this came but i don't remember you don't remember the series though i don't remember this series because like, you, I, had, you had one of those right like with the, the face on you had i, had, one, I used board. to skate a gabriel rodriguez that's board. when i started using china wood mm. oh i See, uh, I don't know these timelines though that's why i'm yeah, i'm, I'm asking and i'm wondering if this was you might you might have been it may be, I don't but know. I don't you remember. Were definitely, you were definitely involved at that point. Like you were like 
Even if you weren't you, pro, you were on. Yeah, 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 you were on the team. Right. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I just don't remember because usually if cool stuff would come out, yeah, get series, yeah. I would collect yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, I never collected this. Yeah, yeah, I'd had a couple series, but then those were just in the back in the seconds, and I was just. There. I mean, there were stacks of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I would go look through, and sometimes I'd give like Mark, the Mark, shops. They Mark did. Had, come, um, they did come, uh, well. come with the. Uh, so they were one is a different color. Right. See, I wasn't sure, and I was like, "Oh man, I got some like mm. oh, that's awesome, ones. like amazing." But yeah, Sick. so thank and you I, so I knew much. That, I knew that amazing. like you know that's love for you guys because I know that means you know just the amazing. chocolate girl and all those oh, guys. That's, yeah. awesome that's that's awesome, you guys. And I know Kelly's a skate nerd, so he's like, we can dude, get we can get a lot really of money cool. yeah. for these uh, on eBay, dude. Yeah, I mean, hey, stand ups. I get twenty percent these days. What? You already taking the commission? Oh my god. But no, I'm mad respect. I mean, no, I thank, this is thank you. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for this. This appreciate is amazing. You, I don't have this series now. The Nine Club has it. So yeah, amazing. So right. got a good home. Up, but they're you know they definitely got a good home. Yeah. Chris, you remember this one? We got. Oh, they did do that. Yeah, the Mar Mar I, remember I do that remember that. One too. I don't have yeah. that one either. But see, yeah. then you were definitely involved because they made a Mark one. Yeah, yeah, right. That was yeah. Yeah. But did they do this early on, and then and then later oh, rev call. revise that with the Mark Johnson one? Maybe. I don't know. I he, think they, they it might have been a series. I think it was a series. I think, really? I think they did. Yeah, yeah, I think it was. Okay, yeah. but they were. I mean, those were like that was when they were just going. It, yeah, going. The, the art dump was like Psycho. on fire. By like, the way, the if, if people out there that don't know, I have a bad sense of time. I don't know <laughs> the time periods of it. Like I'm so bad with that stuff. So. But those are yeah, yours. I, I could have been. You. I could have been on. Yeah, I could have yeah. not been on. Yeah. But thank you, bro. So yeah. cool, man. No worries. Appreciate that. And hey. thank, thank you so much for coming on the show, man. Thanks for having me. I appreciate bro. all you guys. Definitely appreciate you too, bro. Cool. Anytime you want to talk, we'll. T I'll take that meeting. Hey, just call me, dude. <laughs> Phone number's still the same. We can have it right now. Yeah, you want ABC? A well, a meeting right after this. Hey, Raj, Raj, turn the cameras off. <laughs> Always be closing. Always be. <laughs> no, Tom. Thank you so much, hey, brother. Thank you guys. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.